la donna è mobile, qual più malvento, muta d'accento e di pensiero. Sempre un amabile, leggiadro viso, impianto in riso, e menzognero. La donna è mobile, qual più malvento, muta d'accento. Welcome to the Whatever Dating Talk podcast coming to you live from Santa Barbara, California. Every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific, I'm your host, Brian Atlas. I'm joined by my co-host, Kiki. She, she's a bit shy. A few quick announcements before the show begins. On Tuesday, I interviewed Dr. Warren Farrell one-on-one. -on -one. It was a great interview. Talked about his book, The... It's upside down, my bad. The Boy Crisis, uh, among many other topics. Guys, check it out. Unfortunately, YouTube... Um, we reacted to him when he was on Oprah in the 90s and like Oprah has like super strict copyright in front or copyright uh, rules with her content. It was resolved, but unfortunately it was unavailable in like every territory besides the US. So yeah, it was not available for a lot of people, but it that's resolved. If you're in North Korea, you can watch it. Okay. <laughs> This channel is viewer supported, so please consider sending a super chat throughout the show. I will read super chats $10 and up. All super chats will be displayed in stream overlay. We have, if you guys look in the description, we have super chat and membership gifting triggers in the description. We've got channel memberships, Patreon, merch, all links in the, dis oh, sorry. I got an alto and so I sound ridiculous. To become a channel <laughs> member, <laughs> hit, I'm, Thir By the way, guys, I had three sips of a Kirkland hard seltzer, and I never drink. Like, I haven't drank in, like, five months, so I'm already tanked, um, so I'm slurring my words. Anyways, um, yeah, if you want to become a channel member, like I said, hit that join button below. We have six different tiers of support, ton of perks, too. We are also streaming to Twitch right now, twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow, and if you have Amazon Prime, you can sub to us totally free with a Prime sub. If you want to be on the show or help the show, DM out at whatever on Instagram. Looking for chat mods, people to help with timestamps, making clips, studio hand, et cetera, et cetera. Anyways, we're gonna have the guests introduce themselves, so please tell us your name, age, occupation, and or school major. Go ahead. Uh, my name's Alicia, I'm 21, and I'm a pharmacy technician. Wait, hold on, you're 21? Oh, sorry, 20. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Everyone was saying you're 21 with the drinks, and I just, 21 came to my mind, no, I'm 20, sorry. It's just, it's just water in her cup, guys. Yeah, okay. yeah. I swear. Um, I'm Jasmine, I'm 21, I'm a receptionist at a nail salon, and I'm an early childhood education major. I'm, I'm, I'm a UCSB graduate with a Bachelor in Communication, I'm 22, and I'm a personal stylist here in Santa Barbara. Hello, <laughs> Oksana, 31, and I'm a senior biz dev at a logistics company. Hi, I'm Aja. I'm 21. I go to CSUN. I'm a criminal justice major, and I work at Home Goods. Hi, I'm Lily. Um, I oh my gosh, I blanked out. <laughs> Name, age, occupation, and/or school major. Um, I'm 21, and I'm a nursing radiology major. Hi everyone, my name is Loi Wei. My major was MBA. I graduated, so right now I'm doing marketing and also content creations. Rock and roll. Everyone's Instagrams are in the description. Guys, show them some love. Give them a follow. Sugar daddies, you know what to do. Okay, so once again around the table, current relationship status, longest relationship, and are you on any dating apps? And that includes seeking. Go ahead. Um, I'm single. My longest relationship, it was on and off, but it was over a course of four years. And then um, I'm not on any dating apps right now. I don't like them. <laughs> Have you ever been on a dating app? Yeah, I've tried Tinder, I've tried Bumble, um, I've tried Facebook dating. Facebook? Ooh, that's it, actually, it actually what was like Tinder, but it was... Worse? Like Facebook Marketplace? I, I, feel like there are more <laughs> I feel like there are more genuine people on there, 
And like, on, you don't have to like pay to see who likes you. But um, mm. I don't know. A lot of, not really much in our age group. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, my longest relationship was two years. I'm single, and uh, I had Tinder, but I deleted it and I don't use it anymore. But I have a Tinder. You're single. Yes. I. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm single. I have like. I don't know. <laughs> I'm single. I'm single. <laughs> I'm single. I have one sneaky link, and that's it. But we're not sneaky. But <laughs> okay. It, it, okay. Shit. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't matter. All right. <laughs> Emma, go ahead. Um, I'm single. My longest relationship was less than a year, and I'm currently seeing someone from a dating app on from Hinge. Can I have you just tilt your <clears throat> the microphone yeah. like that way a bit? Did you hear me? Okay. Go ahead. Single. Um, I've had a three and a half, four year toxic relationship and emotionally, emotionally unavailable right now. Are you on any dating apps? Yes and no. <laughs> okay. Okay, go, go ahead. <laughs> I'm single. Um, I've never been in a relationship and I'm on Tinder, but I don't really use it. Um, I'm taken. My longest relationship was about a year, and I am not on any dating apps. Is your current relationship your longest relationship? No. How long have you been in a relationship for? Um, it's about eight months. Eight months. Okay, cool. So I'm single pull right the now. Pull this microphone closer towards you. I'm single right now, and my longest relationship is a year. And I'm currently on Raya. I'm not sure if you guys familiar with Raya, <laughs> but it's a yes or no. I mean, it's pretty much a game for me. I never met anyone on that app. It's just extremely humbling experience. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Why is it a humbling experience? Because I feel everyone is dying to get on this app. And then, because <laughs> like for Tinder, I used to use Tinders. Like I would just leave it there for like a night. The next morning I have like 999 plus people like you, oh. like stuff like this. But then, Raya, I cannot get matches. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like me. Hmm. Yeah. Is it, so Raya is the app for, isn't like celebrities, celebrities. and shit are on there? It's well, not necessarily. Yeah. Like my friend is a dentist in Santa Monica mm -hmm. and she's on there. And so you can get on it if you get a referral. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I heard the way to get on there is either you are in the industry, you're a producer, you're a director, you're a photographer, mm -hmm. or you have 500k uh, followers, mm -hmm. or you have five referrals, which you kind of yeah. have five friends currently using it, then you're able to get on it. So, yeah. yeah. So you've not had any, have you matched with any celebrities or any noteworthy people on there? Is oh, there Brad Pitt? Here's the thing, <laughs> okay, you it's guys keep my that. secret, right? I don't bend me. But yeah, I've seen people like Charlie Puth uh -huh. on there. Oh, yeah. Um, and then the oh, actor God. of Get Out, the main actor of Get Out, I forgot his name. Daniel. Oh. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. And then also the supermodel, Cara, uh, you know? Delvin? Yeah. Delvin? Yeah. I thought she was dating someone. Uh, I don't know, she mm -hmm. forgot to cancel her subscription, okay. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, none of them match me. Hmm. Yeah, and even I see like a uh, fashion- Wait, so you're bi? I, I go there to make friends as well. It's not only oh. for dating purposes. <laughs> well, you said like you saw Ka Cara yeah. Delva Lala or Dilla. whatever. Dilla. Dilla. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I want to make girlfriend too. Like. Like friend, like friend. friend. Yeah. Platonic. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's it. like Bumble. Bumble has a oh, BFF. Yeah. BFF. Yeah. BFF. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I guess on right, you just select both and. Yeah. yeah. Actually, probably 50% of my matches is all girls. Hmm. Yeah. All but yeah. are they trying to date you or are you straightforward? It's like, I FYI, I just want to be friends. I'm just trying to make friendships. Friends. I feel maybe a quarter of them is kind of tomboy-ish, but the mm. majority of them just want a girlfriend, like go party together, get dinner and stuff. But I never go out with any of them. Hmm. Yeah. So you've never met someone from the app? No. From Raya? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Huh. By bumping to some of them at the parties and events, but not just like a date. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Interesting. <laughs> By the way, guys, we have some of the girls's girls's dating profile screenshots. We're going to do a dating app review. And uh, unfortunately, we couldn't do Raya because I, they were like kind of uh, strict with that. She'd probably get kicked off the app if uh, we showed you her profile, <laughs> allegedly, apparently. So, yeah, Carva del Va- La Vava. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, just going back once again, have any of you ever been on Seeking? Mm-mm. Never had like, never had an arrangement? No. Emma? No. I would love, Emma, I would be love it. <laughs> no, I've not been on Seeking. Yeah. Okay. I've made Got a profile. It. All right. On seeking enough. arrangements? Yeah, but it never went through. <laughs> or I never I never followed through it. I made a profile with like a sugar daddy, so like sugar baby or seeking yeah. arrangements in tough times. <laughs> 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 and it just never followed through. I was like, yeah. It's just too much work because none of them are like an application. Yeah. And so I don't want to whip out my laptop and be like da, 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 like yeah, and i've so. also heard that not only like if you're on it you also have to like weave through like the men and, and make sure too. you find the right one that's like yeah. actually gonna Which, pay you for, yeah like i'm too lazy for that yeah. i, ju- I like, just wanted to like submit my account and then there's a sugar daddy one, pops up yeah, and one then person. like yeah yeah <laughs> has anyone here had a sugar daddy no no, no. nobody I lily no, what? no. <laughs> oh, Lily. Yeah. <laughs> do, I, do I look like someone who would? No, just you were a bit silent on the question, so I just wanted to confirm well, or deny. No. <laughs> okay, <laughs> rock and roll, rock and roll. Okay, so you're the only one with a boyfriend currently, right? I guess so. No one else <laughs> has a thing. Yeah, no. Okay, the no guy one has. dropped you off. That's my friend, boy. Stop the cap. All right. (laughs) By the way, okay. Okay. Um, So, let's see. Um, Okay, so, hold on, guys. Sorry, one sec. I'm looking here. I'm going to have to get up really quick to adjust this this, uh, camera angle here. It's looking a little funky. Um, But, okay, so, speaking of dating apps, do you think it's wrong for men to lie about their height on dating apps? Yes. 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 Yeah. Here, we'll go around the table on this. Go ahead. I feel like yes, not because your height's going to dictate whether I like you, but like you're already lying to me. Like you're already <laughs> lying. And then True. what if I wear heels and I wouldn't have done that? You know what I mean? I've how, had this happen before. How tall are you? I'm 5'4". Okay, so you, you've had it happen before <laughs> yes. where a guy misrepresented his yeah, height. Yeah, but it's like, it wasn't even just that. It's like other things and you find out they lie about. It's, when they lie about the height, it's never just the height. You they, just they're like the domi- yes, domino yes. effect. Yeah. 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 Okay, so if they lie about one thing, there's other things that there may be Yeah, lying and like about. they could be tiny, but like I'd still like to know. Are, what's tiny? Are you talking about? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> no, just like the li- just, the just lies. Like tiny lies. Yeah. Yeah. The lies are tiny. Okay. Yeah. I thought maybe you were going in a different direction. No. Okay. Uh what about you? What do you think? I just don't understand. Why are you gonna lie about it if we're like if you wanna end up hanging out? Like I'm gonna find out eventually. Like why not just be straight up about it. Like, right, like you're gonna look at them. Especially because like she has a point. Like if I'm wearing heels, I need to know how tall you are. Cause like I'm like if we're the same height and I'm in heels, like okay i can that's fine but like if you're shorter than me like i don't know like why are you gonna lie about it i'm gonna see you eventually if it comes down to it okay emma what do you think i don't think it's okay to lie but i think it's okay to exaggerate a little maybe what like two the height yeah Yeah, i mean i embellish a few things what do you embellish (laughs) <laughs> I don't embellish anything about my physical appearance, but like personality, sure. She's in a <laughs> I'll throw in a few fun little lies. Wait, can you pop the glasses off the head? Yeah. They're kind of reflecting oh, the sorry. light. Yeah. It's fine. Um, okay, so what do you think? I've definitely been on a date uh, with a, <clears throat> excuse me, with a lawyer who said oh. he is six feet tall on the app. And then we showed up to dinner, and he's my height. And I am, I'm okay with the man being my height, just not shorter than me. Um, but if you're five eight and a half, five nine, and then you say you're six feet, and I show up in my stilettos, and I'm like, <laughs> my boots are to your eyeballs. It's is like, just are yeah. You six foot. Um, heels. No. 
uh, yeah, because I'm five eight and a, I'm five eight and a half. Oh, so so yeah. in heels, yeah. if yeah. I add three and a half, four inch heel, and I'm like, Woo, wow. tower. Yeah. That's, that's hot. <laughs> and the legs, and yeah. So uh, even though height might be like a shallow thing, uh, like people care or don't care, I do. And so yeah, lying is yeah. Okay. What I'm gonna say think? yes because if you lie about like your higher age, like what are you gonna lie to me about in the future? Yeah, you know? yeah, so. exactly. Guys are lying about their age. <laughs> yes. on the apps? Yeah, yeah. Like would, totally. Lying down or lying up? Lying up. <laughs> uh, lying up. Yeah. So lying to make themselves older. 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 Yes. Oh wow. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah. I would assume it might be the opposite because maybe older guys think that they might not be well. If you're older, you might not be in their age. Uh, what's it called? Oh, the, the preference no, the bracket. Older's yeah. Better. Yeah. So yeah. If, if they put themselves younger, older's then, better. Then they're like they're more likely to match with not women. Anyways, but I want um, an ancient man. No. Yeah, the one <laughs> the one that's about to like kick the bucket, <laughs> and then you can get their you can get the their bucket. bucket. <laughs> no, I want to like go back in medieval times and oh, get like that a, old. an old timey uh. ancient man. Okay. So, yeah. Like a mummy. Like wh- yes. who's the tut- tutum come? What what's his the, name? Uh, something like that. What's what's the mu- the mummy's name? The pharaoh. Anybody the chat? Pharaoh. No. There you go. Chat. The pharaoh. Like um, a Shakespeare hello? guy. <laughs> what what's the who's the mummy? What's his name? The, the pharaoh. Mummy. King Tut. King, oh, King Tut. Tut. Uh, yeah. You just, <laughs> you're trying to get on that. Oh yeah. Come away with oh, me, King Tut. Dusty. He will wrap you up. Okay. Um. <laughs> go ahead, Lily. <laughs> um. I yeah. What. Yeah. <laughs> height matters. I mean, like, is it wrong for men be, to lie about their height on dating apps? I think yes, because it's like, I feel like you have to be honest from like the point on. Like, it's a trust thing, and in order for me to like develop like develop feelings for you, like I have to be able to trust you. And if that's the first thing you lie about, it's like, it's like a casual build up of just Lies. what else could you be lying to me about? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you think? Well, I think lying is unnecessary because some girls do like short guys. Like all of my ex-boyfriends are short as fuck. <laughs> I've never <laughs> dated tall guys. I just feel, you know, like there's different quality about men, right? Either you're tall, you are rich, you are loyal, and you have humor. Nobody can get all of them. I just gave up the tall part. Like I don't mm-hmm. care about height at this point. <laughs> just be loyal and has money. <laughs> I mean, at least you're honest. So, yeah. so okay. So you wouldn't. It wouldn't really bother you if a guy lied about his height on a dating app, or I, maybe you just also you don't care so much about height. I don't care about height. Really? Yeah. There are worse things you don't? to lie about than height. Yeah, Hold on. that's true though. That well, that is true. But so you don't care about height. I don't. How care tall about are you? I'm five six. You're five six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but average men in America is like five eight. So they yeah. are they're That's gonna be taller than you yeah. already. Mm-hmm. But for someone who's above yeah. Yeah, average, yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. then they say, uh, I'm, "I'm six, six foot, foot six yeah. four and you show up in your heels, and they're like, like I said, your boobs to their eyes. It's like, yeah, uh, mm-hmm. yeah it just doesn't work. Yeah. For you, I think it cannot lie. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. but their eyes are gonna be on your boobs, anyways. which is fine. <laughs> which is fine, no matter what. Yeah, but I've never been on a date with a guy, and, the, and and it's fine. And it's like I can also show up in my Air Maxes and be yeah. we're same height, and it's fine. But it's just if on the app you told me that you're taller than and then you, you show up and you show up, it's just. I mean, yeah. I feel like you can lie to me about your height. I'll lie to you and be like, yeah, I'm over my ex. <laughs> <laughs> Let's yeah. lie together. Yeah. And that's how health, health and wellness <laughs> happens. Uh, well, I mean, you're going to lie about your ex anyways. So, I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. But, uh, okay, so a couple of you said that if they lie about their height, then they're going to lie about other things. So if it's wrong for men to lie about their height on dating apps, do you think it's wrong for women to wear makeup in their photos on dating apps or use photos or, sorry, use uh, filters in photos on dating apps. Do you think that that is also wrong? Yes. We'll start here. I feel like, okay. I feel like if it's a drastic filter, then, then like you don't, I feel like if it's a drastic filter and you don't look the same, 
then obviously, like, don't post that because they're going to see you and they're going to think you're ugly because you don't look the same way you just looked. But if it's makeup, like, you don't think, like, my lips are pink. You don't really think that because they're not. Yeah. Like, you would know, like, they're not pink. Like, you, you can make, you can, you can know. You would think that, And I but usually, I feel like if you do post pictures of makeup, you could at least post at least one with, like, less makeup or no makeup. If you're comfortable with it, you don't have to. But that's I, what I've just I done think I think that's a fair compromise. If if a woman has at least one or two photos where it's little makeup or no makeup, mm -hmm. and then the re the rest are makeup, but you don't really see that on from a the guys. Lot, a lot of the pictures probably aren't because you want to look your best. Um, but yeah, I think you should make a compromise and at least. Okay try sure. to make yourself yeah. seem more real. Because like, I think? see where you're coming from that like people or girls should post like more natural pictures and like, I'm not gonna lie, you'll see on my Tinder, I did that, like I have my natural and then I have my like overfilled makeup. But it's also at the same time, like uh, girls like, I don't know, girls kind of have the advantage to get to put makeup on and like it's kind of sucks, but at the same time, that's kind of what society's turned to at this point, that like it's acceptable for girls to wear so much makeup when guys literally like don't get that option, but. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like a lot of girls do overdo it because they do not look like that <laughs> without makeup, <laughs> like at all. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I f makeup is one thing, but I think if you're face tuning or using filters yeah, or no, photoshopping no. then like that's just like cheating the system have, have mm -hmm. y'all like, have know? any of y'all ever seen those like warp fails where there's like a background and the whole like there's those a fucking door yeah. 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 Kardashians, whenever yeah. they do skims yeah. uh, commercial and she <laughs> like runs her Yo, hand and, uh, yeah. on her waist her, and it's like her a finger, fingers all messed up a lengate yeah. a lengate a lengate whatever the word is a lungate, a long a long gate. Wow. I don't think. Yeah. I mean, I don't think that yeah. that's misleading. But wearing makeup is fine. Yeah. I mean, it's still this, kind of misleading. No, but at I the mean, same I, time, like, I came here. I came here with no makeup on, and right away, one of the girls said, "Told me I looked pretty, so exactly, I'm fine with either. Yeah. I can do either. I don't really care." What do you guys think, think about it, like the face tuning app? So, like, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. no, yeah. that's yeah. Too, much. Yeah. too much. I mean, I think if you're going on a date with one of those like take her swimming first kind of guys, why the fuck would you want to date a loser like that, anyways? Well, so I don't actually. The the thing with the the face tuning apps is uh, face tune just I, isn't good in general. It's like bad for women too because it like gives you dysmorphia. Yeah, if like, yeah. completely. If you're changing your body, it's gonna warp your own self image. You're gonna be like, oh my god, why don't, why I, don't I look, look like, like this girl? Yeah, yeah it's, it's not. Good. It's all fake. It's just it's not good overall. Yeah. But so okay, and I'm curious if you guys encounter this. Do you often see male profiles on the dating apps? Those of you that are currently on dating apps or previously on dating apps. Do you frequently see guys that they they are using filters on their photos? I, I imagine there's some, but it's yeah, probably pretty some. rare. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, rare. No, yeah, it's rare. Yeah, whereas like... It's more so like Miro selfie. Yeah. Versus... I mean, okay. I think the debate is yeah. what's worse, a girl yeah. using a filter on a dating app or a guy posting with a fucking fish on his dating app. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, it's a totally guys, dude. I go fishing. I actually went fishing yesterday and I posted it on my Instagram. You like fishing? That's, that's I love, to, I love girl, fishing. But nothing's worse than a guy with a fish. Oh, no, on. absolutely. No, such a, I, will, no. I will post a picture of me holding 10 fish on my fingers. Okay, you But go. I will never swipe on a guy, a guy that's holding if a fish. you no. posted a fish. I'm like, <laughs> no, I understand the Hard sport path. and the fun of it. But like, just not be better. Don't app. don't not post that on the dating app. So Facebook, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Which I don't have, but yeah. <laughs> yeah no. Well, okay, no. definitely. I would say face filters are worse. But okay, so you, you guys don't frequently see guys who are posting filters on the dating apps. My experience on the dating apps is that shit's common, and it's like every, every girl. fucking every yeah. photo. Every girl. Not yeah. not every girl, but like every other. Oh, every probably like eighty percent out of a hundred. Well, I would say uh, women who use filters on dating apps probably 80%, yeah. I want to say, have are using filters. Some of them, it's every single photo. Well, like one of our And friends. that's pretty disingenuous, I think. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I think men should start lying about their height. It's time we equal the playing <laughs> field. Every, that's every your equivalent dude. to makeup and, or filters? Is lying mm -hmm. about your height? Yeah, I think men should start well, lying yeah, about their height. Yeah, you say you're like six feet and you're like Let's five one. Lie. That's a big. Lie. That's a yes, big jump. Five one well, kings. Yeah. Five one kings. You are now six feet. <laughs> that's a big lie. <laughs> on the dating apps. 
Have you heard about the house. surgery that short guys are getting the to get to make them taller? Yeah. yeah. So it's and like, like the male inches. BBL. Guys are breaking their legs. Yeah, you to, break your legs and then they make them longer. Love that. Uh, so let's just continue going around though. So uh, your thoughts? Oh, I said some girls do it like it's too much because they don't look like that. Okay, mm-hmm. Lily, your thoughts? Is it wrong for a girl to wear um, makeup or use filters on a dating app? I feel like it's wrong if you like actively like lie about what you look like under the makeup because I mean I feel like everybody knows like makeup changes like the way you look or like it enhances your features or it can change completely the way you look and it's like guys and girls kind of know that but I feel like if you're just like oh like this is how I naturally look like I look like this like even under the makeup and you don't like lying about it just I don't agree with that but that's just me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I have to be honest, I did face to my face a little bit here and there in my pictures, but I did it so subtle. So not many people can see like, oh, you don't look like that in person. But also continue the topic we're talking about. You need to check the Chinese dating app. Men is absolutely Photoshop the shit out of their face. They just whiten <laughs> their face to an extent the background starts to getting pale. Like, because <laughs> in Asian culture, being like light skin, like fair skin as a beauty standard. So everyone want to be super light. light. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I've definitely seen, actually, we have a clip of this. I wasn't anticipating to pull this up, but Eric, can you switch to the video tab really quick? Um, Okay, go down. We're gonna, no, 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 all the way at the top. It's the makeup one. Makeup, LOL. (laughs) We don't have have audio for this, (laughs) but these are some of the crazy transformations that you can see people doing have you guys have you seen oh, tiktok some, there's Can some you? videos have you seen them and girls are like putting extra like fake things on their face yes. and like lifting it and like yeah. Yeah, making like, themselves no. look more like, no but have y'all seen tiktoks where they it would be like talented a, they need to, like, elderly it would be like elderly, elderly women, women. And, like, they're, and she'll have no teeth super wrinkles and then she does like this makeup tutorial, bam, and then instant she looks she like, looks like okay, yeah. okay, but but look, but look at these transformations. Yeah. I mean, this is egregious. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> <This> is, <laughs> they should really go into graphic that, design. Okay, that's yeah. doing yeah. too much. That's I studied too much. that. Men, that was my major. Men, you need to start no. lying about your height, no. your penis Good. size, your finances. You need to say you have a penis better size, job. We will know. Well, whatever. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're with, see. with your height, you can lie a little bit, like a little bit. No, I no, no. Guess. An five, inch or two. Yeah, an inch or two. But if you're gonna lie, nah. like five, five yeah. inches. Five. Like, five come on. No, no. It's five one to it. six one. That's what I'm talking about. Five one to six no, one. No, no, no. no I love done. that. If someone was five one and told me, th- or they were six one, they showed you're up. Done. I would have the best time <laughs> of my life. I'd be like, oh my god, you're down to cloud. Now, obviously, these are very, these That's are pretty too extreme. Much. Yeah, yeah, that is like, like extra. these are very extreme. That's extra. But like, it, it's it's a it's a spectrum, right? So yeah. like, That's extra. it's I don't know. There's a limit. I'm, There's a limit. I'm in, you know what? I'm in favor. What if we just got rid of makeup and then it it That'd levels the playing field for everyone? Who's in favor? I don't really I, wear it. So you're I'm literally there. not in favor. I'm, I'm in favor of <laughs> because, makeup. Because your competitors are no longer wearing makeup either. Thus, the It'd playing be, field But even is if you even. see like... Hailey Bieber doing her makeup tutorials. Uh, I, uh, I know, but it's just like uh, they're like a dab here, a dab there, bum bum bum. Mm-hmm. They're done, and so yeah, it it has the beauty society has like transitioned more into like a less makeup standard, mm-hmm. but. Uh, I don't think we will ever just like walk, walk away, away from it yeah. because at the end of the day, we put our d- beat our face, as people say, uh, for ourselves, not for, not anybody, for else. anybody else. It's for our own like self uh, esteem and like likings and things like that. It's yeah. just fun. Yeah, like it's, yeah. yeah. it's like our it's artwork. Exactly. Yeah, it's like you know, painting a canvas or painting my own face. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's that deep. Like if anyone's offended mm-hmm. by makeup, that seems yeah. like a you problem. Yeah. 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 In Japanese culture, wearing makeup is showing respect. Really? Mm-hmm. Like if you yeah. wear makeup on a date, it's showing respect to the man. So keep that in mind. It's showing respect to, but, the, man. to the man. But why, would, uh, why to do the we want to show respect to the man? 
They, they, we don't need to show respect to the men. <laughs> That's like, facts. Yeah. <laughs> they could just be on their own. And I want, if I want to put makeup on, I put it on streets. myself. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so she's for the streets. What? <laughs> okay, but you, so you, you're, are you saying that you don't wear makeup for men? No. No. I've gone on. on dates. No, no, no. No, no cap. On. I've gone on. on the first date in my Lulu, like, athleisure workout yeah like the first time i met i went out on the date with this another lawyer different lawyer and uh i was like okay i'm coming straight from workout he's like okay that's fine i literally rolled out did a hit class at equinox and then met him for like cheeseburger at this place in austin texas and uh, fully sweaty sweaty hair no makeup yeah so I don't think attention it's, from men is the purpose or the focus. It's just a bonus. Make, it's yeah. literally it's just, yeah, a bonus. It's just a bonus. Most of my if I get it, that's nice. are like, why do you have to do your makeup? It's like, it's not for you. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't care what you think. Yeah. But okay, I mean. Taylor Swift's song, uh, The Bejewel. The, <laughs> yo, anybody? Nobody? No. Okay, <laughs> goodbye. I'm not a Swift. But I mean, I mean to no, s- you can acknowledge, <laughs> you can at least acknowledge to some degree that you wear makeup to be presentable <laughs> for oh, men. Yeah. Well, I think well that, and just in general, but okay. I think a woman looks truly beautiful with nothing on. Absolutely here, here. nothing. Here, here, Emma. Here, here. <laughs> By the way, she spent one hour in the bathroom. <laughs> no, I, was gonna, I knew that was going to come up. She was... <laughs> she, she ran to the bathroom. Wait, so you're... But you're from China, correct? Yes. Okay, got it. I, I was just curious because you brought up the Japanese thing, so I wasn't sure if you were... Okay. Rock and roll. Okay. Wow. Good times. Good times. Let's do some dating app review. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's do some review. Actually, wait. Before that, um, let me get these hit these super chats really quick. Just a reminder, guys. All super chats will be displayed in stream overlay. I will read super chats $10 and up. And, uh, oh, wait. Are we missing? Shit, we're missing one of the questions. That's weird. Um, let me get the super chat here. We got Luke Worm. Thank you for the ten dollars super chat, man. Appreciate it. Have the ladies rate their intelligence on a scale of one to ten. Curious to see if their answers correlate later. Enjoying the show quality. Keep up the good work, Brick Sane. Okay, thank you, Luke. Yeah, we can go around the table really quick. Uh, rate your intelligence on a scale of one to ten. Go ahead. I would probably say a seven because I'm book smart and like I try to really think about things like in social situations too. But I am naive because I consider people's feelings too much. Sure. Mm-mm. Um, I think oh, I would say I'm like a six because I'm not. I I'm be honest, I hate school, but like I have my education, but I'm more like street smart, I guess, in like social situations. Well, I wouldn't use your my street your smarts. no, I wouldn't use your education like your college what education if, yeah. as a metric of whether you're intelligent or not. People be cheating. I still say uh, yeah, I, I'm a six. <laughs> I'm okay, not that. All right, fair enough. I would say my higher education taught me a certain level of critical analysis and therapy taught me self-awareness, but rarely do I tap into either, so expect pretty low-grade intelligence from me. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not blowing anyone's brains. Yeah, I don't know. I'm definitely street smart, very. Was born and raised in Russia, so I will outrun, outsmart, whatever I need to do. to have a graphic design degree which was the worthless degree you've ever possibly get so if you're in college don't study anything art major something business nursing something more like sustainable um yeah street smarts for sure math kind of on the ify side but i love math, <laughs> I love math. Yeah. you love math I love math. Oh, yeah, uh-uh. I took an extra year of math just because I love it so much. I don't. Oh no. Um, I'd say I'm a seven or eight. I can be slow sometimes. <laughs> so, same. You know. Yeah. I would give myself like a a three. <laughs> My God. At least you're brutal. Brutal. But like, I'm a very passive person. Um, I'm very open to like listening to people's opinions and ideas. Um. But I don't really press it onto people. I guess I'm like sort of dumb in a way because I don't like push myself too far out there. 
I'm more of like you yes. don't have opinions. <laughs> no, I don't have opinions. She I just stays quiet. Yeah, I, I'm more of like if somebody like yells at me or like says something to me, I just kind of take it. I don't like bite back. I just like okay. But I feel like that doesn't mean you're not smart. You yeah, just are. Well, you just. Me. That's okay. <laughs> that's not smart. what I was gonna say. You're still smart. I have my dumb moments. <laughs> We wifey, all do. wifey material. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say A because I did finish my undergrad in finance and accounting, and Wait. also oh eight. Okay, go yeah, ahead. Go ahead. and MBA with concentration of business uh, analytics. But that two points is I have really bad memories, probably from the caffeine pills I take every day. <laughs> <laughs> really bad memories about faces and names, oh but what? yeah. <laughs> Didn't you fuckers learn anything at college? <laughs> no, nope. we didn't. What's yours, Ryan? <laughs> Mine? Yeah. Uh, my intel. Jeez, I don't know. That's it's a good question. I feel like it's. I feel like it's hard to. I mean, there's there's so many different types of intelligence yeah. and. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In in some ways, I think I'm smart. In other ways, I think I'm. Odd, well, I don't know. I no. <laughs> I'm like. I know what you're saying. Fucking. Yeah. I don't know. I think um, that's all of us. Like, I think we can all say that we're smart yeah. in some ways. And yeah, yeah. Not I want to say like seven point five, seven point five. Um, okay. Okay. So, uh, oh, also, just while we're rating everyone, uh, Stifler, ask the ladies to rate themselves I on the scale of one to ten. Mean. We'll start here. Go ahead. I'm gonna go with my favorite number seven again because. Okay. I like seven. Um, I feel like. I have depression and stuff, and I can be kind of hard to deal with. <laughs> like, Girl, I'm I'm not wait, no. hold on, but but just looks. This is just looks. Oh, okay. I thought we were talking about personalities. <laughs> no. I mean, how about we'll, we'll do both. So, give us your one to oh, ten right. looks, and then one to ten personality. Say like a six. Looks, looks. and then personality seven. Seven. Okay, but then you have the depression. You said you, <laughs> you said you're hard to deal with. Is I that feel what? like for people who haven't had a similar childhood it's just they can't wrap their brain around it like for example my mom and i don't talk right she's mm-hmm. abusive and a guy told me once he's like have you tried to talk to her and i was like yeah did you not listen to anything <laughs> i just said like she doesn't she doesn't we don't talk like i've tried to right. talk to her just things like that i feel like i can it's i can get not mad but little things like trigger me and i feel like oh we don't connect now because that's like such a big thing that you're it's just if you can't understand certain things about me, it's going to be hard for us to connect as people and like other way around too. But I feel like it makes it more difficult in social situations. And so how does that manifest itself in relationships? I feel like because I don't have family, not that I'm clingy, but like I want to like do everything with them. And for people who like doing their own thing and like have their own freedoms that they want to have, it's kind of, they can get kind of annoyed with me or like if they're kind of short with me, I'm like, oh, you're mad at me. So now I think there's a problem. And I'm like, now I'm like, oh, why are you upset? Like, like I'm trying to fix it. And like, really it's not that big of a deal. And I make it like a bigger deal than it needs to be. Cause I want to make sure like everything's good. Um, but then it does turn into an argument when there really wasn't one. I just take things too personally. Cause okay. I always think I'm wrong. You always think you're wrong. I always try, like, try to find a way, even if I'm not wrong, I try to find a way to blame myself. Cause then if I can blame myself, then I can do something to fix it. Because I, I'm like a control freak and I want to fix everything. Okay, but you're, you okay. consider yourself to be always wrong. Like in situations, okay, in just situations like a, where I know I'm not wrong, I'll try to find a way to make it So my you fault. can be wrong so you can fix it. Yeah. What, oh, do material? you think you're just a people pleaser? Yes. And you know how there's like personality <laughs> tests people where pleaser. there's like a woo and woo... Briggers, Meyer, Myers, Myers, Myers thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like, but no, you, yeah. And so there's like personality tests and maybe you're fall into that. I'm not putting you in the box, but just like there's like a three and the woo definition where like they're constantly trying to please other people. Okay, we got to move on. Yeah, um, okay, goodbye. Okay. One, <laughs> one, to, one to 10, looks and personality. I think looks, I'm an eight, maybe on a good day, an eight and a half, like mm, okay. maybe a seven, like then an Wait, eight. Wait, so looks eight, eight yeah. and a half. And then personality, I think, I think I'm pretty funny. I'm going to say an eight also. I okay. think I have a good personality. Sure, go ahead. I just want to preface with I'm definitely sitting at a table of tens right now. I think everyone here is a ten. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> no, and I promise I'm... 
I promise I'm not trying to be a pick me, but today's a bad day for me. I feel like a five today. Just like I was trying to do my makeup in the bathroom and it wasn't working. And you know when you're just frustrated with your face and you're like, you just want to get it done. Yeah, well, I just either I wish I like didn't put any on because I feel like I messed it up by putting it on. We, bad. we you know, told you. You guys were right. Yeah, they told me they said don't wear any makeup, and I was like, maybe she I'll just put a little. She looks bomb on. with or without makeup. Thanks, God. Okay, personality. Personality eight because I'm fucking nuts, but some guys <laughs> like that. <laughs> I mean, at least I'm never boring, I guess. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm tooting my own horn, but uh, nine. But there's always room for to perfect. Yeah. Uh, um and that's look wise but that's just again just tooting my own ho- horn <laughs> 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 and then the personality 13 i'm a blast 13 13 okay. Th- sure okay. um look seven and then i'm gonna say personality nine okay lily i'm giving myself a five a five oh, oh, not even uh, be girl. better and then, like personality probably like a six because I just have a lot of mental health stuff that I would like to. Don't work. we all? No, yeah, don't no, subtract we, from mental health issues. You can be no. mentally ill and sexy, and fun. I'm at the personality part. She said I'm I cry person. over everything. No, that's okay, but you can. That's still, fine. Girls with mental illness are hot, in my that's opinion. Fine. Nah. Literally. Yep. I'm no. a fucking rocket, like, babe. No. Yeah. Um, okay, but so what? What are your issues? Um, I. <laughs> Uh, that's a very deep wow. question. Yeah, that's a, there's a lot. How much time do we have personal. to unpack? There's a, there's a lot. Yeah. Makes you better just, in bed. <laughs> I just have a lot of very anxiety. Like, I do have severe anxiety. anxiety. I don't know if panic you can attacks. Tell. I'm like jittering. I'm like shaky right now. It's a, well, maybe that it's a well, no, it's because right? I'm, I'm anxious. I have shaky hands, but it's no, just natural. I, I'm I'm not usually shaky. I'm I'm just like well, anxious. I mean, t- I mean, this this is your first time doing something like this, well, I yeah. imagine, and the cameras are on, the lights are on. I just don't know what to say. Cause I'm, it's okay. I blink out. I'm like a goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> You're a goldfish. Ted, Ted Lasso said, Wait. "Be a goldfish. It's a good thing." Okay, so uh, anxiety, panic attacks. Um, yeah, I do have depression and depression. stuff. Depression. Okay. Um, my parents kind of taught me to be more of a very passive person, like you know, kind of keep your head down after like all the Asian hate crimes and stuff happening. Cause I I did get hate crimed once. Not fun. Um. But it's just kind of like that stuff that I feel like I could work myself better to be like my best self for my friends, family, like my boyfriend, just anyone around me, basically. Yeah. Well, sorry to hear that you were uh, the victim of a a crime. That's unfortunate. (laughs) Um, So, okay, what about you? Um, for me, I think for look, I will give 7.5. By my first boyfriend said I'm a 5.5, <gasps> so I keep that in mind oh. forever. But <laughs> thank you for that point. <laughs> Emotional damage. <laughs> Your boyfriend said you were a 5.5. Yeah, yeah, like very serious. It's okay, last time I was on here, a guy DMing said I was a 10, and then when I didn't respond for two hours, said fuck you, you're an 8.5. But I'm like, that's still uh, that's good. good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. He wasn't that mad. <laughs> uh, personality? Personality-wise, I would say in English, I'm seven, but in Chinese, I'm nine because I'm still Ooh. learning English. I'm much okay. more funnier in Chinese. But yeah. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Just let, let me clarify. That. <laughs> she said I'm more when, funnier in Chinese. Like in China or in... Just uh, in Chinese, in Chinese language. language. In lang- yeah. Her, yeah. I can She's relate like, oh, with that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Because sometimes I say jokes that make sense in my head in Russian mm-hmm. and then they don't translate mm-hmm. well in English yes. and it's like okay I just okay. wasted yeah. breath yeah. So, yeah yeah I can I can see that because yeah. I mean yeah that makes sense, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> so okay Brian what about you what about me yeah what, what's the question personality. Uh, personality. <laughs> <laughs> looks and personality uh, I want to I want to say I'm uh, looks six or six point nine on a good day what's a good day per- look like for you just got what a haircut eye up. makeup like eye ma- mascara eye patches. i need to get a bit of a tan like i'm very pale 
beard oil extremely t- beard oil <laughs> sometimes i get a little, a little bit of dandruff you know yeah. so it's just like okay. got some flakes so it depends you know like <laughs> okay yeah. i also wear contacts if i got my glasses on mm. you know i'm kind of r- doing the nerdy thing so mm-hmm. no. you know it depends okay. it depends but yeah six six point nine on a good day personality wise i give myself a solid like 13 7.5 or an eight <laughs> wow, that's low. Yeah. 7.5 or an eight um i'm I'm like the most, probably the most boring person to date, I think. Oh. Like I have my head on very straight. I would say I have a lack of mental health issues, uh, <laughs> but I'm, I'm pretty, like I'm a very stoic person. And like, if you wanna go on a hike or go on adventures, I'm not the one. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were like, gonna say you weren't the one. I'm, I'm a homebody a and like okay. I'm pretty, I'm more introverted. You can be a homebody and still go on a hike. What is I'm a homebody. I like the beach. I don't like I don't like oh. hikes and shit. I'm a homebody and I were in a turkey trot this morning. Also, also the other oh, thing so. is like <laughs> the other thing is is I I work a lot. I work a lot, so That's fair. I don't know. These chicks like they got energy to like go camping and shit. Bro, I'm fucking tired. You can come over. No, that's, that's it. camp in my bed. That's it. <laughs> that's why you need to get a girl with mental illness. All we want to do is nothing. Like, yeah. We're yeah. depressed. Yeah. Go on our phones. Sleep. Eat chips, lie. Yep. So, on your dating profile, looking for men- mental illness. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I'm, yes, definitely. Um, but, uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> let's get these other super chats here. We have uh, Everyday Edgar here. Thank you for the $10 super chat. Uh, I'm not going to have the girl, I'm not going to have the girls do this unless they agree to do it. Um, so I'll leave it up to you guys if you want to do it. You're under no obligation to. Everyday Edgar seems to have a, uh, interesting but why why is that important i can see your haircut (laughs) but why 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 is that important information for the ladies guess the weight weight of the person next to you but why is that information important to them are they small boy who can lift me up and (laughs) throw me on the bed or like what or is there like a weight fetish like that's what why is this important it's not that you're not gonna date us it's not that deep. Yeah. It's not that deep. <laughs> <laughs> but for, for girls, it is. Why do we want to d- yeah. display our weight on the you know public what? Public platform. Speaking of the weight, every day, Edgar, I think it's. I think it's unlikely that the girls are going to want to answer this question. Um, let's guess your. You're weight. on your own, buddy. Sorry. Yeah, let's get his guess but, his weight. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you guys think you know on on a lot of these dating apps they have a height field you know you can put in your height don't you guys oh think there should height. be a weight field on just hinge to, you have no, to pay why called eating heights. disorders but there's nothing exactly. called a height disorder yeah what you like t- of co- there's and you're already of, seeing pictures of us you, and some girls will put a full body short. picture like do you really uh, need to actually, know our weight like people start them no right emma no it's okay she's not wrong well actually that's Actually, information from the American Eating Health Association. Well, I would say a, a major factor in the, well, okay. You, you brought up people deleting their, themselves. Men delete themselves at a higher rate than no, women. I'm not saying and I would say that one of the reasons men delete themselves is an inability to find a romantic partner, you don't which delete men struggle your, with more You don't more have than, to delete yourself from an eating disorder. You have to eat to live. So if you don't eat, you die. Die. Okay, but like, mm-hmm. there's yeah. more short men. That, I mean, we can get into the statistics. Right, but, so the yeah. debate is that. But like, what? But what's what? I mean, you're using a very extreme example. I don't well, think I'm saying it's putting a weight a weight uh, thing on Tinder or or Hinge would. But cause why women do you need to, to know our themselves. weight? Like, why is it what that would that important? information do to you? Exactly. Yeah. Will why? that make you swipe no because you're? Right. If I say I say, yes. say I say I'm 200 pounds. Yeah. What What does that information do? Whereas, like, I could be lying that I'm 200 pounds, and that might be like something that you look forward, and I show up, and I'm like, like this 90. skinny, <laughs> inner- <laughs> skinny <laughs> anorexic. Women. It's apples and oranges to compare. A short guy deleting himself is just as tragic we're, as okay, a but woman that, going through an eating disorder both are tragic yeah but you're, you're but using different. yeah but you're using very extreme examples here we're just let's talk more generally just about the height versus weight thing okay so let's talk about it on on dating apps there's a height field mm-hmm. yeah for both men and women, mm-hmm. yet there is no weight field mm-hmm. shouldn't there, there be actually, there should I feel be a like weight it's field. easier no, to tell if someone's tall or short on a picture yeah. Like no, it's or like harder it's harder. To tell, yeah, harder, it's harder and then like someone's weight <laughs> you can tell you don't need an exact I mean, number well, I mean, when they don't filter it 
what pictures are you looking at? Girls just posting their no. eyes? Yeah, like, like yeah. you can see that. Like, exactly. Yo, a I'm torso of the look, most. Look, let me. He's let me like, sh- let me pull let me up a picture. Let me show you what girls do, right? Weight show is a very okay, personal off, number. Here's so this. if we're going to do that, let's put guys' <laughs> go b- dick sizes on. Yeah, yeah. Go back, go back yeah. to mental health. Weight affects women's mental okay, health. Yeah. And so we. Wieners. Wieners. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to add three things to the dating apps, right? Because I obviously I have control over the you yeah. know, yes. Tinder, all these. Yeah. yeah. We're going to add weight. We're going to add penis size. Uh-huh. And we're going to add labia in your <laughs> any or Audi. Okay? Oh, any yeah. or Audi. Yeah. Wait, Eric, can, can, can you pull was. up the my nonprofit organization on um, this? I was so dead. I watched a podcast and you were saying that. that <laughs> <laughs> Eric? Please support my nonprofit organization, the American <laughs> Network Against Labia Placity. We are a grassroots movement. Um, Eric is on the board of directors. Um, we're looking for, you know, volunteers if any of you guys are down. Uh, basically, it's just very unfortunate. Women are shamed if they have what's a so called Audi, mm-hmm. if they have, you know, Audi, large labia, beef curtain. These are the derogatory it's terms. So it's this- ho- hold on, hold on. You know, there's, there's these really terrible terms that both women and men used to refer to women with Audis. You got uh, roast beef, beef curtains, wizard sleeve. Wizards. And I think it's wrong. What's a wizard sleeve? A, w- yeah, a, wizard, a, wizard sleeve? a wizard sleeve. <laughs> a wizard oh sleeve. God, like mind. hanging out? Yeah. <laughs> so, but do you know, do you know why people, by people, I mean this women is- and men have the shame for it? Is because when you watch porn, Pornhub, oh, there oh. is very like shallow structured <laughs> surgically done well vagina uh, labia so, yeah but if you watch you know, <laughs> in back in the day like uh, playboy magazines mm-hmm. you open up and the very front it's like, perfect. like yeah, yeah it's perfect it's balonies <laughs> i, I love balonies okay so in the past yes that like with ploy- with magazines playboy and stuff they definitely shopped they definitely had a certain type of woman. However, I can just say, based on my own research, mm-hmm. I got bro. I got a. I got an archive of some Pictures? ladies with large what? ladies. That's your favorite. Yeah. Elsa, huh? Elsa Jean, Elsa Jean boys. Okay. Shout <laughs> out. What's up? I mean, yo, there there are subreddits that are dedicated to women with large labia. Why Lip, do you know lips this? that yeah, grip. But it's, but it's the it. same as labia, women. Uh, labia gone wild. GW. I don't know. Yeah, but it's the same thing as like women with big breasts, <laughs> small breasts. It's the same body parts. Men with bigger wieners, smaller wieners. And so it's the <laughs> same idea. But because I, I'm Wait. older here, the generation growing up, Pornhub, Playboy, all of that, it has been uh, perfectly structured and shown that this is what your lady part should look like. And then you go on a date or you sleep with someone and it doesn't look like one magazine or uh, anything that you've seen on TV. Sure. You're like, what the hell is that? And so that's, that's where the whole... Uh, should it be bigger, smaller, any Audi? That's and what things I want to like know. That. Is you know, there's obviously like a standard for men that like yeah. you want a big dick. Do is it bad to have a big pussy or do is it a small <laughs> pussy? Well, okay. Like, yeah. What so, is the standard sure. for that? Wait, there's no way to like? no. It's so interesting. Yeah. Well, and there's different factors too. So like, mm-hmm. I mean, maybe a more apt comparison to dick size might be tight or loose oh, but like yeah. but speaking on labia the Audis versus the innies mm. are you talking about the outside or like the inside the labia the outside the lips the lips oh man okay so don't they all look the same <laughs> no <laughs> they do they all they look do, the same it's just, just some, some hang a little more than others <laughs> yeah but it's not right it's not wrong it's yeah. just what it is but well, again yeah. and, and there's there's also a wrongly um, th- there's this train of thought that if a woman is lo- uh, has slept with a lot of men that, that they're that, gonna be losing that out. well that, that she's gonna have 
roast like roast beef like large hanging labia. out that's not true no but it's the same that's thing they say like your vagina is going to be loose that's not how it works you do kiggles yeah that's it's and not true. the shit tightens <laughs> it's so, not so true. it doesn't matter I've heard how that much sex you times have that like if you, if the girl's been like run Ran through, through yeah. Yeah. then they're gonna be hanging that's not like, true that's not a virgin could have large don't you just re yeah. tighten back up I would not. It's not, not about not tight the, or like not loose. The, it's about it's the like your lips it's the hanging lips. out. Yeah. Eric, can you pull up the sandwich? No, I don't. <laughs> uh, you're going to have to find it in the folder. Oh uh, take a second to find it, Eric. Let me know when you have it. But <laughs> you know what, though? I wish. Oh, sh oh what's he doing? Oh, okay. Um, but we how should would put, you know if her legs are open? Like, you can't tell. We, you can't I think, tell. Wait. No. When, when? What do you mean? I'm a fan of large labia, but you can tell. You can, <laughs> but what, yeah. what, I'm a fan. what difference yeah. does it make for a guy? It's like a fetish. No? Like if you, if the like girl has big could, boobs or small boobs, it's that's like, what I would. You could consider it a fetish. She has like women suffering from BPD, bigger. big pussy, pussy disorder. disorder. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, wait, sorry, what was the question that you were? I didn't ask a question. Oh, so who was asking? She asked the question. What, what, what was, was the question? question? Emma, How were can you asking? Oh, I How said. Oh, what? Why? What's what's your infatuation oh, uh, <laughs> i've seen that <laughs> yeah but it's there's so, so many artworks that it but that doesn't display look like women's uh, <laughs> private parts <laughs> and it shows the beauty of it that there's different shapes sizes colors uh, but exactly, texture like, whatever no, he likes it like on, we're not saying like we he does it's a problem and yeah look at funny pictures yeah no, of i'm not and wee -wee. Yo, no, 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 no i know but I'm a, you were I'm saying on the team. Team, yeah. i'm on the fucking team <laughs> But and, and that question, why are you the, on the team of bigger, bigger the better? Large labia. He's a by the way, he's supporter. Like, do like grip you like. So okay, so by the way, and it's not like I only would like out innies are cool too. Like it's not that just you know. It's something I mean, he like, goes down like on the girl and it's an well, innie. He's like, oh, Brian's I'm like, uh, like uh, with yo, you got an RB sandwich down there. Actually, you know what? Are you At meaty? one point, I was like. The, I think they're r more rare than innies has been my experience. Audis are more rare. So at one point on the dating app, I was like, <laughs> yo, <laughs> I'm only interested if you have no. an Audi. You do not. <laughs> and all these chicks are like belly button. I'm like, nah. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. Okay, Brian, Brian. What's up? Such a I, have, for that. I, I yeah. heard is if you have a butterfly, which is out. Butter Audi? Oh, butterfly wings Things? is yeah. another. Yeah, butterfly wings, not the car, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They said that kind of is feels better because yep. there's more wrinkles inside and get wetter. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Uh, said, like wait, wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so okay, like it, the the look, the appearance, it grips, so to speak, and I think it helps. Like, so <laughs> it's true. Actually, so the I'm actually true. articulating this. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually articulating why you I get prefer giggle, this. Giggles like, when you think about vagina. <laughs> no, but it, I would say it helps with lubrication. Save lubrication does, because it's, it, it wouldn't it get like, in the way though? Like, kind of, you know, keeps it there. Keeps a little it. Bit. <laughs> keeps the lubrication there. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't keeps think it. I don't yeah. think that's how it works though. It makes sense. Not though, that I'm like, a biologist, but no, because yeah. Can we I go can back to it. why you know that this is on subreddit? Because he's What's because that? he's on like, like, my genitals subreddit. Do you actively like search it up and be like <laughs> with all the other twelve year like, olds? Yeah, this is exactly what I want right here. Like this exact picture of this. Listen, like this. I'll just I'll just say that there's several Reddit communities, communities. which I'm, they've got like hundreds of thousands. I think one of them has like a million. Uh, uh, subreddit sorry guys we're having a little technical issue here has like a million uh, followers for the subreddit in which Brian Atlas is the host I'm the moderator You're the I'm, mod. The, I'm the mod, mod. <laughs> Eric can if I you join? can if you can fix that real quick oh there we go um no I'm not a mod I'm not a mod <laughs> but um he's an admin he's a BPD supporter. yeah I wish I wish um well no it's like uh okay you have should I list the fucking names of the subreddits Let's so you go. guys can Scope. Let's go. Just okay. put you it have this memorized. R R slash lips that grip. Oh yeah. And then R slash labia GW mm. for labia gone wild. Mm. I'm gonna start my own. R slash uh baloney ponies. 
<laughs> r slash bald headed yogurt slingers what? for what? rating guys wee wees wait what the fuck <laughs> yogurt start, slingers yeah i'm gonna start uh subreddit you, for, can come. Um, you came up with that a little too fast oh th- i got yeah. more <laughs> one-eyed snake third leg oh here here's a few more r slash butterfly wings um shit what, i don't know there's probably like six more but they're not coming to me there should be one six where it's like more. both so we can like trade picks of like I don't know, large labias and like uncircumcised wieners with the equivalent. <laughs> There's probably subreddits yeah, for yeah, that shit good too. Equivalent. Yeah. Let's make this business business move. <laughs> guys on Reddit, if anyone's on Reddit. You guys should read r slash big dick problems. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> because a, so funny. apparently there's a lot of dudes with big giant dick dicks problems. stuck in the toilet. Having, <laughs> having issues. I actually hate big dicks. Same. I think that's Me like too. A, it's Me too. not it's it like it's not enjoyable. It hurts. Yeah. It hurts. It hurts. So painful. Yeah. I like yeah. them. Show me no. your micro. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> okay. Um so let me get these <laughs> rest of these super chats here. Um Okay, so we got Davon Jackson here. Good to see you, man. Happy Thanksgiving. Did you really ask why you need to respect the man that could potentially be your boyfriend? I hope no man shows you respect on a date ever again then, El Mayo. This I believe like someone said, like, this was probably 30 minutes ago, that when, I think it was you maybe, why show a man respect on a date? Right? Something like that. Oh, yeah. Makeup. You were, right? Two. No, you it was. It was one of you two. I said, wait, no, no, no. What did I say? When, when she was talking about, like. Oh, you were saying the, the thing about uh, the Japanese women when if they wear makeup, makeup mm-hmm. it's like showing the guy respect. Oh, yeah. And then oh, yeah, I said, why like, show men a respect? Oh, yeah. yeah. Why, what that, do you owe them? I mean, that's. You don't owe them shit. I think she means through you making your appearance different for them. What I meant, like, why do you have to, like, show men respect? You don't owe them shit. But, they don't like, owe you shit. What so is you're he just... doing for you, like, yeah. right off the bat, if it's supposed but to I be that like way? It's well, I a mean... mutual kind of thing. Like, I feel like respect goes both ways. In order to Definitely. gain, like, respect from the other person, you have to learn to respect them in the first place. Even if they don't have anything to give back, I feel like respect is just a moral basis that mm-hmm. you just have. Yeah that everyone should just have to everybody just no. absolutely like absolutely and going back to that whenever i went out with that lawyer that said he is six feet and he was my height during the whole dinner date he went miserable he kept telling me that i'm not gluten-free or lactose intolerant and blah 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 and then at the end of the date he tried to lean for a kiss and he was like i hope to see you again oh, i no. swerved oh, no. and i said thank you have a good night I was still respectful to him. So yes, you can still respect, but I'm saying like me putting makeup is not anything for him. It's just more so for me. But yes, at the end of the day, I'm going to be respectful to anyone I come across. Homeless person, guy I'm going on a date, person I just met at our interview job and things like that. No, fuck it. Dream date. I lie about my weight. You lie about your height. (laughs) We go on our phones the whole time, disrespect each other, and never talk again. Wow, that sounds romantic. Okay, (laughs) moving on. We have, uh, let's see, we have Miguel Patel. Thank you, man. Appreciate the support. Brian, when will we have a 1v1, 1v100 panel? Don't invite none of these caged animals, though. P.S. The Latina is probably the only honest one here to be humble enough but who's the latina who's the latina because also if you guys are talking about me first of all that's kind of racist because i'm what? not latina and they you're, might not you're just <laughs> they might talk about me <laughs> yeah, you're in. talk about her because i'm not latina i'm not latina what what are you i'm native american oh well there what you go you? guys i'm black oh. miguel so, patel we've got so, no latinas so. listen listen miguel i need to t- tell you something very serious here uh-uh. how dare you be racist against her. Period. How dare you with your racist on assumptions on Thanksgiving? My name is like I'm hurting. I'm already on hurting day. on, on my special yeah. day. Wow. 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 Hate, hateful Miguel Nobody knows Patel. Funny is Miguel's a, a Hispanic name, but Patel is like an Indian <laughs> name. So Patel, yeah, that's an Indian Patel, yeah. Indian. Okay. <laughs> We got Leonardo Nocaprio. Thank you for the Canadian ten dollars. Merci beaucoup. Ra- <laughs> rating wise, a woman will always be near whatever her first man programmed her to be. Think of it like center of gravity. If you're her first and imprint on her, she's a four. That will be her starting point. <laughs> was, so, was this him? What? Was this him just Are sharing his thoughts? Yeah. Or was like, there like, like her. Yeah. She said that her first boyfriend said she was a five point five or whatever. Uh, so. 
Mm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's some that's some game there. Thank you, Leonardo and DiCaprio. Well that done. That was deep. Merci beaucoup. Okay. <laughs> By the way, Leonardo DiCaprio, your oh, next super chat has to be in uh, French Canadian. Okay. Um, Davon Jackson, thank you for the ten dollars super chat. You can control your weight. You can't control your height or penis size. Weight goes beyond a number on the scale. It's an indication of your habits and mental fortitude. That is a good point. No, so no, no, there's no, penis well, enhancers. Yeah. Call Pe- an ambulance. Huh? No, no, no. Yeah. I'm with no. this guy a little bit, but still, there's no reason for me to put my weight. Yeah. Because the diabetes one, not the one that like you're unhealthy, but like uh, the one that you're just lacking insulin, you can get to the point where you just overweight because you're not producing enough insulin. And so why is why does my weight still has to be on the dating profile? What? What? Yeah, of course. What? <laughs> but, but okay. I just blacked out too. So, no, it's here's fine. the thing. So I'll, I'll pull it back up. So he says, you can control your weight. You can't control your height or penis size. So... He's not there wrong in he's, terms he's, he's of true. like you can't control that, but same as like we can't control our boob size That's true. unless we get a boob job and they don't can get that. a. We can't control our labia size. Yeah, penis <laughs> implant. <laughs> but in some circumstances, like weight is something that you can't always change due yeah. to like like mm-hmm. physical health problems. Like there are some people out there that can't actually lose weight due to like um, just pre-existing health conditions and. It's like a constant buildup. I know somebody there, who can't lose weight due to like a lot of And there are people who can't gain weight. weight. Weight goes Sorry. both yeah. ways. Wait, hold on. Be. Just finish your... Uh, they can't I, lose weight because of what? Well, like, I'm not going to go into my friend's like personal stuff, but I'm saying like there's pre-existing health conditions that could cause somebody not to be able to lose weight or not to be able to gain weight. Sure. Okay. So... On a general's term. Yeah. Okay. So there mm-hmm. are things like hypothyroidism where it is a bit more difficult to lose weight. There are some mat- metabolic issues. Yeah. Of the people, though, that are overweight or obese, those issues are fairly minor. And I actually, I have mild hypothyroidism, which means it's a bit harder for me to lose weight. But ultimately, losing weight, all it comes down to is calories in, calories out. Yeah. If you're at a calorie deficit, even if you don't exercise, so even someone who's bedridden can lose weight. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're not wrong. But mm-hmm. weight is it's it can be unhealthy if you. I struggled with my weight because I was 90 pounds um, during when mm. I first um, had an eating disorder, which I'm now in recovery for. And it took so much time and changing my diet and just mental struggling with it mentally to gain weight, like to get to a healthy normal weight because. 90 pounds is not a healthy normal weight and yeah. it was not something I wanted to disclose um, it was like an issue where I would you know hide it from my doctor from my family from my everyone my friends and so like weight is I think something that a lot of people struggle with whether it's gaining weight or losing weight mm-hmm. um, whereas I think height is probably something people struggle with I mean we all have our insecurities it's just I think weight is a different ball game yeah. um, just because of um, it affects mental that, health. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and like I can see <laughs> exactly. I mean, that's how I feel. Like boo hoo, poor me. I had an eating disorder, <laughs> but like boo hoo, poor you. You're short. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I'm, but the thing is, is that a guy's height's probably going to be a bigger factor in being able to secure a partner than. A woman's weight. Okay, no, so you, you just have to laid. find the right person and with their weight. You oh, my the right person, like, oh my god! People die. Yeah, people die, Brian. <laughs> people die. People die. You're not gonna die from not getting laid. Well, mm. <laughs> all right, Eric, keep this one up. I'll just do it, get it right now. Um, Davon Jackson, thank you for the super chat, man. There's no health-related weight conditions in third world countries. That's a first world problem. And such a small small percentage of people, it's effectively irrelevant. What? No, Boom. people no, die from starvation people, from being yeah. malnourished and underweight no, in third world countries. He's talking about overweight people. He's, he's talking about being But we were overweight. talking about Date what he likes and not what he doesn't and stop Shots talking to us about this. Exactly. Byron. Anyways, um, let's do the dating app review. We've been oh meaning to. Oh, no. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> Who's um, first? Eric, can you go ahead? Oh, Wait, there's no. my sister on the chat. Yo, what's up? Darby sister? Hayes. Yo, what's up, Darby? <laughs> what do you do, baby? <laughs> Y'all are picky, man. 
Oh, Eric, pull that one up. Why not? Let's just grab it right now. Uh, yo, David Doan, thank you for the uh, super chat, man. Appreciate it. I believe, I believe Miguel was talking about the second Asian girl from the left next to you, Brian. The only girl that was realistic in her ratings. Shout out to you, Brian, slash whatever, the chat, and to the ladies. Okay, David. Hey, David, Doan. thank you He's for the support. Asian. Appreciate you, man. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> My name's Lily. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Asian girl. You tell him. Yeah, you tell him. Yo, can we get some W's in the chat for Lily? Okay, so um, don't. Wait, how come it's good when she calls herself a five, but it wasn't good when I said I was a five? Or whenever your boyfriend said you're a five? Oh, if I'm not a five, five point five. Five point five. five, point five. five yeah. My bad. My oh, bad. Okay. It's like we just, we just want to see whoever's quietest. I'm Eric, just, torn I'm down. just here, man. That's not fair. <laughs> Eric, can you go ahead and pull up the uh, dating profiles, please? I look nothing like my profile I hope it's anymore. I not me first, so I can. Oh, uh, <laughs> you know how to, you can stay on the window, but do you remember how to switch it, Eric? Yeah, okay. yeah you just go to display capture, double click, and then just, yeah, perfect. Oh, God. All right, we got Jasmine here first. Hi. All right, guys. So, uh, I look you know, so dark. pretend that you see Jasmine here on Tinder. Oh. She's 21. She's a receptionist. She lives in Santa Barbara. She loves weed, picnics, and dogs. <laughs> she's, I, have, I have three dogs, she's, actually. Oh, she's an Aries. Someone said why And <laughs> she smokes weed or cigarettes? Uh, I smoke weed, and I also smoke uh, va uh, puffs and, like, vape disposables. Cancer. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can bring it back, Eric. It'll happen one day. Uh, next photo. Okay. Very All right. Next fatty. one. I was in the club. <laughs> I was at All the right. beach. Oh, no, okay. I was at the pool. All the pool. right. All right. How long ago was this? Because your hair is red. That was in uh, August. Oh, okay. Got it. You going to go back? or? I just dyed it back to black. Gotcha. For Halloween. Okay. Nice. Next one. All right. It, what? See, I don't have very much makeup you on. It's just my eyebrows. But my eyebrows are eyelashes. very... And eyelashes. But Wait, my what? So what, what is this so piercing bad. called? What uh, is that? Is there a name for it? You know how like this is... You have the septum piercing, my right? Lip, I have my lip pierced. I have my septum pierced. I used to have my nose pierced. I have my um, cheek pierced. I don't have a tongue. Show, show the tongue? Okay. Good I times. I like piercings. Good times. <laughs> Um, Wait, can I ask a question about tongue? Never mind, actually, never mind. About <laughs> no, okay, it depends. The guy can feel it sometimes, but sometimes they can't. What if he gets, yeah. like, what if he gets like, caught? Like, no, it's that's never got caught. caught. Okay. Like Wait, how does it, how would a tongue person <laughs> <get? laughs> like, Can you well, feel like, that? What if it like, like goes under and just like... <laughs> it, what like, what is it going to get caught on? Stabs them? No. Okay. No. I mean, I guess if you're given a guy who had a Prince Albert piercing... It, then yeah, it could get caught, but like... I also did not get it to pleasure men. So anybody that has to say that, it was for me, not for fucking pleasure. Stop so. the cap. <laughs> this okay. probably sounds like a, the biggest red flag. My mom had a tongue piercing. I don't know my mom like that. But I was like, ooh, I want a tongue piercing too. So Okay, wow. That is uh, let's continue on with the uh, her dating app here. Okay, um, I, so I think that might be it, but just go one over. I think that no, might be. No, I think be. I have two more. One more. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here's Bird. another photo. In Target. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, was, I was trying on the biker shorts. Next one. Oh Next. my God. <laughs> okay. I th I'm a gym there. girl. Okay, guys. Left or right? Do you swipe left or right? No. Oh, left or right? So no or lying. yes. <laughs> How am I a liar? A liar about what? Left Stop or right lying. for Jasmine, guys? What do you do? If you see her on Tinder, I do look like a square. <laughs> I literally told Aja earlier, I'm fucking SpongeBob in this bitch. Like I literally I love SpongeBob. Square. I'm giving square. square. I don't have pants. curves. Not gonna lie. Okay. So Everyone's pump and dump. All right. <laughs> Next. Pump and dump. That is crazy. Guys, also don't just say. Oh, here's not. Uh, don't just say left. Just to like, what would you? Would you actually? You know. Yo, swipe wine. left or right. smash it. Come somewhere. on, guys. Come on. So what's a Jasmine the native? Yes, I am native. Oh, Melissa, God. your name's Jasmine. <laughs> I feel like they're going to bring that up now that you brought that up. But Dude, okay. someone was literally like, oh, the native likes big dick. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> she likes big dick. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, go on. <laughs> or hold on. I'm from Why don't I take yeah. it back? Yeah. Show me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. 
Go ahead. Pull it back up there. I take it back. Delete. All right. We have Aza here. Um, 21. Uh, <laughs> about me. Just trying to catch a vibe. Looking Don't read that. <laughs> looking for a... <laughs> Yes, I'll take me room. I felt your nose go down my back. <laughs> Looking for a boo. Yes, I like mirror pics, LOL. <laughs> She's a Taurus. Oh, what's up? Okay. Hey, when is, when is your birthday? That? When what's is your birthday? May 4th? April 24th. And my sister's is May 3rd. I'm no April way. 4th. I'm 4-4. Four four. Four. You're uh, Aries. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's is that funny. a good thing or a bad thing? It doesn't matter what you think. Okay. Uh, next one, Eric. All right. Like um, okay, next. Next. I think that's it. Okay. I like that next. picture. I'd swipe right. Okay, left or right on Aza. I'd swipe right. That's all I can Left or right, yes or no. <laughs> left or right, yes or no. What do you guys do? And while we get those in, let me, uh, we got a super chat here, I think. Let me see if I can. I said pass and block. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, someone said pass and block. All right, we got uh, M- Miguel Patel. That kind of rhymes, doesn't it? Uh, thank I you for the super it. chat, man. Uh, be humble and check yourself before you Shrek yourself. Shrek yourself. <laughs> and become a Fiona in the future. I'm 69% native, by the way. Okay. P.S. Hit me up. We can have more natives on the world. Do you even know why you ha- Why do you feel entitled to include your percentage? What does that matter? If I were to say I was Mexican, would I have to say I'm 80% Mexican? Why? Do you even know why people started saying their percentages? Are you Chumash? You I'm Chumash and I'm Navajo. Oh, do you, are you, do you have membership with the tribe? What? Membership? What? Citizenship, you mean? I, I yeah. don't know what it's <laughs> Membership. I'm not. I do have Educate citiz- me. I have citizenship for being um, Navajo, but not Chumash. I not always, Chumash. I always get like, oh, so you have a part in the casino. No, I don't. I don't have anything to do with the casino. But could you? Like if you <laughs> tried or whatever? Yeah, it's just the tribe that's recognized here. My family doesn't like what they do because they support a lot of people that claim they are Chumash, but they're not. And mm-hmm. they can't back it up when like my family can back up. Like we have all of our records so yeah. like we don't want anything to do with them so okay. we don't yeah gotcha part of it hmm. Ooh, there's a little rock concert going on outside okay. i don't know if you guys can hear that let's go. Mm-hmm. uh okay so let's continue on with the uh um, yeah is there a way to do polls um that is crazy oh that would be good yeah we we just don't have the setup for that at the moment but maybe in the future davon thank you for the uh suggestion eric bring it back to the uh Review next. Someone said I'm white. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have Oksana here. Oh boy. Ooh, pizza. Yes. All right. I love me some she goes pizza. crazy for pizza. 3158 next. Yeehaw. Konnichiwa. She likes pizza. All right, she speaks Russian. She speaks English. Smolensk. Smolensk. Russia. Mm-hmm. Can, can you speak a little Russian for the uh, <laughs> viewers? Что вы хотите, чтобы я вам сказала? Yes, я только с... Oh, I got nervous. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I got nervy. <laughs> Anyways, you can bring it back, Eric. Yeah. Uh, next. I don't Food. speak on command. That's why. Sure. Like, uh, yeah. Next. Okay, all three of your prompts are food related. <laughs> so, anytime, funny. anytime I download a dating app food because hinge especially makes you select prompts and so i'm so lazy with it and uh, i don't want to be on it i just download them for like just out of boredom and so the easiest is a food subject versus me going into depth about my likes and dislikes and so food is just easy uh, topic Okay. Hard past lover. Eric, you can bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> Next. I think this I might cropped be, the oh. last one. Okay, yeah. okay. Hold on. Uh, hold on. What? So, <laughs> uh, left, left or right, yes or no on Oksana. And while we do that, Eric, Fake you can... Russian. Oh, actually, hold on. So, Lily here is the only one with a boyfriend. Hi. Eight sure. months, right? <laughs> About to be, yeah. Eight months. Are you guys in love? Yes. Have you said love? Okay. Yes. So, you love your boyfriend. You've had a boyfriend for eight months. Pull up her Instagram. No. Um, scroll down slowly a little bit. 
Okay. Where where's the <laughs> where's the boyfriend, Lily? Uh oh. <laughs> um, where my parents don't know. <laughs> Wait, keep keep going, keep going, Eric. Wait, she could want to keep her relationship slow, slow, slow. Yeah. Oh, that's but it. But also, okay. like, I have a crazy ex stalker, up, up, up. and so you can go I don't want to. I don't want to like put my my stuff on there and stuff. You have a crazy you know? ex stalker. He it's okay. So age. like. Um, but he has he has a shrine of me in his room, and we broke up over a year ago. Yes, <laughs> that's awesome. So he has a shrine of you. He has photos plastered of me on his wall in his room. Do you think he's watching right now the show? Oh my if you gosh. are, you know. need to leave. <laughs> do, you have, do you have a restraining order? No, you should. Wait, hold on. Those are easy to get. Wait, by let's the way. okay. Let's go into this a little bit. When did you break up with your ex? October 2021. Wait, October 2021. Okay. And a year ago. He you broke up with him or he broke up with you? I'm assuming broke you broke up, up with him. him. Okay. Why? Was he obsessed with you during the relationship? Yeah. Okay. He has a f- shrine of you, like actual photos? Like his my photos and like he has like Polaroids of me like on his wall. Like he stuck it on his wall and he has a shelf right under all the photos with everything I've gotten him. Um, you guys did break up, right? Yes. Damn, that's yes. that's a yikes. Okay, so. I hope he knows. That. When's the last time he tried to attempted to com- uh, contact you? A couple days ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, yikes! Yikes! He, I mean, you have a boyfriend, correct? Yes. Is he, is he, he aware? Knows. No, he knows. He thinks I'm dating my current boyfriend Why to make him jealous. About the name thing. Double. Oh yeah, they have the same name. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf. That's okay, that's a yikes. My boyfriend is probably watching. And he already knows this. Okay, I told him very like from like the start. I told him actually everything from the start. Um, so my current boyfriend and my crazy ex have the same name, and I didn't really want to date my current boyfriend for the fact that he had the same name, and it was really traumatizing very traumatizing but my ex doesn't understand why i hate him he was like i don't regret it but i don't understand why she hates me and i was like take the hint please yeah. that's a yikes yeah, and he cheated on me with three other women while in the relationship and he begged for me back during it the ex yeah and he accused me of cheating because i hooked up with somebody like a couple weeks after we broke up and he said that that was cheating, even though he was talking to three women. That's and I cool. knew them. Yes, I knew them. And I knew them. Projecting. That's a, y- that's a yikes. <laughs> and projecting. Is yeah. he yeah. Pisces? He's what a Taurus. The? Oh, God. Ooh. Don't become a Taurus. I don't like Taurus. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, yeah, there, there is that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the f- Yo, that's yeah. whack. Okay. Um, they said city boy. So like, <laughs> is but so he's stalking you? Yeah, he made a bunch of he. Okay, so I post on TikTok and stuff. Like I do TikTok. That's like where I get my money from. You know. Um, oh, you have a TikTok? Huh? What's your TikTok? Oh uh, no, I don't, I don't wanna. I don't wanna post. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he would make a fake account and like sit in my lives and stuff and just like watch. But he was kind of dumb because he put a photo of like this dog, like this crusty dog. And he's the only person I know that has a photo. And then he, like, he, he just wasn't slick about Wait, it. Wait, don't hate on a dog. Like, no, the ex it was could like, suck. No, 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 no. The dog was... Was it a but white, why, crazy dog? Why is he still... Why does it matter the color? <laughs> do you have yeah. a sense of why he's still caught up on you? BPD. No. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Because it was that good. It was that good. It was that good. He's pussy whipped. No. He's pussy whipped. Yep. I, I didn't want to have sex with him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you'd never had sex with him? No, no. Okay, th- no, okay. Like, like, let me tell you. I okay. I I had like this. Okay, this is this is really this is uh, okay. This is really <laughs> personal, but I like I'll explain it. It's basically I got like assaulted by a frat guy, and it was just very traumatizing. I did not like any like form of physical touch because it just really made me panic. But he kept on asking and asking until like I felt guilt tripped and obligated to no. do it. And like he 
he made me do it even when I was crying throughout the entire thing. And he asked me to make noises for him while I was oh sobbing. Like, so, like, oh like, so like, you can, him. like, so no. like, I'm just really traumatized by that. And like, that's why I didn't want to date my current boyfriend with, like with the same name. Cause it just, it was it's like, like, it was like a same. horror story in yeah. my head. You're strong but as fuck like, for sharing but that. Like, yeah. and but like, then, literally like jokes that aside. was a lot of tmi i'm just really nervous i'm just blending i'm gonna i'm gonna stop oh <laughs> no fuck that no yeah fuck him, yeah, fuck you're him. Strong as fuck for that you know what yeah. your your current boyfriend should i will rain down on a godly fucking firestorm upon you you're gonna have to call the fucking united nations <laughs> to get a binding resolution to keep me from fucking destroying you i am talking scorched earth motherfucker <laughs> i will massacre one. you i will fuck you up was that a good or a bad Wait, thing? It your, was a, that's your current boyfriend. That's what... Talking to your ex-boyfriend. Oh, oh, I thought he, okay. you said that he was talking to me. I was like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, let's move on. So, uh, but you don't... Okay, so I guess you kind of have an excuse. You got a stalker. You don't want to post your current boyfriend on Instagram. Okay. Like, right. I do post okay. them on my Fine. stories. Right. I just don't post it, like, on there because I just also prefer my privacy and he doesn't like people like bothering him either so it's kind of like a it's a mutual thing i guess yeah okay Valid. all right uh let's move do we have any soup chats eric or no. okay so let's see all right <laughs> okay what is so funny you wanted to talk about god Zodiac signs and no. the Hollywood dating scene. Why was that? <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood. If anyone's interested in zodiac sign, because I can talk a lot. But yes, let's hear it. <laughs> Honestly, I okay. Let, no, I'll, I'm, I'll, I'll I'm do some prompts. It. I'll do some prompts for the zodiac shit. Is there a zodiac sign you would not date? My own. <laughs> I'm, I'm the opposite. I don't even know that much about Zodiacs, but I no Tauruses, no Machine Gun Kelly, and They're Megan men, Fox. That's enough for me. There's a boy that I'm entertaining right now. He's the same Zodiac sign. Yeah. He's younger, but uh, I'm I'm vibing with it. Yeah, and they say oh. if <laughs> what <laughs> if your same Zodiac sign. If there's chemistry, it can work. But if there's no chemistry, then yeah, it's just gonna be like headbutting. Yeah, but I'm a Taurus. I'm a Taurus. Oh no! I'm, when I is mean, your so birthday? Brian, Ooh, okay, like, Mr. Brian, when is your Brian? I'm not, I'm not gonna say when my birthday is, but I'm a Taurus. Why you don't love birthday presents? When is yeah? No, I'm just that's. I'll are you a May? You, birthday? I'll send you a what? Happy birthday, birthday or oh, April. 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 I'm April. Oh, I'm April. Taurus oh love my food. god, holy shit, hold on. I'll find out why. George Ontiveros, big thank you for the uh, gifted 20 whatever memberships. Thank you, man, that's huge. What I, I need to check here, The uh, what does that get? That gets the air horn. <laughs> Yo, George, Party horn. thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the support. Um, let's see, oh, Candace got a uh, membership, nice. Thank you, man. Really appreciate the support. Um, by the way, guys, if you look in the description, we have gifted membership triggers. We have at 10, 20, 50, 70, 100, 1,000. Um, and I just want to point out, can one of you grab the uh, Mike Davis, uh, the big the big sure. picture frame? <laughs> King. Pass it to me. If you gift, a if you do 100 gifted memberships, you get to join picture frame gang. We will add you to the picture frame gang. That that's not directed at George, just anybody. Um <laughs> join join the family. Okay. Um what were you gonna say about Tauruses? Awesome. Taurus love food and they're a little bit lazy. We do uh, yeah. Facts. Stubborn. You guys like to take naps. Oh love I, oh, I every day. Yeah, 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 yeah. After yeah. work yes. first thing I do pants off yep, clothes off i'm in bed set mm -hmm. my alarm clock for like at least 30 minutes i'm napping yeah, no, yeah. After, after work school, you said I'm after work oh, okay yeah okay. i don't <laughs> know work, much about like all the astrology stuff but i will me say neither. i don't like taurus <gasps> to date. Oh, i so dated much. a taurus and it was so toxic and so bad and a capricorn the capricorn mm -hmm. was my most toxic relationship 
I can already tell that I don't like you. <laughs> um, okay, so you said horses like to nap. I fucking hate napping. How your what? homebody? Who hurt you? Because you're April. I'm, I'm no, April. No, April. no, I will go home oh. for lunch to let my dog out, and I will take a nap. <laughs> I have a one hour lunch break and I will like set on, like I said, alarm clock and pass out, not pass out, but just close my eyes if and pretend I'm sleeping. I will, if, if I take a nap, I will have a panic attack. That's <gasps> wow. how bad it is. Like really? if I nap, I will wake up 30 minutes later, an hour later in like a full blown panic. Uh -huh. I don't know why but I not, sleep fine. But when I nap, like if it's not when I'm supposed to go to sleep, I, it's weird. I have a panic attack. Huh. You know, we're supposed to take a nap. We are. Like we are? Yeah. Like, <laughs> as a human, as, as, get enough like sleep. human as like yeah. you're supposed to go home you're supposed to take a nap. Like your body needs rest. Like you're supposed to You're probably you're just supposed a type to take a person. I feel like you should take the Myers Briggs test. Ma yeah, maybe you're just like I feel like I believe in that science a little more than Sodia. I don't know if it's <laughs> true, but like apparently you're supposed to take like four hours of sleep in the day and yeah. then four hours of sleep in the night. Yeah. We're That's supposed, to, we're supposed so to be on a cycle. Bad. We're not supposed to sleep for that long of a night and then go all day without yeah, sleeping. Yeah, but late stage capitalism, nine to five, exactly. baby. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not, I'm not sure if I want to talk about Zodiac. Zodiac. <laughs> really quick, though, is there a sign that you just would not date? Taurus. My Taurus. Taurus. I'm skeptical about Sagittarius's because they're... All, they always like make me believe they're one person and then they turn into something else. When are else. those? Like, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't like not date them, but I'm I'm like concerned when they tell me they're Sagittarius. You want what dates you are Sagittarius? Huh? What dates are Sagittarius? Like I don't know. I know some of it's in December. Okay. Okay. Actually, I just want to ask yeah. you a question. Um, mm -hmm. So we got connected through Rolo Tomasi. Yeah. Yeah. So you were on, and he was on Doctor Phil. I don't know if that, I don't think that's come out yet. Were you on the panel or were you in the audience with him? I was in, I was in the audience and one of the Dr. Phil producers asked me if I'd answer a question regarding toxic masculinity because they would, ask, they would send us emails mm -hmm. and they asked us to respond to questions and um, one of the producers said that she liked my answer. So I was like, okay, well I didn't know, I didn't know it was gonna be like Rolo Tomasi or like the red pill people. I didn't know it was gonna be any of that. And Dr. Phil had asked me a question. I go to talk to him and Rolo Tomasi interrupted me and we started arguing on TV. So that's what happened. Oh, you started will that arguing. Come out? Uh, it didn't come out yet. No, not yet. No, will You're it? arguing with oh, who? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know it will. With um, who? Huh? But you wait, did you know who? did you know Rolo? No, I didn't. I knew of like Andrew Tate and like all that stuff, mm -hmm. but okay. I didn't know really who he was and after the show was over, he introduced himself what? to me and I was actually surprised he talked to me because I thought like we just argued. But I mean, <laughs> it was fine. Like we couldn't respect each other's like I guess like in a businessy way, but okay. like it's also hard but you guys disagreed. We disagree. Okay, what what did you so what did you guys argue about? We argued about toxic masculinity because he wanted to argue with me and say one of my points we got kind of off topic, but one of my points I had said that women don't get paid as much as men and that we don't uh, obviously that's not in like every Yeah, year, that's but, like, that's been yeah. debunked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, there was the reproductive right thing he wanted to argue with me about that, but like he's like um, men have more reproductive rights than women and I was like, well he said well, that? Yes. No. He must have said that men have no reproductive rights. No. He had made a podcast and he referenced me in it after the show. Yeah. And he said, men actually have more reproductive rights. And I was like, you don't have the kids. What are you talking about? But my point on TV was that even in all states, like, they started, like, banning abortions and stuff like that. And, like, whether you're for it or not, like, you can't tell people what to do with their bodies. And, like, that's been, like, happening. And he just said, no, it's not. And I'm like, what are you talking about? But then he didn't want to get into like Roe versus Wade and all that stuff, of course, because, okay. you know, mm -hmm. yeah. he said that <sighs> he said that on his podcast, he made um, an emergency. He called it um, yeah. Dr. Phil um, podcast. He said something. It was like a, an emergency podcast. And I saw it and it was like right after the show. I was actually I was actually in touch with one of the producers from Dr. Phil. Mm -hmm. I think I don't know if it would have been the same panel, but I opted. I didn't have time to go and do it, but um I was in touch with one of the producers and, uh, but okay, so, well, we don't have to get into the whole reproductive rights thing, but I'm surprised that that's his take because a lot of people that are in the red pill space, I mean, one of the common arguments you hear is men have no reproductive rights. So I don't know if you're misquoting him or maybe well, on, he just has a different- On the Dr. Phil show, 
He didn't say it on the Dr. Phil show. On the Dr. Phil show, just he started arguing guys... about it on the Dr. Phil show on his podcast after the Dr. Phil show. He said women or men actually have more reproductive white rights than women. Really? Are you sure you're not misquoting him? Because I can't. That just doesn't. I could be wrong. He might have a different take. Whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever he said. His Receipts. point was. His point was that we everything's okay with us and it's not happening. Like Wait. basically, basically that we have all the rights that we want, and that's just not true. So he must be arguing that men have no reproductive rights. Whatever he's arguing, and he's saying okay. that Roe right. hey, is no <laughs> But why would You're men have me. reproductive rights? They're not. All their Equality. sponsorship Hello? is just donating Equality. sperm. But I can just go what? to what? <laughs> okay, finish your thought. Finish. Your I'm thought. saying reproductive rights. What are y'all talking about in terms of like? They, they're not growing a baby inside of them. Exactly. So like, why what, do they get to talk about Yeah, that? and so the, you don't have a say whether or, not, whether or not I'm having a baby. That's what I'm saying. You're just a sperm donor, whether or not I choose to... Even, even your future... Do you want to be husband? married? Yeah. You, you'd consider your future father of your children and your husband just a sperm donor? So if I decide to have children, yes. Because... I mean, that's not... A, that's, no, because they're I mean, that, I would if if I was your husband, I'd f feel pretty fucking awful to be referred to as a sperm donor. <laughs> Just what, saying. When when there's uh, emotions and feelings involved, that's different. Okay. But you still say you and I are married, and uh, I get pregnant. Sure. It's still my choice. Uh, like, do I want to have uh, sure. our child or not? So that's what I'm saying. Like, well, I wed the here, uh, sperm donor. Here's a question, <laughs> right? <laughs> here's a question. Like, let's say a guy has sex with a woman, gets her pregnant. She wants to keep the kid, right? What do you say to him if he says, hey, listen, I don't want to be financially responsible. I don't want to be involved. What do you what do you say to then, him? Then then that's she chose to have the baby. Then that's fine because it proves ah. the fact he is just a sperm donor. Yeah, he is just a <laughs> sperm donor. She ah, just decided right. that she just uh, at the end of the day she wanted to be a mom or whatever the case may be. Why she mm -hmm. we don't know her reason why she chose to keep the baby. But yeah, he's just a sperm donor, made her a mom, and to the loose, good day, sir. Well, he's not he's not a sperm donor. He's the father. But perhaps this might just be uh, semantics, but um, the point is, is that so men, we don't have any reproductive rights because in the event, okay, in the event that he wants to have the kid and you don't, he doesn't have a say. In the event that he doesn't want the kid and you do, he doesn't have a say there. In the event that you keep the kid and even when you go through the pregnancy, you can always give it up for adoption if you were so inclined men don't really have a say under those circumstances but the big one is if he doesn't want the kid you do that's fine but if you have the kid he's now forced to pay child support for 18 years if mm -hmm. but he is forced and he's not forced in terms of like if i just like got pregnant off the streets I'm not going to go to him and be like, hey, you got to pay me the child support. But if also, I, uh, if you well, really don't want a kid, then have a vasectomy. You can get a reverse. Then yeah. like, Vasectomies are not. If like men vasectomies had to carry children, they'd feel a lot differently about a lot of the problems. But it's easier for them to say if they do or don't want something that really is inside of them. Yeah. Look, I, so, okay, I'm, you know, I'll give you guys my take on abortion. So I, I'd consider myself pro-choice mm -hmm. with caveats. Mm -hmm. So... Okay. What's your ca ca man having a choice? Well, okay. If women are allowed to have abortions, men should be able to d do a legal paternal surrender, which basically means if the woman has the child, they should have the right to opt out of financial obligation and having to. Couldn't you just wear a condom? Can't women can just, just wear? I mean, your you can make tubes, or not as. <laughs> but but see, it's interesting that you make the argument that for men who don't want to financially support children, wear tough, a condom. tough, wear a condom, just cl keep your legs closed. Or, but if you said the same thing to women of, oh, well, if you didn't want to get pregnant, you should have just not had sex nope. or had a been on birth control. Do you see how it's a double standard there? No, no, <laughs> no, it's because, 100 now, because nowadays we have sex for pleasure, like, uh, and that 
sex without a condom feels better than with yeah, a condom. Sure. And so, but there are responsibilities that come with yeah. if you're having sex without a condom. Yeah. And so therefore, if that slip happens, so you're having sex without a condom, you either like reserve to plan B or you accidentally get pregnant and you just had to keep the baby. But at the end of the day, it's still say that happened to me. It's my fucking choice what I decide to do, whether to keep or not. And then the, the discussion of uh, like, do you want to support this or not? That's a different topic. I don't Yeah, I'll, I'll just, I'll continue on. So basically, I would say people that are pro-life do make very compelling arguments. The, the argument, and keep in mind, I'm pro-choice. Not everything that is wrong should be illegal. Abortion's clearly wrong. However, How are they wrong? it's clearly wrong. How are they wrong? Would That's you be? That's it's abortion opinion. is clearly wrong. How, How are they wrong? Would you be okay with a woman having an abortion one day before she would otherwise give birth? Wait, say that again. Would you be? If you, give would, birth, would you, would you otherwise be okay with a? Would you otherwise be okay with a woman having an abortion one day before she would otherwise give have a healthy? Is, is so that her choice because, uh, oh, just kidding, I don't want to have a baby? Just, I don't think no right mind woman will decide okay, to so, do that. So at what point would you say that it's, okay, so you, would you agree it's wrong to have an abortion a day before a woman would otherwise give birth? Yes. It also yeah, because then, on the circumstances, okay, so, at what, so let's keep moving backwards. What about a month before? Do you see where I'm getting at here? Isn't it weird yes, to like the cherry grown? Pick? like semantics with the yeah. girl whose command of the English language isn't as strong. Like it feels like you're kind of picking on her. I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> kind of coming for her. No, I'm not. We're just having a discussion. Listen, the, the thing is, is that the, the pro-life argument is not so easily dismissed. Right. But I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, where you're, going? you're going with like, no if a woman decides <laughs> to have an abortion or not, it's her choice. Is it wrong that like, yeah, there's a heartbeat and all of that, and all of a sudden she decides to abort. Yeah, that's where that's why it's not black and white. There's a gray area, but at the end of the day, it's still because she's the one that's growing, feeding, Emotion. the the body is changing okay. and all of that. I don't see so, like so okay so opinion if you don't have a vagina. yeah that's what I'm saying. It's uh, Okay, repeat, okay, you repeat pregnant, that. Okay, Brian, then let's Re see what you no, have to say. No, repeat it, repeat it. I don't understand why your opinion is valid when you're not the one with the vagina. So so just because, so what about women who uh, who have had uh, hysterectomies? Are they not allowed to have opinions? What about women who can't naturally become pregnant? I don't see what, what it, why is what between your leg legs a determining factor in whether or not you can have an opinion on something? Well, it's, you can have an opinion, but it's just... Not a very valid one. Okay, so tell you what. Men are the only ones that are subject to military conscription. Women should not... All women should no longer be able to vote. Because, Why? Because no woman here is subject to military the conscription. Military. What do you mean? Not, no woman at this table here has be been or will be... Forced, forced to go to war, yeah. Unless I choose to. But you're not. But you're not forced, forced, never be forced to. to. Forced. So that's what he's trying to actually, say. Actually, yeah. and no woman should be able to be president. No one because the president can send people to war. Congress can send people to war. So should women not be able to run for political office? Because no woman would ever be subject to military draft. Why does I don't, everything I don't have to do with question. the military? What's though? the question? Like, why does the military yeah. you, dictate you said, everything? You said that men are not allowed to have an opinion on the abortion no, issue because they don't have... No, I didn't say men are not allowed have... to opinion. I say, I'm just saying that there's a lot of men that have very strong opinions about an issue that um, doesn't have too much to do with them. I mean, it's I mean, that's a logical. An... It's a logical fallacy to say just because you have certain genitalia that you can't have an opinion that's on something. That's not what I'm saying. That's I think no. you're taking my words it, and running with it. It has and to do more than just... Uh, also, I would say that there's about 50% of people who are pro-life are women. So you have to contend with that. Well, I, I'm, not I'm not understanding if you're arguing pro-choice or pro-life because you're saying one thing and then arguing another. So that's Well, I'm sort of I'm playing devil's, devil's advocate, advocate here yeah. and sure. I'm, I'm steel-manning the... <laughs> sure, you can I'm have... I'm steel-manning the pro-life position. Ne I, neither opinion is wrong. 
opinions are just opinions. I mean, I'm not saying you can't have your opinion or your opinion is wrong. I'm just saying it's not yeah. a very, it's like if I had a, I have my opinion on like, you know, racial issues and stuff like that, but it's like my voice isn't the one that should be the most uplifted if it's not an issue that directly affects me or resonates me the strongest. I'm not a good candidate to talk about Black Lives Matter. I have a strong opinions about social justice, but like let's, I'm the best way to do it is just let people speak who like are directly involved in it. Like why well, does I mean, I kind man of man have to like echo their opinion about every a woman's body? Keyword opinion. We're all gonna have different opinions, we're all gonna and that's why we're all gonna make different opinions. choices. So everyone's just be we able can to do all what play they devil's want, advocate. I can sit like here and give being. you every hot take, but well, I mean, I, you're kind. Of, it's you're kind of just getting into identity politics that some people's voices matter less on an issue. I mean, I, I would say that your skin color, your race, your ethnic, your ethnicity, your gender. Uh, should be irrelevant in being able to have to in being able to intellectualize on any it's sort absolutely of absolutely relevant because it's this not, is a country that's literally run oh and God, governed by go. straight white men's opinions. So. It, I mean, that's <laughs> we're sitting here right now playing into like Call of Duty level circle jerk clapback porn. Let's not pretend this isn't literally that. So that's all I mean, that's just apex fallacy. Like, I, I'm not. Look, okay, I'll just say this on abortion. <laughs> We're going to move Next on. Topic. Look, Next topic. ultimately, I would say I'm pro-choice um, with caveats. I think that, I mean, I already said some of it, but I'd be in favor of more robust sexual education, sex ed. I think birth control should be free. I think we should develop a male mm -hmm. birth control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think we should... There Tampons shouldn't... should be free and pads. Yeah. There you go. Okay, next. Keep going. Sorry. Um, we should. Sorry, I, got, I was, lost my train of thought. My bad. <laughs> we we should. Um, I said. Oh, uh, research male birth control. I actually did an interview with someone who's working on male birth control, and we should. Fuck. What was the last one? Totally fucked. Blasted. Fucked me there. My bad. I think at the end of the day, it's not black and white. It's it's a it's a tough topic. Yeah, uh, there's the gray topic. areas. There's lives affected, whether it's moms or the oh, baby. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay, <laughs> we should do away with hookup culture. I think that's a contributor of unwanted pregnancies. Yeah, but that's why we have sex for pleasure. Well, we can get into the body count thing stuff too, but <laughs> um, <laughs> but okay, and then also we should be developing an artificial womb. I think that that is the ultimate solution to the abortion debate. If we can develop an artificial womb, then women, if they want, can terminate their pregnancy, but you can save the life. And it can be gestated or whatever developed in an artificial womb. So both sides, the pro-life and the pro-choice, of course, idiots on both sides will say no. They'll, they'll probably still have an issue with an artificial womb, but... Yeah. You save the life, the woman can terminate the pregnancy. Okay, oh, and then you don't where, want, where does the baby go then? Around? What if you don't even want your, like, you're going to know that that's Wait, your baby. And you, don't, like, you don't think that'd be a fair compromise? A woman can terminate her pregnancy, but the life gets to can continue. Can you clarify, when mm -hmm. you're saying artificial womb, is the artificial womb, like, in attachment with a woman, or is it a separate AI? It'd be like, a, a like an external, you know, like... Um, It'd be an external thing, like maybe so in the hospital or something. Oh, okay. So he's like, he nuts in her, but then they put the nut in the womb? No, 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 no. no, no. no. She, she gets, she, she gets. She gets. Incubator yeah. on the side. Like, and it, yeah. yeah. So and he's nutting in the in womb, there. in the fake no, womb? No. They, you have no. a baby in you, they take the baby out, and then they put it in the incubator. And then it Got grows it. for yeah. months. Got it. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I was confused. <laughs> but then, but then who gets that baby? Where does that baby Adoptive go? To the uh, orphanage? Maybe, but there's already yeah, so maybe, many, like, in orphanage, there's already may, so many babies in this the, world that aren't Maybe the father it. wants it, or, yes, Everyone would, the state. Everyone, go and try to adopt Russian kids. Like, there's so many African kids. Like, why? There's already enough there's babies in this world there's that so aren't many being taken babies. care of. Okay, let me ask you a question. If abortion was in every state, if it was allowed, mm -hmm. and it was abortion was legal, but it had to be... You know, if you wanted to get an abortion, it had to be raised in an artificial womb. Would that be a fair compromise to secure abortion rights for women? No. Why? You wouldn't. You wouldn't make that compromise. No. no. Okay. Because, well, then good luck. Because, because conservatives will continue fighting to get rid of abortion. That's just that. But it's like, wh where are those babies gonna go? Like, okay, the baby. The state. 
But there's Where already two? enough babies yeah. in the state that aren't being taken care of and yeah. aren't being supported. Okay, but, but and like, look, here's have the you thing. seen Santa Barbara? I'm staying on the beach. So many homeless people. But, Why okay. do we need more? So, so here's the conservative. Here's the pro-life argument. They, upon conception, they believe it's a life. They believe it's murder. So, you're 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 gonna have to. That that's not a good reason to, in a pro-lifer's uh, view, to murder someone. Because there's not enough space, or there's already other people. But why is but it that why? conservatives but are why fine is, with murdering why? children with an AR-15 in a school by the millions? They're but not. as soon as it's a baby, it's bad. Conservatives, they're not. Then why are they so gung ho about gun pro- rights? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and then because it's a fundamental right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it is if it's controlled. Right to have the abortion. the Constitution provides people with the right to bear arms. But then mm-hmm. we wouldn't have this problem if it was in the Constitution that women could have abortions. Shouldn't so we be settled? Our, I mean, we're America's a very developed society. I just feel like it's a little silly to base all of our. You don't think people should own firearms? The no, 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 no. They, I'm not arguing people against know. that. I'm arguing that it's <laughs> that we stand really strongly behind a document that was written in the 1800s when people were shitting in the streets. And they didn't have AR whatever 15s or whatever back then. They're talking about like simple. Do you not think the majority of people with firearms are using it to? protect themselves yes no. from what interesting home invasions a, t- a tyrannical government some people Let's yes that sink some in. People. Yeah, sure. so just but to be like, clear who who here wants to get rid of gun ownership anybody i do okay <laughs> so just, but okay so just to be clear because i i often hear this pe- from people who are a bit more liberal so a lot of liberal people are kind of against police. So you're telling me that you want to get rid of the populace owning guns and you want just the police force? I don't even want the, the police, police to have, have guns. guns. Yeah. They're okay. the worst right. people to have guns. Yeah. Well, like, I guarantee, you should be the first to... I, think people, I guarantee you whether you're Democrat or Republican, the police will continue to have guns I in this country. I didn't say I was going to change it. <laughs> okay. No and now we're... we're uh, Next subject. <laughs> welcome, <enough>. welcome to <laughs> CNN. Um, <laughs> We've been talking. We've. This is too political, guys. Let's it's, talk about any other political again. Yeah. arguments. Yeah. Too political. We're, we're no longer. Let's bring b- yeah, up the labias it's, again. It's no yeah. longer a Where's dating the talk. Labias? Anyways, I, I don't mind talking about the stuff just because I enjoy having debates and yeah. conversations. It's fine. But yeah, it's if, fine. if anyone's it's fine. uncomfortable with the political stuff, we can move on. I don't but know. Them three got really here. quiet. <laughs> here, just, let's let's add, no go ahead, Lily. Go ahead. I mean, I have like opinions, but they're not like strong enough for me to be like. Go. You can well, dice them. No. I'm okay. <laughs> okay. Um, really quick, would you date a guy who owns a gun? A legal it legal makes me firearm. Comfortable, but I wouldn't not date them because they had one. Okay. But so the question is, would you date a guy who legally owns a firearm? I mean, yeah, like it wouldn't it wouldn't dictate whether I date them or not. Okay. I would prefer it to not be around me. What about you? Probably sound crazy. I have dated a guy that owned three guns. That's not crazy. Well, because I was all like, get rid of them, but like... I'm you told him to get rid of the no, guns? No, 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 I... Well, you literally just said that. I, no, no, no. I told him to do something else with the gun, which is why it sounds crazy. Wait, hold right it up to your forehead while he's having Stop. sex with you? Not my forehead. What In the- your mouth? In your mouth? She said, Yo. She said, Take me out. Yo. Take me out. Well, well, nice. Obviously, it was empty, but like, Huge. to I mean, have you know. that, like, you know who. It, to I'm have that, like, if. tense, like, it just makes it more tense. And that is I sound crazy. No, it's kind of hot. I mean, I've it heard. Was I've hot. heard. I would blasted it your head off. Hot. I mean, I've heard girls. It was empty. I've, I made sure it was empty. And then I was like, okay, let's do this. I mean, I've definitely heard girls also have a thing where like they want a guy to hold a neck to their, uh, sorry, a, a, a knife, <laughs> a knife to their neck. I don't know neck. about a knife because I feel like that could accidentally real quickly like, yeah. yeah, yeah. So exactly. Yeah. I Wait, didn't realize okay, how heavy they Would you date a guy who owns a gun? Oh yeah, that's our gun now, babe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I almost got a pink one. What about you? I'm from Texas. So I've dated, oh, okay. I've shot. Sure, sure, sure. AK-47. What about you? Yeah, yeah I think. In a way, I think guns could be kind of hot. Not okay. like that. <laughs> Not like that. Uh, Lily, like. Lily, what about you? Um, what does that mean? What about you? Not really. What's BS? I'm not really. I don't know. It. But okay, me- you have a stalker. Wouldn't it be kind of like? Wouldn't you feel <laughs> well, safe? That's why I have pepper spray and a taser. I just taser <laughs> him for the night. 
I mean, but that that's not lethal. Like you, you have a well, proper I don't need stalker. Any, I'm not, I'm, Why I don't need trying anything to be lethal? lethal? Dude, you have a stalker. Okay. So that well, means he so deserves to die? Get, get Lily Lily Personally. Get Lily Wait, what? Personally, <laughs> I, I... Oh my well, gosh. Let her speak. <laughs> I'm... No. You should get a gun. I'm being no, honest. No, I'm okay. You should get a gun. <laughs> I'm, no, At I'm... At least your boyfriend. Like, Dude, Lily, you... Just, like, the way you described it, you have a hardcore stalker. Like, get a Glock. Get a little handgun. <laughs> get a little... Shop her up. Okay, yeah. well, he can't fight. I just... <laughs> no, your boyfriend can't fight We're no in. no not my boyfriend oh. my ex, your ex. Oh. is he in a wheelchair no. <laughs> unless he's in a wheelchair like he's probably got hands no but no, he's some no, like, he, yeah he he kind of waddles yeah. <laughs> shots fired um, <laughs> do you I'm, waddle do i waddle you seem a no, little <laughs> <laughs> What no, I'm not saying that you like a waddle, but you just seemed offended by <laughs> it. So I was like, oh, no, 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 I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, meant shots like I meant shots fired at your... Like, you know, like some people, like, they walk like... I got, I got a little swag. Oh, wow. You know, like, okay, you know, like, like, like <laughs> But okay. I'm just not that, like... I'm just personally Look, not comfortable I'm saying with guns. you have a stalker. Okay. Think about getting a firearm before no, shit gets fucking crazy. No, I don't want a firearm, though. Because if you make me panic too much, I'm going to be like... <laughs> yeah what if you're confident no i'm She's not, not confident at <laughs> i I've i think never been i in think a women fight. are great candidates for firearms i mean it's for scary obvious to reasons shoot a firearm like i went to the gun range that's like a no for me that's but like scary. don't, I don't. exhilarating it's so yeah. like when i shot the I gun, what, what about you shoot what about you Louis? same i went to the like shooting range it just gun is not for me i've never dated mm -hmm. anyone with a gun what about you, Brian? Do you have any fire? Would you date a girl <laughs> that has like a gun? Out the Glock Brian, do you have a gun <laughs> off in your lap right now? Yeah. Pointed at all of us. <laughs> Guys, blink once if it's yes. Um, I mean, I would, I would date a girl with a firearm. That wouldn't be an issue for me. Um, but uh, should we just have the gun debate real quick? What's no. up? We already had our. Brian, we is that a gun in it. your pocket? Or are you excited to see us? <laughs> No, but okay. Why do I, I think, actually uh, look at his pocket? His <laughs> yeah, I got it's just my cell phone, guys. It's just my cell phone. <laughs> okay, you wanted to talk. I need to get up for a sec here. You wanted to talk about the Hollywood dating scene. Why don't you tell I, us? Actually, I'm not, no more interested. No more interested. We can pass on the next topic. Brian wanted to talk about okay, um, it. Let me, I'm going to do some yeah. super chats here, and then we'll get to the next topic. Um, okay, we have... Hold on. Did we? Okay, we got... We got Davon Jackson here with the Tinder soup chat. The fact that she's so casually talking about having a child with a man she doesn't want to be with is concerning. Also, there's a significant chance the vasectomy re reversal doesn't take. Yeah, that's true. Vasectomies are uh, not reversible. I mean, they can be, but it's the Unlikely. procedure. It's very. It's just if if you only, you only should get a vasectomy if you know you do not want to have children or don't want to have any more children. We have a Red Misfit here with the Tendo Super Chat. Thank you, man. Can all the ladies go around and state their sexual orientation? Sure, we can do that. Here, let's start over here. Go ahead. Okay. I'm straight. But then also, if I see a girl look exactly <laughs> like a boy, my brain just cannot function. <laughs> and it's like, I, I see that. that as a boy, and I will in love too. You're like, oh, thank you. I felt that. Is okay. it called Ruby, uh, Amber Rose? Ruby Rose? Am Amber Rose? Rose? No, no, Amber Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose. Ruby yeah, Rose. Ruby yeah, Rose. yeah, like yeah. for that kind of woman, that's she's a do for me. Yeah, and she's, she's hot. hot. She's a, that's a do yeah. for me. That's a do yeah. for me. So I'm bisexual. Mm. Period. Per, I'm okay. straight. <laughs> straight. Pansexual. I'm bi. I'm straight. Wait, sorry, can you? I still don't know what that means. Uh, d Pan? depends on the night, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it depends on like you're attracted to a soul? Like, anybody. Yeah. Like, obviously, I love. Hot, I think everyone's hot. I love hot people. I love hot guys. I love hot girls. Hot they thems. It's if mm -hmm. we vibe, if we click, if yeah. I'm horny, okay. if I'm drunk. It's like it could go any way. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. I'm bi, but I only like I'm, girly girls. This, I mean, the the general mm -hmm. stigma about pansexual people is like. I mean, yeah, I'm like super horny, but I'm also super picky. So it really does have to be a specific. <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay. We have Everyday Edgar here. If only people affected by issues were allowed to speak about them, then slavery would still be legal. A white man freed the slaves. <laughs> um, Harriet Tubman Wait, freed can the you slaves. Wait, that again? <laughs> um, no. Okay, we got Meg. 
Th- thank you every day, Edgar. Appreciate the super chat. We got Miguel Patel. Thank you for the ten dollars super chat. Ten, ten second posture and fit check. My posture. Don't really like stand. We can do. We can do a posture check. Uh, fit check. Let me check. I think. Yeah, you're gonna have to read the description for the uh, fit check trigger. Um, uh, George Ontiveros, Second Amendment: A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. That is the Second Amer- Amendment. Yeah, it's just written quoted. how long ago? What? Le- okay. No, no okay. comment. Thank do you, you. Do you think semi-automatic weapons should be banned? Yes. Do you know this? For sure. A semi-automatic weapon. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, oh. <laughs> what? What is a set? Can you tell me what a semi-automatic no, weapon is? No, I don't like magazines and stuff either. Like those should not like. No, mm. like get rid of all of it. Oh. Like, so you just want you just want like a revolver, I mean, like just or like a. What do you yeah. th- What do you think yeah. about just handguns? Like the Russian roulette. Yeah. yeah. What do you I think about a Glock? I guess. I guess. A handgun. Like, handgun. So I think no one should definitely doesn't need an AK forty seven. That's for sure. A what? AK forty seven. You. Can, AK-47s are banned. You can't have an AK-47. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I've, my friends own it. You are Russian, so. Yeah, and I've I've shot those. Tilt the mic up towards you. Well, they might be like authorized or something. And some, you can be authorized to have automatic weapons. And if you're like an instructor or whatever, but okay. So a semi-automatic rifle, a semi-automatic weapon. So you have automatic and semi-automatic, right? A lot of people don't know this. Automatic. If you pull, if you uh, pull the trigger, it keeps firing. Mm-hmm. A semi-automa- semi-automatic rifle. You pull the trigger keeps once, yeah. one bullet comes out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You pull it again, another bullet comes That's out. That's fine. I don't like the so, automatic. But what what do you think an AR-15 is? Mm-hmm. Is it automatic or semi-automatic? I have no idea. I'm gonna be dead ass with says you. AR, right? Or no? Well, assault. Automatic what do you think rifle? assault rifles? Okay, so is an AR-15 an automatic? Is it automatic or semi-automatic? An automatic. Semi? It's semi-automatic. So AR-15, yeah. you pull the trigger, <laughs> one bullet comes out. We I'm, have uh, Never Lose 4X. Uh, thank you for the... Uh, is that Euro? Euro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you for the 11 Euro. Appreciate it, man. Can you, Brian, can you do another Asking 100 Girls for Sex in 2020? 20, 20, ah, that thing. So we can see if the effect of modern day feminism has changed the way women would answer and react to that question. Uh, actually, I filmed a segment of it with Luke, and I'd like to get a girl to do it. Um, maybe we could actually pull that up and have the girls react to that while I get what up here that? for a sec. Um, it's a social experiment video I did almost 10 years ago. Um, we had a girl go up to guys just point blank on the street, say, hey, do you want to hook up? Do you want to have sex? I've seen oh, that. I saw that. I've yeah. seen that. Yeah. And then, I think it'd be interesting to compare maybe like um, Nowadays. A, like, well, like a, like a conventionally attractive, like maybe like Santa Barbara, like blonde sorority girl versus like a woman of color and see what the rejection rate is there. I think Lily would fucking kill it if yeah. she did yeah. that. Yeah. What? <laughs> She's scared. Guys love quiet girls. I don't. Yeah. Brian, I'm what? literally, I literally panic talking to new people. What makes you think I can go to That's 100 hot. people? That's, That's hot. hot. No, because, it's fucking hot. Okay. No, I have this problem where if I get really <laughs> nervous, I start laughing really bad. Then and just then go up to I get, laugh. I'm like, no, go up to them I get, I get nervous. Okay, we're you gonna have uh, Loey here do it then. Yeah. Do what? Exactly. We got Doctor Durden here. Hey, good to see you back, man. We th- uh, thank you for the uh, super chat. I wouldn't date a man with a gun equals I wouldn't date a man that could protect me. Your thoughts on this, guys? He can protect you. He has hands. One, yeah, the, the gun's doing the protection. But okay, qu- question for you guys. So who here is like kind of against guns or wouldn't want their partner to have a gun, whatever? Show of hands. Well, okay. I'm against question. guns, but I don't care if they have Question. Them. Let's say you're at home, you're, you and your boyfriend, whatever. Maybe you have kids, right? Maybe your husband, you have two young kids, three men who are armed, they actually they don't even have to be armed. Let's just say three grown adult men break into your house. In that scenario, would you like either yourself or your partner to have a firearm? Yes. And I'll home? just take no, my I makeup off like and they'll run away. In general, <laughs> like, uh, they just make me uncomfortable because like now we're killing people or shooting people or like things can go wrong but what in that if situation. They kill you like, first? What if the kid runs in the way? Like, I don't know. The it just ki- makes me personally uncomfortable. I'm not saying other people can't have one. I mean, you don't. I just personally don't. I mean, obviously you, you check your backdrop. If your son's over there, you're not going to put 
shots downrange. But, um, but yeah, I mean, here's the thing: if if I have a wife, if I have two kids, and three men break into the house, they're yeah. fucking dead. If my That's kids hot. are in the house, are you a good they're shot? They're fucking dead. Do you have good aim? I'm not gonna. We're not gonna talk. Somebody about just shoot. They hit something. Of course, I'm gonna Which like. <laughs> Cause like you don't know you don't know if they're just trying to steal something you don't know if they're gonna tie you up and abuse the kids kill the kids kill kill, you. kill your wife why can't you have like they're a dead. bat or something that has like a, a bat versus a, bat? a gun isn't but if they don't have guns out. if they break in and they don't have guns then like don't you have a chance to Th- three men versus one man with a bat then I'll the grab three, my bat the three men are gonna hold live. the bat ain't gonna hold oh, it yeah. the th- the, th- <laughs> the bat is not gonna be enough. And what if I put like spikes in the bat? Then there Ooh, you go. Butter sock. Yeah. Butter sock. Butter sock, baby. <laughs> I think where people but. have issues with that is like you can have a gun for safety, but then people also collect guns. Yeah. Sure. And that's yeah. where those automatic semi blah, blah, blah comes in. And so that's, that's where it gets like a Here, little iffy. Yeah, yeah. Here's what I don't get about the gun debate is, okay. So let's say we just made, let's just say we made guns, all guns illegal, right? We made all guns illegal. You couldn't own a gun, But then I feel like it'd just go higher on the black market. So, right. That's the point I'm trying to make. Certain drugs are illegal. Marijuana was illegal. Mm -hmm. I mean, cocaine, Cocaine. all these other drugs, they're illegal, right? (laughs) (laughs) They're they're illegal to create, to produce. They're illegal to own. Um, Yeah. People still get illegal drugs. Absolutely. So yeah. if you make guns illegal, it, people are still going to get it. People so, are still someone who's them, determined yeah. to do a school shooting or do a mass shooting, they will find a way. They're already prepared to commit a crime. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Thing with abortion, it's Oh Wait, what do you but it's no, but it's, it's but it's we're not. We're past it's it. not so much to like make the guns illegal. For me, it's the like they they should. I mean, obviously, people will go on black market and get their gun and whatnot yeah. but if a normal uh, functionable human being with a stable mind go buy a gun they should like there's some sort of like background check that they do like we apply for a job like oh, wouldn't some you look sort kind of, of sexy posing with an ar guys? i actually have a photo of me with <laughs> two I'm ak-47s in, and then like pistols in my rain boots and russian oshanka Ooh. hat it's Ooh, i was like in high school yeah. wait question about so so you're from russia mm, maybe yes yeah so <laughs> have you had anyone like when all the i mean the ukraine shit's still going on but like when it was like Yikes. really popping off yeah were people like i don't know if i can be friends with you anymore no it's oh. not no it's not so much that but it's more so when i meet people and they hear my like your Russian redneck accent <laughs> and, <laughs> and I say oh. redneck is because I learned English in Texas. Texas and so I say I know being Russian is not a popular thing but uh, I just try to avoid it because uh, I obviously know that it's whatever Putin is doing is idiotic selfish uh, inhumane but it that doesn't mean I'm a like I'm not still Russian or yeah. I don't like Russia is not my country. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like I mean, if we uh, as Americans had to pay for all our crimes and genocide, no one would be friends. Yeah. With us. It's <laughs> like, to me, it's like, I have nothing fucking to say. If I did, I would, Sorry. I, I would hire someone and they'll take care of Putin versus like, yeah, she's going to no, take care no of Putin comment. with an AR. <laughs> no comment. Pistol. Don't come for me. <laughs> Hey, Brian. Yeah. Could I get the other pillow? <laughs> My back is really <laughs> hurting. Sure. I'm like pushing myself off the seat yeah, trying yeah. to talk I'll, into I'll the go, mic. When I, get, when I get up, I'll do it. Eric, why don't you, uh, we'll pull up the, uh, play the Andrea clip first. <sighs> Would you have sex with me? <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I just want to ask you guys if you would be down to have sex with me. <laughs> okay, I will definitely have sex with you. Like right, like literally right now. Where like, do you I'm not go? joking. Your house is like right over there. Right now? 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 Let me know if this is too forward. If you would have sex with me. Hold on, mom. Mom, can I call you back? Maybe you'd want to have sex with me. Yes. Yeah. Like right now. Like literally, my house is like right over there. Sure. You want to have sex with me? Are you? Are you mine? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. You been drinking? I'm kind of the best way. Oh no, I'm completely sober. You out of your mind? <laughs> In the best kind of way. Come to my house, Jones. Okay. You don't like want to have sex with me? <laughs> yes. I'm serious. Like my house is like right there. Hey, I thought you had a phone. Right, okay, let's do it. You want to have sex with me? Yeah. At my house? Is like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no hesitation. I don't know if this is serious. Would please, you like to hang please. out with us first? Um, not really. Do you want really. us to go do it right sorry, now? Yeah, just, it'll be like really oh, quick, okay. like 15 minutes. That's totally fine with me. <laughs> okay. All right, ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Okay. I better not be getting robbed right now. <laughs> So I better not be getting robbed. So your reaction to that, Louie? Your reaction. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Mm. Actually, I appreciate the guys were saying, do you want to know us first? <laughs> <laughs> so I do appreciate that okay, part. Okay, so your, your faith in humanity was restored a little bit. Yes, do okay. exist. Well, I that's like that. Like, I was like below average. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lily? Lillian? Is that your full name, by the way? Lillian? No. no. <laughs> yes, it is. Something. Okay. Go ahead, Lillian. Uh. <laughs> would Would you do that? No. That's what I think so many people no. would be like, okay, I yeah, would. Go. I would literally burst out laughing if I said that to somebody. Aja? Um, Aja, oh, why do you I'm always bad. do that? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what was the question? <laughs> How did like you, my thoughts? Yeah. How did you feel about like, that? Oh, yeah, I actually. feel like guys like will fuck anything, so they're just like. <laughs> guys will fuck anything. Most guys, yes. They'll fuck anything. They just need yeah. three holes. That's all. What's the okay, third? Okay, I can say all that. Um, the, the belly. You button? don't know that there's oh, three. Oh, the th Brian. <laughs> And you what? like labias. <laughs> you don't know that. Too. I, I'm being Thanks. goofy. The ear. Okay, <laughs> let me rephrase that. Most eyeball. Guys, most guys are horny, so if a girl's like, let's fuck, they're gonna be like, okay. Mm. Word. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I would definitely do what that girl did. I was like, hey, you wanna have sex just for shits and giggles? Literally. And, okay. Yeah, for shits and giggles. So before we play the next video, do you guys think it's harder for men or women to get laid? For women to get laid? Yeah, we'll go. We'll start over here. Go ahead. I think it's harder for men because women. We have more like check boxes, if that makes sense. We're mm -hmm. more, we, we want more from you before we want to sleep with you. But the majority of the time, I feel like at least. Sure. Mm -hmm. I feel the same way. I think it's harder for men. My answer is redacted. Um, but happy Thanksgiving, ladies and Brian. <laughs> thanks for having me back on. And Eric, um, thanks for watching, guys. I've got to go. But Wait, we haven't talked about your OnlyFans yet. Oh, Go to OnlyFans. oh, I think that's my cue. <laughs> Subscribe though for next time. <laughs> Girl. Next time. Um, All right, crickets, wait, crickets, hold on. Crickets. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I got. Wait. Play the crickets. <laughs> it was quiet. Peace out. Peace out with you too, homie. Okay, see ya. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> Bye, Emma. Um, okay, so I'm trying to think if I want to adjust the microphones at all. Yeah. Or, um, we could have, uh, Should we scoot over? Or? no, stay where you are. Um, could, maybe you could just put that microphone on the ground. <laughs> there we go. Wait, your sunglasses. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Don't forget your makeup. And this your bra. is Sparta! <laughs> Keep the change, you filthy animal. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Emma. See you. Is there a man um, picking you up in his whip? In his three whips? Wait, the oh, question was uh, easy for yeah, men to get for laid. Men or women to get laid? I think it just depends on how much substance alcohol they've had that day and how horny you are 
and X, Y, and Z. Wait, but okay, is it easier for men or women to get laid? It's easier for women to get laid because we have a say for the most part. Uh, Like if I want to go have sex with someone, text, call, I'm over having it. Yeah. And with guys... Emma, don't steal their purses. How dare you? (laughs) Girl! Hey! Leave my purse alone. You what? What's that no term cash. for people that steal compulsively? Like it's, oh no no. There's like it's there's a, a there's klepto. Yeah klepto. What does yeah that Emma. Mean? That they like to steal things. Like if they see it, they'll take it. Yeah. A klepto. Among other things. I got things. no money. Um, okay. <laughs> do you think it's easier for men or women to get? Um, <laughs> women definitely. Lily, whoa. You sound like Spongebob. Lillian. Can you not use my full name like that? I don't like it. Lillian. Okay, I'm done. I'm you. done. I'm done, Lily. Go ahead. Um, I think it's harder for men. Okay. What about you, Lily? I feel generally it's harder for men, but thinking about people like Drake, they never worry about getting <laughs> that's cause he's made. Yeah, that's cause he's but okay, that's like... I feel like it just... I agree with yeah, her. If like, there's a good looking guy and like a lot of girls want to like fuck yeah. him, then he's yeah. not going to have a problem yeah. getting pissed. Like on a general basis, I think it's for men. But yeah, like, generally. Mm-hmm. Just like, obviously, it's like based off of like attractive. Honestly, like, here's the thing though. Even a really good-looking guy. Okay, take away like Drake, like someone with really high status. Yeah, take that Drake. away. Take that out of the picture. Even a really good-looking guy, an average girl has an easier time getting laid than like a top-tier, like top, top-looking guy. I agree. Yeah, it's, I feel like yeah, men sexualize agree. us even when we don't want them to, so it doesn't, I don't know. I feel like men that might men be sexualize? Thing. Sometimes men sexualize you when when you're not even wearing something revealing, so I feel like just stereotypes yeah. and just genders being different there. in the first yeah. place well, ma- maybe feeds into women getting laid more, or easier, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not sure if it has so much to do with s- sexualization, but... Um, it's for sure easier for women to get laid. And on that <laughs> note, <laughs> Eric, why don't you go ahead and pull up my version of that video? I think I've seen it. Brian had it rough, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it. Did you speak English? Yeah. Uh, I just thought you were really cute. And I want to know if you wanted to have sex. Uh, no. no. Okay. I just thought you were cute, and I wanted to know if you wanted to have sex. <laughs> no. no. I thought you were really cute, and I wanted to know if you wanted to have sex with me. No. And I wanted to know if you wanted to have sex. <laughs> Did you guys speak English at yeah. all? Are you, where are you from? Australia. Oh, Australia, cool. You guys were really cute. Okay. And I wanted to know if you guys wanted to have sex. Do you want to have sex? No. No? no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought you were cute, and I just want to know if you wanted to have I'm sex. I'm just trying to find my friend. No, thank you. No, thank you. All right, mate. Have sex with me. Are you stupid or are you... I'm a little stupid. Do you want to lie on the ground or not? Right now? Yes. What do you mean, lie on the ground? Then we going to slap you very hard, yes? When I'm on the ground or That's before? not what you're gonna ask, a lady. No. Oh. oh. I'm not. I'm not from around here, so I don't know the custom. Okay. <laughs> um. I think it's also culture. I just because it looks yeah. like you were like in Europe Amsterdam. or oh, yeah. Amsterdam. So Amsterdam. Yeah. it was a I I, like well. It's so anywhere, here's the actually. thing. I so the girl one was done here in Isla Vista. Mm-hmm. I did yeah. a I did a version here in Isla Vista too. And. It was girl said the same. same. Yes. It was the same. Same. Okay. No, the girl said no. <laughs> was it as I, ruthless I one, though? I had one girl say yes in Europe and I asked two hundred women. Okay. You were 200? It was two hundred. Okay. And I asked a hundred here in the US. Or in Santa IV. Barbara. Yeah. Zero in IV. So yes, it, it, it the two videos I showed you, there's a bit of a difference there, but we did do it in the same location. Mm-hmm. Similar results to the one I did in Europe. So yeah. Hmm. I think I'm the most publicly rejected man <laughs> in the world. I how, should. How do you feel? Records. How does that make you feel? 
I don't. I don't give a fuck. You're fine. I do okay. not care. I okay. also think that, it's just the way you approach the. Well, <laughs> yeah, like you, you said you, you want to go on a date. It would turn out better than like. Do you well, well, no, that yes. wasn't the point. point. He's trying to prove a point. point. But like, yeah. it was to I compare feel like and contrast. Yeah. You just like stood there, like, like you know the emoji. Like, hey, like, um, that, that's your what body language could have been better. Your approach could have been better. Sure. Yeah. That does support like what we were talking about. But no matter, even if you did a lot of women would have still said no, no just because of the the like man women well, also uh, they have standards and types too like, yeah. to that, so you yeah, just I mean, didn't fall into that <laughs> i didn't say all that I, I would like to actually redo it where instead of just str- being like w- when you like to have sex <laughs> i think it would that's be, what i'm saying it, would, it yeah. would be it would be better to um <laughs> do like would you like to hook up even that yeah. little change i think would would, be would little, change it a bit and now that you're I mean, more grown you man name, with maybe. the deeper voice you're like, like hey i'm and then yeah you, would you want to hook up but i did it with another guy too i had another guy do it who i think is he's a bit better looking than i am and he's even he got rejected and we did that What's here in I, I la vista What's his stats? What's like, scale? what did he get? Like one yes. He got zero. Okay. Oh, he got zero okay. out of a hundred. Hmm. So it's rough out there. So you're saying even like a brutal guy horrible. will get a whole bunch of nos. I. See, you know I what? I would love to do it again with like the most Chad, like Giga yeah. Chad, ten yeah. out of ten dude. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I, I, he might get a little bit of success, but I want to say like I majority think he would. overall Probably would still be like yeah. he might get a couple, like two or three, but I'm pretty sure it's if he if we do a hundred. 95% of them will still say no. Absolutely. Even if he's really yeah. good looking, like it's just, just like, because but. especially you're asking all these women on their sober head, which you shouldn't just like have sex with a woman. If she's like out of her mind, but it's like on the sober head. Yeah. Woman is going to be like, are you fucking yeah. out of your mind? Versus like, Some if you're, goggles. yeah, if you're, <laughs> unless I have beer goggles, tequi- beer goggles. tequila goggles. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> like, though, no, let's go. Honestly yeah. though, I think even if you did it like at a bar or a club at a party, it's still, no, it at would the end work. of the day, I think it's just, it's harder club for might men. Be different. Like, it's just, it is. Cause I don't know. Word, yeah. word. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, get to the next question here. So, let's see here. What do we have? Um, hmm. Okay. Sober so on this sort of somewhat on this topic. Have you had more sober sex or drunk sex? Sober. Start over here. Mostly, <laughs> mostly sober sex. Okay, Lillian. Sorry, Lily. My bad. Yikes, Brian. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgive Jeez. me. Forgive me. Um, mostly sober. Okay. Mostly sober. Yikes. Um, drunky pants. <laughs> she is um, Russian. Look at my fun. <laughs> sober hey, until so recently, because. Yeah. Un- because why? What's that supposed to be? Because I have a sneaky link. We're not sneaky, but like that's our thing. We go downtown, we get drunk, and then have a good. But time. like, what about with previous previous partners? Me and him. Oh, oh, sober. Okay, so overall though, more sober. More sober. Okay, what about you? I'm sober. Okay. Wow, I'm just you, alcoholic not and me. sober, horny oh, over here. Didn't really drink. So yeah, I I don't drink. So oh, occasionally I drink, but like. Do you have any? No, all that. <laughs> no, you got all the that. last one. Let me let me see if there's more. But I've I've met people that, and this these are typically people who are in college that they've some people have never had sober sex because they're just doing like hookups, oh, one night no. stands. Oh, they've only had no, sex drunk, or they're just they're just always drunk. Yikes! Not it's always not always drunk having sex. Yeah, no. Yeah, we have some more water. I think we might have some water okay, bottles. Okay, sober meaning like drunk or like high? It's not, it's not that I'm just like always blackout drunk. It's just, uh, or I don't have sober sex. Oh, it's just, I'm out socially drinking and then either the lights go out and then it happens or yeah, it just happens. But okay. yeah. Exactly. Word. Word. So, <laughs> I, next question here. So, how many dates until you hook up or sleep with a guy? How long do you think you should wait? Go ahead. 
feel like it depends on the situation. Yeah. I mean, what I what's the situation? The I don't know. I feel like I've tried dating, but I haven't dated like a lot because I tend to be in a relationship. I've been in one for I was in one for a long time, but um, I think definitely a few. But I don't think there's like a hardcore rule. Like if you guys connected, I guess it depends on how much you connect with the person. I don't have like a rule. But. Okay. No. But so, would you hook up with someone the first night? Nothing wrong with that. Just. Yeah, not preferably. But if it went that way, I wouldn't be upset about it. Okay, but because some people like say oh third date, some people want to wait yeah. longer. Or some people think it's like bad if you hook up on the first date. Yeah. yeah. Um, personally, I like to wait, but like if I. How long? Like um, at least like four or five dates, but at the same time. <sighs> four, four or five. God well, damn. you gotta know that they like you, but at the same time, I I do it's have like long. some people that like I have hooked up with them on like the first time. So how do you like differentiate between... Because I know that we're only hanging out to hook up. Wait, so just to be clear, <laughs> let me... If, <laughs> if there's a guy where you, you just... He just wants to hook up, you just want to hook up first night. Yeah, if under the right circumstances, yeah. But then... If with, I meet a guy, like, okay, uh, previously I met a guy at the bar, but like he was a very genuine person. Like he was very... He was very into the relationship type, and like I'm, I am too. So like, he's not the guy that I'd be like, oh, I just want to hook up with you, and that's that. I like, we both waited, we both like talked about it. That's another thing, like you talk about it, you know. Wait, like, but so did he want to have sex with you, and then you made him wait? Mm, we both wanted to, but really? we both, we both, yeah, really? we both wanted to have sex, and we both waited. <laughs> yeah, actually. No, no, no. Well, obviously, you both waited because yeah. one person in that dynamic can set the terms for that, yeah. but. You're telling me he also wanted to wait. Because. Uh, or or is it that you said. You want me dead ass? Sure. He was a virgin, so. I mean, I can see. Yeah. I can kind of see that, but. <laughs> and you were not a virgin, correct? No. So you took his virginity. <laughs> yeah. How was it? How was the sex? Like a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah. God damn. I don't but he got better. Score. I taught him some stuff. Score. I taught him mm. score. That's right, baby. <laughs> I'm fucking um, I don't think it matters. Okay. Like, there have been circumstances where I've had sex on the first date. There have been mm -hmm. circumstances on the second, third date. But it doesn't matter how long you make a man wait once you have sex, it's either there or it's not. not yeah. So there's either that connection or it's not. You can make them wait 12 days, three days, one day, 90 days, whatever the yeah. fuck you're making them wait. Like it, there's either a chemistry connection or there's not. Mm -hmm. And whether they want to continue to pursue their relationship. So answer. <laughs> I can agree with that. Yes. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. That's a, so. that's a very good point. Like, the thing is, is that oftentimes a lot of women will, will wait. They think that they can keep man yeah. because you're making them wait. Yeah, because oh, you're making them yeah. wait, and they will continue <laughs> like want to date you and pursue you because you think you're emotionally connecting. Connected, yeah, but it doesn't matter. Like once yeah. you have sex, it's either there or it's not. Yeah, and so on to yeah. the next. That, I mean, it it's sort of it is a bit of a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation yeah. with women because on one hand, there are definitely guys out there that. If you sleep with them too soon, they're going to be, they're going to think a certain type of way about you. But also if you make a guy wait, then you might start getting feelings for him. And then, but he's just still after sex and yeah. then he sleeps with you. He gets what he wants. And he's he's gone. gone. Yeah. yeah. But so, there's also, true, you yeah. can sleep on a first night, uh, first date. But like if there's back. that connection, then you will continue. Someone. He will continue <laughs> pursuing and dating you versus like, yeah. oh, she slept on the first day. Yeah. Like, and and there's also scenarios where if you make a guy wait too long, mm -hmm. like, then they're like, bye. <laughs> then they're <laughs> yeah, or or they would have otherwise liked to have continued seeing you. But if you make him wait too long, he's gonna think, like, this is how I'll I'll think sometimes. If a girl makes me wait too long. Um, I'm gonna think she's playing a game. The only time where I feel like it can be kind of justified to wait is if you're genuinely like that's been your that's been your standards for all your previous men. 
but hold on, you've slept with 30 guys before, you've had a bunch of one night stands, you've had the whole phase, and now you're gonna make me wait? You're playing a game now. And now, yeah. now it's a game. So yeah. I'm already, now I'm thinking, okay, let's play the game. Whereas if it's genuine, like if it's a girl who's a virgin, for example, okay, mm -hmm. fine. Yeah, but like, that's different. But then you're though. playing a game, like now you're, either, either I'm gonna think you're not that into me because you gave it up to this, you hooked mm -hmm. up with this guy, no problem. You're gonna make, mm -hmm. so you're telling me that guy with the jerk, the asshole, you gave it to him the first night, but I'm the good guy. You wanna make me wait three days, but four because, days, five because days? Because you're a good guy and like maybe they wanna. You should, you should be sure rewarding like, the no. good men. I think that's how, <laughs> but. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. Um, I don't, for me personally, I, I if a girl wanted to hook up quick, like I wouldn't view her like oh she's because i think you can hook you up would do it. Yeah. <laughs> no but I, I think you can you can hook up with someone relatively f fast and still not have a high body count because a lot of guys care about body count right so yeah you can have sex with someone fairly quickly but also be relationship minded there's mm -hmm. other indicators yeah, of if you're pro definitely. what's that i said definitely yeah there's other indicators of promiscuity and like of the long, I've had multiple long-term relationships. I dated a girl for five years. I had a two-year one. I had a one-year one. All those relationships, it wasn't let. It wasn't like let's wait ten dates and then no. It was like within the f first one, two, or three times we hung out, we had sex, and those were all long-term relationships. So I don't know this idea of waiting in order to secure a guy it doesn't for a work. relationship. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't work. No. Like if he's down for you, like yeah. I mean, maybe you could do like a token, like maybe not the first time. But like, I don't know, if you like the guy and you... If the vibes are right. If, yeah, if, if that's your vibe, standard. Yeah. It, like some girls, they might genuinely like for all the guys they've ever slept with, it's like, hey, I want to know I you, I wanna know you for a month. Yeah. Yeah. Then that's fair. But if you had a hoe phase, you've hooked up like a month ago, you hooked up with a guy mm -hmm. first night. There's no way a guy might know, but I'm just like, it's for me, it's a fucking eye roll if you, if you hooked up with a guy the first night but a month ago. But how would you know? Well, I mean, you wouldn't, but it's yeah, still exactly. fun. like to just thinking about it, like for you to have two sets of standards, mm -hmm. okay, for this guy first, first night, but then this guy who I actually want, who I want a relationship with, I'm going to make him wait. I don't know. I feel like that's game playing. Yeah. Okay. What do no. you think about girls who like, they'll fuck on the first night, but they're interested in you? That's fine. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. It still yeah. works. Yeah. Yeah. It because it's like if there's connection, it will work. But mm -hmm. if there's not, at the end of the day, you're just ripped up, bend it quickly. You have sex. You don't connect. Okay, onto the next. Yeah. But but you should probably like if you want something more serious, like you should probably have a sense of what that guy's looking for. Mm -hmm. So that's I mean, there are women who will what sleep if it's with just the guy. What's that? What if, if that's what like you want? Buddies? Like, just that's what's going on. What's the, what's the question? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, what if you guys are just like fuck buddies and like no one said what they want, but you guys are just fucking. Well, but what I'm saying is establishing these sorts of understandings before you, you even need to sleep, talk about it. sleep with someone first. Yeah. Like if, if your concern as a woman is, hey, I don't want to rack up a high body count. Mm -hmm. You can sleep with a guy relatively quickly, but you need to have a sense of where his headspace is, his headspace is at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, if mm -hmm. you're chasing after fuck boys, like he's not going to commit to you. Also, you need a reasonable, and I think so, I think all the girls at this table, um, you know, because we'll have girls come on and they'll like say, "I'm a ten. I think I'm a ten. Yeah. yeah. So if you don't have a reasonable self assessment of your physical attractiveness, where you stand in terms of your attraction to the your how. Your fuck. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me play this. <laughs> Tongue tied here, guys. If you don't have a reasonable self self assessment of where you stand in terms of your physical appearance, you're going to be chasing after a certain caliber of guy, and that caliber of guy is never going to commit to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, if you think you're a ten, th here's the thing: like a guy who's a guy who's an to use the numbers right, a guy who's a nine will gladly sleep with a girl who's a seven or a six mm -hmm. or a five. He's not going to ever commit to her for a long-term relationship, but he'll gladly, he'll gladly welcome the easy access to sex. Yep. So if a woman, if a woman is chasing after like a top tier guy, that's maybe more attractive than her, you might be able to sleep with him. It might be exciting. 
he might be really hot he might be great in bed but you're not going to get commitment mm -hmm. and then you're actually kind of like fucking yourself because that then you start looking at the guys who are your looks equivalent mm -hmm. and all of a sudden the guys that would otherwise be your looks equivalent the guys that would be faithful to you in a relationship the good dutiful boyfriends you're going to think you're settling for what is actually your Lower equal than, yeah. Yeah. and then you're just so and it's it's pretty easy for women to sleep with like really attractive men an average woman can sleep with a guy who's much more attractive than her, but like an average guy can't really sleep with a guy, with a girl, a girl who's yeah. who's, mom, yeah. who's fucking hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we don't have the same opportunity to like fuck ourselves, our wiring into like uh, like not being willing to settle for a girl that's like kind of on our level. So mm -hmm. we're I've actually seen a <laughs> lot of bomb guys with like uh, girls, girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah because That's, they just end up settling well men men we date down yeah why we, so no one steals your down. girl no just wow. like that's how it is <laughs> that because honestly it's fucking with social media and dating apps i'm listen a lot of you are fucking gassed up have you ever seen a girl's instagram comments on her instagram mm -hmm. y'all yeah. be gassing each other up then you get True, a shit, right. you get a shit, you get a ton of DMs, DMs. from guys. Right. You get yeah. on dating apps, you guys get bombarded yeah. by guys. But these guys, a lot of these guys, uh, you have to separate. So there's physical attraction and then there's relationship attraction. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So a guy will, guys will sleep with you, but they might not want to be with you in, in a relationship, relationship yeah. with you. Yeah. Yeah. And I th honestly, I think women should only be sleeping with men that see you as a relationship like material relationship i mean if you don't i mean look you're free to do whatever you want but yeah. like no, yeah, that makes sense. Thank if you, you want <laughs> yeah if you want to be the town bicycle and get run through oh, you can town do it bicycle what the a saying <laughs> everybody rides it yeah. <laughs> makes like sense. the bikes that you ride on the beach yeah yeah everyone but like gone. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and i say this because men we we don't want a woman with high body count. But what does it matter with the body count? Like if you and I date, I'm not just going to tell you that I slept with two or three or 20 or 100 men. Like that has nothing we're gonna, to we're do. We're going to, we're going to, okay, sorry. I don't, go ahead. I don't, go ahead. Continue. Yeah. But even if I slept with a hundred, it has nothing like, why is that? Like, why should you be sharing that number? What, what good does it bring into a relationship? I mean, I feel cause it's, it's like you've shared that person with a lot of people. It's like you don't want that, you know? Like, I mean, same with me. Like, if a guy has a lot of body count. When a girl has a high body count than a guy. Like, oh, it definitely, looks like, yeah. Like, it looks bad Wait, on you, my into society, the mic? but guys, oh, but guys almost like, they're like, oh, yeah, man, good job, you screwed her. But, like, yeah. a mm -hmm. girl gets, like, slut shamed. Yeah. So it's like, where's the balance, I guess? I mean, I it's, know. there's all kinds of double standards, but I think that's a justified double standard. Brian, you just said you can tell if the girl has high body count because you described that. I mean, yeah. not always, but like we are going to look at other factors because we know if you're probably not going to be honest with your What's body high? Count. What's high for you? What's a high What's body high? Ca count for you? Yeah. It depends on age. <laughs> it depends on age. So like, like 19 with 20 plus, that's a lot. Like that's 19. Lot. So that, yeah. Honestly, yeah, yeah, no, for sure. 19, 19 with 10 with plus. That's yeah, a lot. That's I a think lot. for most men, for most men, honestly, at any age, they're gonna have over 10, <laughs> yeah. over, over 10 guys are starting to think that's a high body count. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But honestly, most women have over 10. I'd say a lot of women have an over but 10 body count. But when I date man, I'm never asking them how many they've had. Because women and don't really don't care about that. And they don't ask me. Some yeah. So, no, some women do care about body yeah. count, but like they care, generally speaking, women care about body count far less. Yeah. And some just don't care at all. But mm -hmm. sorry, repeat. What was your question? Uh, there wasn't a question. It was just a She's statement a that when I date man. Yeah, you don't care. I don't care, nor they ask me because it's irrelevant information because it's not not necessarily that it's like completely irrelevant, but it's just like there's no good that's going to come from it. So why the fuck do I care and do I need to like dwell and think about it how many people you've been with where it's just like i have you i have you 
<laughs> and <Kiki>. so <laughs> and so i'm it's just you and i now versus yeah. like I unless you fucking cheat on me yeah that's different but it's like in the moment it's well you, i'm sleeping with you you're sleeping with me and that's it i mean one reason to you mentioned cheating one reason to care about body count is the more partner someone has had the greater likelihood of future infidelity in a relationship there's a lot of reasons to care about body count but um it's it's irrelevant in my opinion well for, for a lot of women don't care a lot of women don't care and that's okay. because there's asymmetry in what men how and else, women find so if you're single how else do you get better at sex if uh, if you're in a five-year relationship yeah, that's a good question and it gets just monotonous and you're like hey do you want to have sex no oh okay yes it's like or if you're single and it's not necessarily that you have to be good at sex it's just that's how you learn what you like what you dislike uh, and you grow that way i don't know if that makes any sense practice uh, makes perfect yeah <laughs> perfect practice <laughs> makes perfect well I, th I think if you compare someone if you compare a woman who's had sex with her boyfriend 20 times versus a woman who's had sex with 20, 20 men times. one time yeah I would argue, I mean, you can become really skilled at sex with just one I dated partner. a guy for six months. Yeah. And uh, we had the worst sex of my life. And I was there trying to work on it. And You were? How? By, Honestly, I would not to expose too much, <laughs> but uh, the, like I wanted to like included like a sex therapy or couples therapy or something because it was what? his issue six six That's months. Oh, six months because because there was a strong enough foundation of friendship where i wanted this relationship to work mm -hmm. and so i was willing to stay in that relationship and so sex was terrible so here i was six months relationship and i'm crying because to pump chuck and yeah so wait okay so so <laughs> so he had an issue with premature ejaculation yes was that the That's primary reason why problems. the sex was bad yeah because, because you were because, too hot because well yeah wait, but know. okay so what did you guys have round twos because often if there's guys, so there's no round there's twos rounds. there's no foreplay there's nothing and so did you but, ask yeah but there's and that's that's why like i was there okay. And so it was... You stayed with him for six months, even though there's such a glaring sexual incompatibility? Exactly, exactly. No. So, next. I mean, I think, yeah. I think well, there's... obviously. obviously. Yeah. I, think, I think it was fair of you to give him an opportunity to improve, but, mm -hmm. and I think all people should give people an opportunity to, to improve in that department, but, I mean, it seemed like a pretty glaring incompatibility sexually, so... Maybe you should, I would have moved on sooner, but yeah, yeah, a little bit. Sooner. Um, but, <laughs> but here's the thing though. Like here's the difference between men and women. Like would, would any of you for like a one night stand currently, or even for a relationship, would any of you want to date a guy who's a virgin? I don't, I don't necessarily care as long as you're trying to make sure we're both having a good time. Okay. You know? Sure. Like, like you can like work on things or like get good at things but if sure. you're not trying then no. okay but what about you i did date a guy that was a virgin and it was because he was really nice and really sweet and like he was boyfriend material and like i didn't know he's a virgin until like a certain point okay and then once it yeah, well no i knew before we had sex and then once we had sex like it was fine because then i i know what i like so it was easier to like tell him what to do what i like when other times when you're with a guy that is experienced they don't even know what they're doing like how the guy that was a virgin i've had way better sex with the guy that was a virgin than guys that have had experience and it's like how someone's saying is someone saying that the black haired girl mike isn't working is someone that guy just there. trolling me no her because she's not talking i think they're just you gotta that. talk to you mike yeah i don't know what I we think have like working. all black hair except for one. So which black hair <laughs> girl? <laughs> I think they're talking about her. She's not talking. Oh, that's uh, so funny. Guys, is her mic not working? Can you just speak? Hi. Hi, how are you? This is the whatever podcast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, is her mic on, guys? Um, so just really quick, yes or no, would you date a virgin, get with a virgin? Probably not. I don't know. Okay. 
I don't even know. I mean, yeah. I yes, know. yes or no? Yes okay, or no. I guess. No. <laughs> I am dating one. What? Oh, <laughs> see? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Well, see? Now, now was. Oh. oh. What? The like, ah, the like. Mm. Are you guys you having good I mean. sex? Yeah. See? You took his that virginity. I d- well, right. I mean, like, I don't, I don't know. I don't talk about this stuff. But you, wait, you just, public. but of course, how do you, how can you say you don't know when you just said that well, he was a virgin? No, 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 no. I'm when saying, like, I don't, I don't, like. Yeah, I did. Okay. But I'm what? saying, like, I don't know how to talk about this stuff, especially, like, in a public setting. That's why. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I prefer not, but if the guy didn't tell me, I would just go for it. Okay. Yeah. So that's the difference between men and women because for a lot of men, a woman who's a virgin is it's a like, prize. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a like prize a for a woman. Pri- yeah. That's what my man, mom rather. tell me. <laughs> my Chinese mom make sure I don't break my virginity before marriage and like she literally said your husband won't treat you as good if you are like as a virgin uh-huh. sorry mom <laughs> <laughs> wait did we f- did we go all the way around on how many dates until you sleep with the guy I don't know if we well, I you, think you we didn't finish uh, yeah, yeah. Let, I, we'll continue on with the conversation but go ahead did you how many dates I don't know. I can't be a hypocrite because I've slept with someone the first time I met him, so. Okay. <laughs> I haven't been on enough dates to answer this. But, <laughs> but don't. But I, the thing is. Not I, dates. I, like just how many. Like, how hangouts. long. It, you could yeah, say a hangouts. month. What? Just give us something. Uh, Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> just give, like, a, give so us something. So if it's the first night, it's the first night. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're I mean, I wouldn't prefer it, but like maybe like like three months three months you'll make them wait sounds like a lot of work okay what about you okay brian don't hate me i think i'm very similar to the one you just described is i categorize my like boys into two categories Mm -hmm. one is i'm super attracted to their look I usually fuck like second or third time I see them and then they only come over to my place, stay over mm-hmm. for a night and then leave. I don't go to public or like don't hang out with them. No dinner afterwards. Cannot be seen public together after <laughs> this. <laughs> but another type of guy is the guy I maybe will have a lot of mutuals or I see any slight pre- like potential, potential that he can be my boyfriend. I will let him wait. But the thing is, like, I'm not looking for like relationship right now. So sorry to all these guys. I'm not gonna fuck you guys at all. <laughs> <laughs> wait, hold on. You're not looking for a relationship right now. So you won't even yeah. do like links either. So you sneaky links. They come and go. They, you guys come over, fuck, and you can leave, or you stay for a night and you leave the next day. Wait. So no breakfast. <laughs> no. So just, okay. Door. So you said you do cat. You do categorization. So. Some of the guys, you said that you just, you invite them to your house. No, no first meeting in, in uh, There is first or second meetings. First? Yes. I, at your house? Uh, outside dinner and stuff. But I, but no, but you said that you don't <laughs> do the... And ever, like, after that dinner or meetup, it is strictly to my house. Strictly she to said your we're house? Not going nowhere. Yeah. Nowhere. <laughs> you can't see me. Wait. Uh-huh. <laughs> what? What? Okay, so... <laughs> she doesn't want to be seen in public with them. You're going straight to the house. Yeah. From there, and then you never talk to them again, or that's, that's just always how it is. There's no point of talking, I, in my opinion. Like sometimes, girls just want to have sex, and then not because the more we talk, girl gonna build emotions, <laughs> and I'm super emotional. I would just fall in love with a guy if he's like super caring. So I prefer not talk with you. Like I keep distance with you. You said super what? If he's super what? Like if stu- if she he's like super caring, it's like oh I bring you soup, I bring you flowers. Like no 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 no. I will like like you, grow you feelings. You will fall in love. Yeah, I will fall in love, and I don't want that. You don't want that. Yeah. Opens the door Why not? <laughs> what if he's like your dream person? Then that's falling into the second category. Is if that's she my dream the person, then I'll have him wait a little. If I'm ready for a relationship. You'll make him wait. Yeah. Okay. But can you explain? It seems very methodical. The guy comes over and then bing, you bing, fuck. Boom, that's it. Get out. 
Yeah, he can but guys get out. Are like what about that too? cuddling? Do you cuddle for like 10 minutes? I after? actually don't like cuddling because it's so warm. Do you guys like cuddling? I like cuddling. Literally, I my sneaky it. link. <laughs> literally, last night, my sneaky link was like, come cuddle. Come cuddle. And I was like, obligatory okay, post sex it's not a cuddling. sneaky link because y'all are catching feelings. Because I feel cuddling <laughs> is overrated because when you guys both fall asleep, you're going to fall that separate because it's warm. It's not that comfortable. What do you I mean? You don't like what being about, warm? What about just like the, the you know, 10 minutes post-sex cuddling, then you kick and them out. And then you leave, yeah. Yeah, I prefer the to go take a shower or take a oh. pee first and then go back to oh, cuddling. Oh, to clean up. Okay. The, yeah, yeah. yeah. Same. Clean it yeah. out. You know. Otherwise, you get UTIs. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have so, to pee. but you don't, you don't like the, gu- well, I'm with you on that. Like, even honestly, even if I, with a girl I've been seeing for like a year or two, I don't want her to sleep over. I don't want to sleep over <laughs> Bro, I value like, my sleep. <laughs> I value my sleep. Like Taurus, he doesn't, <laughs> Taurus and he doesn't sleep or See? take snaps. But I value my sleep also. Uh, you know Beauty what? Sleep? With my wife, Important. separate beds. No way. Actually, I yes. Would, I would see that. Or, or same room. Same California room size kings. So you guys king have size California. So that way there's enough. Yeah space for the activities and mm. then also you stay on your side i stay on my side and we're both just zonked out yeah i i only have yeah. a queen so even a queen it's just it's too small it's, too, it's, it's, too it's not enough put him on the couch <laughs> and trust me i've dated some quiet bitches quite what i did i'm that I'm, was I'm, what does that mean so <laughs> quiet what? bitches you i've oh, dated some quiet i'm i'm kidding i've dated some quiet women Oh, what does that mean? Like they're just like girls they're that quiet. Are quiet. They're just, don't don't even it. budge during sleep. Don't oh, snore. Oh. Even then, it just it fucks with you my can. sleep. I can't yeah. do it. Just because they're, the they're in your space. Knowing. Yeah, they're in your bubble. Yeah, your bubble. Yeah. <laughs> bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Although, like you know, what's crazy though? I feel like if if I kind of uh, push through that initial, I have had girlfriends that I've, I can actually like sleep, like you know, spend the night with or whatever, but. He just lays on nice day on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing Having so many matches. thoughts. <laughs> and they be trying to wake me up and chin the morning the fuck. I'm like, nah, man, They're I'm trying like, to sleep. They're like, make me breakfast. Give me coffee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God damn. All right, let me do some... Uh, wait, okay, I'm so... I'm with you on sleep. Yeah. So that was a very interesting answer. Um, you you don't want to catch sense. feelings. Mm-hmm. You don't want... Because I want to Did you tell that love. to guys? When you're in love, you're what? You slash tires? Absolutely <laughs> retarded. <Yeah. laughs> you're retarded when you're in love? Very retarded. I'm just like so focused in love and I cannot do anything like work and career. It's wife so, material right there. I feel that completely. <laughs> Everybody but, knows you never go full retard. I mean, a true love feels good and all that, but this is not the time for me to fall in love. I need to focus. Those, that's why. Mm. Focus I on just, what? It, getting secured. What bag. happened with Aiden Ross, yeah, by the way? Oh. Can you talk about Aiden Ross? What happened there? Okay, here's the thing. Well, also, also my theory is coming from all of my like trauma, like experiences, all the fuck boys I've dealing with the past. So I just detach my feelings. All the fuck boys. Hold on. What about the fuck boys? Okay. Wait, oh, Aiden Rose first. Okay. In order. <laughs> okay. So here's the thing, right? Aiden Rose. I always love Aiden Rose. I've been telling everyone like I love Aiden Rose, favorite streamer because he can take jokes. He set, handles situations so well, and then he's assistant reached out to me a couple like last months, and then he's like, "Oh, please, could you come on um, this live stream with Aiden and we do like reverse E day and stuff?" And I turn it down, and then he reached out to me again for Andrew Tate, and I got so scared. I didn't know Andrew Tate like who is this person. So I searched online. He was topless, talking mad shit, and I was like, Nah, I gotta get destroyed. <laughs> and then after I see that live, I was like, Damn, I, maybe I should be on there because this is the only chance me as a woman can totally roast him in person, and just you know, like this is the only chance I have. Both send. Yeah. Haram. So after that, I was like, if Aiden ever asks me to do live stream again, I will do it just to, you know, make some jokes and stuff. So I went on there with Kai, actually, another streamer. 
they pull a fr- uh, freeze prank on me. I was on there for 50 seconds and they kicked me out. I should you not. So the moment after that, I was like, I'm so ashamed. I will pretend this has never happened. But guess what? It went viral on uh, YouTube today. My today? clip. <laughs> today? Oh, yeah, like, well, probably a couple of days ago. But my fans <laughs> sent it to me today. That was like, when I checked it, it was like 800K views at the time. Uh, it's my edits of me getting kicked out. Okay. The point is... Yeah, I is, saw it. It was kind of unremarkable. The point is, <clears throat> this is so disrespectful. Oh. Right? What? You backed me to go on your live stream just to kick me out. Oh, here's the tea. He couldn't handle the heat. I didn't say nothing. Okay, here's what, what happened, right? I went on there. I was wearing a chrome hard jacket. And then Kai was like, oh, is that chrome hard jacket? And then I was like, yes. And then he's like, that's ass. <laughs> yes. I was like, bro, you are literally wearing a chrome hard hat. Like, what are you talking about? So hypocrite. And then they freeze on me. Yeah, so basically <laughs> what... <laughs> Here, let me let me let me translate because okay, sorry. Uh, so yeah. basically she went on and then Aiden Ross is a streamer on Twitch um, and then Kai Sennett, right? He's also uh, I'm less familiar with him. Uh, they do like this e-date thing where they have girls like zoom in or it's on Discord or whatever. So it's all video and they like pretended they were talking to her for like not 10 seconds, 20 seconds. Exactly. And they like <laughs> pretended to freeze while talking to her and then like yeah. booted her from the discord or whatever yeah. so rip and you that rip. it was pretty poor like <laughs> it, it is so boring i was prepared 10 questions to rose aiden rose and i couldn't get to do it oh, i'm man. so pissed what were the what were we gonna wait okay what was the other thing we were gonna talk about though the fuck oh the fuck boys, boys. let's that talk about the fuck boys. That, no. that's important so how many fuck boys have you dealt with Oof. 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 Uh, <laughs> Oof. very very bad ones probably four or five okay yeah uh-huh. did did you know they were fuck boys though before you definitely if boys are so good at their craft they will <laughs> love bombing you first you're falling in love mm-hmm. you're hooked and then they disappeared yeah. or they get with your best friend or stuff uh, like this <gasps> yeah <laughs> they got with your best friend well not like best best friend but like one Pretty of close. the girlfriend <laughs> Wow. Wow. Can't really yeah. stay Good times. <laughs> Good times. Absolutely. Yeah. You learn the lessons. All right. Let me get some of these uh, super chats here. We got Paradise Champ. Thank you for the super chat, man. Appreciate it. Hey, Brian, why do girls like to wear ugly Birkenstocks? A lot of guys <laughs> really don't like it when girls wear ugly looking Birkenstocks. Do you what? guys like Birkenstocks? I'm ugly though. Yes, I don't but like Birkenstocks. But I don't hell. think But guys you. wear Birkenstocks Crocs also. Too. Crocs shades. No. Crocs are hideous. Crocs, no. Birkenstocks, no. Victim, I no. have Crocs. <laughs> Especially like the bright yellow ones with and the you little like Taylor Swift. Justin don't. Bieber like. wears Crocs. So, oh. yeah. I don't I, like ugly. Crocs, but I just like them. They're ugly. No matter. You can be... Hot as hell, you're they're ugly. Yeah, ugly. Haley Bieber wears them. I, I don't, don't like I don't, either, I don't like so. Crocs, but I like the okay, fact that you design on. it. We got <laughs> like, Dave cool. on Jackson with the ten dollar soup chat. I'll never understand why they would hook up with a guy they don't see a future with quickly, but the guy that they see a future with, they'd make weight. If you keep rewarding trash dudes, they'll keep being trash. Wait, Facts. Wait, well wow. the thing is we don't hook up with like good guys immediately. For me is any Friends with benefit has an expiration date. So I'd rather it's not happened than happen and end it in a bad way. Okay. Does that make sense? Sort of, kind of. <laughs> no. <laughs> a little bit, maybe. Okay. Um, let's see here. We have, well, actually, I want to come back to this one. Yeah, you know, because uh, you guys do kind of choose who you sleep with. Definitely. So. Yeah. 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 Do you have anyone to blame but yourself when you get with a fuck boy no, or an no. asshole or a jerk? What about no. they love bombing you? Yeah. They were like the best fault. person. Total 100%. Yeah. What is what does that even mean love bomb? Muck bomb? Love bombing. Love bombing. Muck bomb. Muck bomb is when they <laughs> uh, you start from 0 to 100. And they, they shower you yeah. with compliments, with gifts. They uh, uh, plan future trips together. But Ooh, they're also... I, but I then, should try that. Yeah, you should. <laughs> I should start, start doing that. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, 
once uh, the relationship starts getting serious or your show you start talking about feelings mm-hmm. or set boundaries they become uncomfortable and that's what like but usually bullet. love bombs or come from narcissists mm-hmm. and the fuckboy version and the men who are emotionally detached and they're just there to have like a upper hand mm-hmm. over yeah. you and have control of who you see. Cause I dated this guy literally just for a month. And after five days, he was like, I don't want you to see anybody sleep with anybody. And I'm just like, yeah, it's Wait, okay. after how long? Five dates, five dates. Yeah. He should have done it sooner to be honest. <laughs> Why? I want, I want, here's my thing. This is my no, philosophy. So, wait, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll let you. F- so, okay. Wow. <laughs> I think a girl should be celibate for like a year before she even meets me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like she doesn't even know who I am, but she's like, should be waiting. <laughs> okay. We'll let, we'll let you have that. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm telling you. you How's that working out for you? Are you single you. or are you dating no, someone right now? You're Huh? huh? Sing- I mean, I'm single. I'm single. I'm single. No, he yeah. said that hesitantly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta be. Listen. Should we do Ryan's dating profile yeah. review? Yes. Yes. It's not that. I mean, yeah, it's kind of yes. fun, but uh, I don't. I don't have it. But uh, did you want to finish your your piece? No. Oh, okay. Just, yeah. All right. Uh, Paradise Champ. He sent this twice. Appreciate it, man. I think we already answered it. But but if you send it a third time, I have a special, uh, just for the fun, I'll I'll play a special uh, soundboard Mm -hmm. thing for you. Send send this once more, Paradise (laughs) Champ. Just saying. saying. Paradise (laughs) Champ, we need the hat trick on this uh, super chat. All right, we have Davon Jackson here. Thank you, man. What would be the purpose of asking you a question they know will upset you and that you are likely to lie about? That doesn't mean it doesn't matter to them. What? Uh, Jindo- What's a question that Jindobre? we would lie about? Oh wait, that's Polish. What would be the purpose? Oops. Um, okay. What would be the purpose of asking? I'm not sure if what this is in like rel- relation to, but uh, that doesn't mean it doesn't matter to them. Can you clarify, Davon Jackson? We're a little confused. Uh, we have uh, Davon Jackson. Good bedroom fun is about communication and enthusiasm, not about how, m- how many men you took before me. Facts. It's Facts. all about communication Facts. and fun. Facts. Okay. Um, I'm trying to remember where we were. Wait, Eric, I think you missed a super chat. Eric, come on now. Eric, the 304 one. I don't see it. The 304 one. You missed the... <laughs> come on, Eric. Hold on. It's over now. Whoops. Oh, I saw it. The guy. Yeah, it was like an orange one. No, he sent thirty dollars and four cents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he put three hundred four. <laughs> um, it might not have been starred. Can you scroll up? Keep trying to find it. Hold on, I got something for you while while you're up. Oh. There it is. <laughs> wow, George, George, you should George. be furious right now. Hold on, don't don't pull that one up yet. George, you should be furious right now at Eric because we almost uh. Missed your juicy three o thirty 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 o four three o four. Um, hold on. It actually says who. It be be what the fuck was that shit? Eric, you are now third in line for Gressel from Kelthus Kelthusad. Okay, we're gonna have to talk about this in the guild. Okay, Eric. <laughs> You're you're loot you're benched and you're loot banned for Fired. for a day and you lose like fifty DKP. Okay, uh, we have Davon Jackson here with the ten dollar soup chat. That was about body count. Y'all take too long to read chats. Hey, my bad, man. Um, <laughs> so what would be the man. purpose? So this was the other one. Uh, what would be the purpose of asking you a question they know will upset you? Oh, okay, yeah. So we were talking about oh, like okay, asking the girl yeah. her body count what would be the purpose of asking they about your body matter, count they, yeah. they know it'll upset you okay. and you're likely to lie about it yep exactly so you're, exactly you're gonna lie I'm about saying. your body count yep um guys just on the topic of um would you guys ever date like a guild leader for um what's a guild a leader what? a guild leader world of world of warcraft oh the, like, like the video the game yeah world of warcraft classic like yeah. they make it like 
But they're, they're just no like, leader but in he, the game. Yeah, like, but he plays. I mean, he's the a guild lot. leader, and he he's he's the main tank, and he also has his alt as a hunter, and he has a a rogue, and then like he's this is World of Warcraft classic. Like, he, there's gonna be a fresh. This so this is his like career. All he does is <laughs> or he's is, just just his. No, character it's just in the more game. like no. What well, and it's a hardcore raiding guild, and so they're also going to be farming world bosses. So like Lord Kazak and Azur Azur because they want to get the world boss loot. Like they want to fucking dominate the world bosses. It's going this above is our all heads. Gibberish. Yeah. To me. yeah it's just, <laughs> you're speaking, and they just like phew, phew. Yeah. Like, but so he's the, the top. I know where Warcraft the... is. Okay, but he's the top guy in the game, or like. Well, I mean, the, we. Yeah. There, there will be speed running. They're going to be speed running like Molten Core, AQ40, BWL. You lost me. Ryan, no one is paying attention. No, I'm just going to say no yes and keep on. it pushing. <laughs> next, like, next subject, but, please. But does it, like, do you think it's kind of hot? Like if he has a... No, if he's and, playing games like that, no. <laughs> that's not hot. But no. here's the thing, right? Also, they're like, they're really sweaty about it because the... Uh, Different Everyone sweating. in the guild has to have a level 20 summoning alt, like a warlock summoning alt. Then you're not paying attention to me. You're paying attention to your game. I don't. Yeah, but like if we want to get the world bosses, like if we want to get Lord Kazakh, if we want to get the Emerald Dragons, like the four dragons, the. Oh, oh. Hope. <laughs> if we want to get Azurgos and Lord Kazakh, we're going to need at least like f four summoning alts set up in. Uh, f oh, shit. Ashara and. Uh, what what's the one? Where's Lord Kazakh? Raise your hand if you're lost. I'm lost. I'm lost, but teach me how to play. <laughs> hey, we're all and lost. I'll play next. It. I'm confused. Like also his like if you go on Warcraft logs though his parses are like all 99. percent Still little like he's, and no one is paying. He's attention. he's in the 99th percentile of parses. I get it. He's it's like get, yeah. On he plays Warcraft well. Logs. He's top, Brian, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. you lost me. If you teach me how to oh. play, I'm, I'm I lost. Guess I'll play, but like, yeah. Yeah. And like okay. <laughs> On his mage. Is this my cue to go home to no, let no, my dog like, out? On on his mage, right? He's first in line for Atiesh from Nax. Why are we no I don't I'm, think this is actually about video it. games. <laughs> I'm this confused. Is He's also getting Scarab Lord when when the AQ. He's gonna make fun of us because none of us know what's but, going on. But like on. guys, think about the war effort. Like the war effort for the AQ forty K. Hey Brian, stay on <laughs> topic. He's Alfie, getting like Alfie's lost too. Yeah. He said I'm a guy and I'm lost too. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm just Brian's saying. trolling us. Yeah. I'm not no hardcore. And uh, can I ask a question? Yeah, what's up? Do you guys like toys in bed? Yeah. Never used it. Ooh. Yeah, I, I like, have never I like used to use it. toys. I like to use toys. On you or? On the girl. On the girl. Yeah, Makes, to use what about himself? handcuffs? <laughs> Rope is good. Be. Yeah. Oh. Rope's good. Handcuffs, mm -hmm. yeah. Some bondage, yeah. I'm bondage for it. for sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm for it. <laughs> <laughs> what about like more BDSM stuff like um, the dom sub dynamic? Yes. That, that, yeah. What about you? Yeah, you're the one that said you like extreme way. Not in an extreme so, way. Not in an extreme way. Do, does anyone here have any kinks? Um, I'm not going to say my kinks. Name. Aja. Ugh. Why are you <laughs> coming at me? I told you my kink last time. What, what? <laughs> you did? Again. Wait, what is it? I don't remember. The next. Yeah. The what? The next. Knicks? The next. The next. Ne the next. The next. Oh, like I thought you, you were nice talking about neck. the basketball Ooh, nah. no. team. <laughs> the the next. Yeah. Um, okay, you like to be choked. I mean, that seems pretty. No, I didn't say choked. No, she likes said, necks. If you have a nice, you have neck. A nice neck. Do you like oh, choke him? A, I wouldn't say that's a kink. I'm talking about <laughs> sexual <laughs> kinks. <laughs> okay, then choked, I guess. I, I'm choking for sure. Okay. Yes. I guess we'll mm. go with that. Yeah. All right. Um, what about uh, what? What if he like he got uh, fuck? What's it called? The Drake Fang Talisman. What is what? that? Is this another game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're on sand topic. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. sorry I'm sorry. lost again. Yeah. All right. Let's do a video. Re let's do a video reaction. Um, can you uh, pull up the vote tab? Um, it should be the first one. First. 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 Uh, oh wait, actually don't play that yet, my bad. Um, we'll get to that though. Okay, so question guys, and I've, I've had this occurrence happen with, with women. So let's say there's a guy you just started seeing and you wanna hang out with him. Are you gonna text him straight up? Hey, do you wanna hang out? Or are you gonna beat around the bush 
and text him, hey, and wait for him to suggest to hang out. Have you ever straight done that? It depends on who it is. I've yeah. done both, but straight I've, I've done both. I really want to like hang out. But I you. noticed, I think guys, I don't know, I could be wrong, but I think guys like it if you're like straightforward and being like, hey, I do want to hang out. Because mm-hmm. even with girls I've been seeing for a while, sometimes they'll just text me Beat like, the bush. they'll just be like, hey, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I know you want to hang out, just ask. Yeah. yeah. And it's, and so I'll, but I'll, I'll play the game. I'll be like, I'll say, hey, back. <laughs> they still won't ask. I'll just say, hey, you said, hey, I'll say, hey. And yeah. then they'll be like, how's it going? I'm like, it's going good. How are you? <laughs> and then, yeah. Okay. I've been her. I've been that and person. Then, but and then yeah, here's the, have. here's the crazy thing though. I know she wants to hang out, but she doesn't want to say it. Mm-hmm. So then I'm just like, and then you bring it finally, up. I'll just be like, do you yeah. want to hang out? She's like, yeah. I'm like, why didn't you just ask, ask me that yeah. up front? So can y'all just be straight up? Guys? Can y'all just be... I've had that experience with a lot of women. Um, play the clip because it's kind of into this. <laughs> Just find a hotel. Fight club. <laughs> what? What? A hotel. Yeah. Just ask, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> Three pitches of beer and you still can't ask. What? You called me because you need a place to stay. Oh, hey, hey. No, no, no. Yes, you I, did. I mean, so just ask. Cut the foreplay and just ask. <laughs> Would, would that be a problem? It's a problem for you to ask. Can I stay at your place? Yeah. Okay, he's Thanks. Good to okay, so that is my experience. That's been my experience quite yeah. a few times. And then also I've had times where I actually had this happen to me today. I'm not going to expose the text messages. Mm-hmm. Today. So, well, let me explain. I had a girl. There's this girl I was seeing for like six months. It must have been like... a in this last uh, spring or over the summer or whatever, it ended. She's like hit me up a couple times. And today she messaged me kind of like uh, not in, she messaged me happy Thanksgiving, Brian. (laughs) (laughs) Hope you're having a good Thanksgiving. And I'm like, I know you want to like rekindle because we haven't talked in three months. Yeah. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the happy Thanksgiving, oh, right? Holidays I'm like, bring that out yeah. out of people. Yeah, for but, sure. but, yeah but, uh, but they were messing around, so it's like. But that's what I'm saying. But like, we haven't talked in three months. Like, we had an argument the fucking last time we talked. Uh, and so she's like, <laughs> she happy said, Thanksgiving. I'm <laughs> and I'm like, okay, clear. I'm thinking in my head, clearly you want to rekindle things. Can't you just like. Say that? S- say, hey, how you been? Been thinking about. Like, it was. And then so, so I texted her back. I said rekindle question mark um, <laughs> and, she goes, yes. and then she got like, pissed uh, because she's oh. like what you, why can't you just be a nice person brian and just you know um just say she how are you like doing back and like ask me <laughs> so how my thanksgiving is and i was like well what obviously you're trying to rekindle like can't you just be stop beating around the bush and just stop like, being be around the bush up. just be yeah. like well she got it because i said rekindle question mark <laughs> Brian, I'm gonna take your advice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, anyways, yeah. so so I it was kind of fitting that we play the but the Fight Club clip. So have any of you guys? Maybe you've had that experience with guys where the yeah. guys are fucking being around the bush, and you're like, get to the like get like, to the fucking fuck, point. Just say it. Like, just say it. Literally, mm-hmm. guys have done that to me before. It's just sure. annoying. Like, but well, I've like, also done it to guys. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> we should all listen to Tyler Durden. We should all just cut the foreplay. And just ask. Yep. Not the other kind of foreplay, though. Let's keep that. Yeah, we keep have that. a big super chat here from our boy, George. How do I pronounce your Ontiver- Ont- name? Can you tell me how I should pronounce your last name? Ontiveros. Thank you for the uh, big $50 uh, super chat. Hold on. Let me get something for you. We got uh... a... <laughs> Congrats me, boys. Boom. Ninja loot. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. I like it when the women are start forward. Ah, yes. I love it when they're start forward, too. <laughs> start forward, yes. I love it. Uh, I have yes. no time for mind games. Yeah, it's great. If I, I like women who are straightforward. I think women should be more. Uh, start forward. I think everyone should be more straightforward. Okay. Uh, thank you, man. Really appreciate that big uh, $50 soup chat. I, I think this is the first time, by the way, I've seen you... Uh, Pretty or no, much. wait, you were, you know, I think you were in the stream last show, man. So George, thank you. Good George. Um, by the way, I, I don't know if you guys can see him. I mean, George, you know, 
picture frame picture frame gang think about joining um ladies that he's got a very handsome mug mm. very <laughs> handsome mug um uh, what come on don't mm. straight he's straight smasher <laughs> smasher pass Can't on jordan pass. right Pass. What? Pass. How dare Pass. you? How dare you? Pass. Listen, <laughs> George, Pass. Listen. George, change your profile what? pic to forward. Yeah, not to the Look side. Look at his hair. He's got either. great hair. Mm. He's got the. Okay, he has curls. That's a plus. I Look guess, at that fucking like, jawline. He's a fucking Giga no. Chad. I'm Mer. taken. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he George can steal some ladies away. I my, I plead the fifth. George, want to be talking shit? Oh, I got I got to do it again. Congrats me, boys! Boom! And like, Ninja what is he looking Lee. at? Like, hey. <laughs> like, what do you? I mean, he's he's looking. <laughs> he's looking at the sunset. <laughs> and, would jump George's and he definitely <laughs> face tuned that pick, Brian. Oh my! What he's not that tan. Oh Bro, he's he's a giga chad. Oh my goodness! Okay. Um, <laughs> Why? Said be bucks. Why? <laughs> you were talking shit earlier. Oh, we could talk shit oh, too. Oh wait, now we have wait. Pull up the uh, Birkenstocks. <laughs> Not the Birkenstocks. Again? Hold on. Who hurt you? Literally. Literally. Buy my sandals. <laughs> what did he wait, say? Cute. Hold I on. I, what he said. Why do they're just an ugly shoe? No, I wouldn't. They're like grandma shoes. No, I wouldn't. T strap. Wait, I gotta play this. Thank you, Paradise Champ. Appreciate appreciate you. Uh, we have George Ontiveros with the hundred dollar. <laughs> You're just mad. <laughs> um, you were hating earlier, so yeah. <laughs> pass on all the ones that are hating. Haters gonna hate. What what a legend, George. George That's is a funny. legend. I'm saying goodbye to you. Oh, you have to go. Oh. Yeah. R.I.P. People. Rip. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. We're just getting started. Oh wait. Last thing. Can you just sit for ten seconds yes. here? Okay. The chat's been asking for the panel to answer this. Um, what's your body count? I'm gonna ask everyone their body count, but what's your body count? I'm a virgin. Stop the cat. Girl. She's like, I'm out. Virginia virgin. Yeah, animalis. Поэтому я сейчас пойду домой. Может, найду какого-нибудь мужчину и может что-нибудь туда-сюда обратно. Okay, пока. Girl, you got us all lost up in here. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Bye. If it's high, just say that. <laughs> just You're gonna know the way. Okay, um, let me get this. <laughs> Did we get another super chat or is that? I think that's... <laughs> That's it. Um, okay. So, question. Yes. Answer. Okay. Shit. Sorry. I lost my place on my notes here. Okay. Have you ever rejected a guy but later wished that he kept pursuing you? Or you turned down a guy but later on regretted it? Let's start over here. I think I have. Rip. Okay. So you turned him down, but then you're like, why did I do that? Yeah. Yeah, it did happen before. Okay. Mm -hmm. No. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I don't. No, I don't think so. Yeah, no, for me too. I feel like I always have a reason and I don't regret it. <laughs> okay. Have any of you ever been mad at your boyfriend for cheating on you in the dream? No. He wasn't my boyfriend, but yes. <laughs> So, I mean, no? No. But have you ever had a dream where your boyfriend cheated on you? No. Oh, okay. It's Thank a sign. I Dreams are might signs. have been. I don't know. There was a lot of toxic stuff going on there, so I don't really remember specifics. Probably. Anybody <laughs> on this Probably. side? I, I literally just talked to about <laughs> this with him like two days ago. I had a dream that he cheated on me, but then I didn't get upset with him. I just started crying because I felt bad that I had a dream that he cheated on me. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I, I've had I ha I've had girls girlfriends say that I cheated on them in a dream, and then they were pissed off at me the rest in of the day. Life, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! I wasn't pissed off. I was just like, I'm so sorry for thinking about you this way. My dream that I couldn't control. But I started 
I like started tearing up and I was like, oh, oh, my bad. Messages. I'm a very sensitive person, okay? I feel bad a lot. Okay, so I want to open it up to you guys. We're going to probably do one video reaction and uh, probably wrap shortly. But yeah, so we'll react to one or two videos. But before we do that, I want to open it up to you guys. If you ever either have a final thought, you have a question that you want to ask the rest of the panel, you have a question you want to ask me, you have a question that you want to ask chat, or if there's just something dating related that you really want to get off your chest, maybe something that frustrates you about dating, a bad date experience, whatever it may be. Anything? One little thing. I've noticed, not all guys obviously, but I know most of the guys in my age group, they don't want to be a team. They want me to do everything myself and I'm a very independent person so I'm going to do it regardless, but then they don't, they don't take, then they like kind of hate me for it, but they don't take the initiative to do anything for themselves. So like, here, here's a perfect example. I, I'm like, trying to figure out like my career and things like that and I'm very independent and then my previous boyfriends like they don't want to work or like they're not like trying trying to do the same things and like we're building a life together so like I want to talk about those things and like what their plans are and they don't have any and it's frustrating because like then they look at me like I'm the crazy one because I want to talk about it and I don't know how to like plan things in our relationship if yours let me make all the decisions that's fine but don't resent me for it I feel like they don't they don't take initiative, but then they don't want me to do it. Well, mm. someone has to. So then it becomes like a control thing. And then do you find that out. in your relationships, you're kind of you to use the colloquial saying you wear the pants? Absolutely. In your relationships. <laughs> Absolutely. And do you think that's who, who you are as a person? Do you think it's more the men you're picking? What what do you think? Like, would you prefer to be more like have a guy more in the leadership? position i would like a, i would like him to have a leadership position but not where it's like nothing i say matters like i don't want him to i want to feel like i can rely on him and mm. that not everything's all on me but i don't want it to be um you know just one-sided because that doesn't work because then one of you ends up presenting the other i just want it to be equal and it's like hard to get that for whatever reason and so do you find that with the guys that you've dated, oftentimes, for example, here's a, a simple one. They are, they don't know what they want to have for dinner and they're deferring you for, to, Oh for no, dinner. not things like that. Like I want to build a life and they're worried about what's for dinner. And I'm like, that's not what I'm talking about. Things okay. like that. Like I'm trying to talk about the bigger picture and they're like, oh, we'll talk about this later. We'll talk about this later. But like, we never get there. So then I'm trying to make my own life plans. And they're like, you make all the decisions. And I'm like, well, I asked your opinion. And you said you don't want to deal with that right now because you'd rather go play video games. So, I mean. Well, it sounds like you're looking to build more with someone and, be, and yeah. have a partner. Whereas, I mean, well, you're 20, right? So what mm. are you dating guys your age? The When I have gone on dates, which is very recent for me because... But like you said, I'm only 20 and my only relationships have been like high school relationships. Mm -hmm. um, I, I tend to go just a few years older, not drastic, but definitely by a few years because I feel like I feel like my experiences with guys my age, they're just not thinking about the same things that I am. And I think the only reason I do think about a lot of the things I think about is because like I don't have my parents and things like that. So I've, I've already like learned to take an initiative in my life because like if I fail, it's over. Like that's on me. And there's no one there to like pick me up, right? So How are you? Why are you laughing when she just said she doesn't have parents? No, oh no, 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 Jesus! Oh no! See, this is why you shouldn't read the chat while someone's talking. You just laughed at her because you you don't have parents, correct? You're right. Okay. Yeah. Um. So I feel like I try to think more into things and try to like make sure like I'm doing what I need to do. It's where we break up. Like everything. Like I'm still like fine, but I want to build a life with you. Like that's like my goal because that's all I can really do to get like the family aspect, I guess. So mm. it tends to be like a few years older. They're, they're, they've already started to think about things like that. Well, I can imagine because you, you said you're an orphan, right? Basically. Yeah. I, yeah my mom left me on the street as a teenager and my dad died. So. Wow. So, I mean, it, it's probably led to you having to take on more uh, responsibility and be much more independent at a very young age. And so when I, I would imagine the partners that you're encountering probably they don't they're not on your level in terms of how uh, responsible you are for yourself. 
Yeah, and like no, I like nothing's necessarily wrong with it. It's just like if we're not on the same team, don't pretend like you want that if you're not going to do it at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I don't want to expect something something from you because you were in a better situation that you can't give me when I do know what I need and I can get it from somebody else. What it, what mm-hmm. is it that you want to be mm-hmm. given? Um, I want us to both be working towards a life together instead of it being, you know, I'm the one worried about the life together and it's just, oh, we'll just take it day by day or they promise things that they don't do. Are you talking about financial stuff or just, just like getting married, both having your own careers, like kids stuff, like just normal stuff. And it, and like moving out, like I had my own apartment in Illinois for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. I moved out here, um, in March. I'm from Fresno actually. Um, but even in that situation, um, Fresno. Yeah. I'm sorry. Thank you. (laughs) Um, even in that situation, like, because I was the one dealing with everything, like I, I had a boyfriend that lived with me at one point and I already had my whole life set up. Right. So because I was already taking the initiative, like I couldn't rely on him for, for like any of the decision making. Like if something happened to me, he would not know what to do. Wait, if Mm. something like if anything happened to me, he wouldn't know how to pay anything. Like what what website do I go to or where is this? Or like, he's just in his own little world. You guys were living together. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah, um, were you paying the bills or how was that working? It was both. It was originally my apartment beforehand. Okay. So he moved, he moved in. Okay. Yeah. But so it's you're just like, like, I want someone to want to work hard with me and create a life together. And it mm-hmm. seems like everything that's brought into the relationship is usually things that I'm working for. Like mm-hmm. I talk about like marriage and stuff. I talk about, um, like, Oh, do you want to move here instead? Or like things like that. And it's like, they don't, they don't really want to take the initiative to do it or talk about it. And then I express the things that I want or things I am thinking about. And they look at me like I'm crazy. That's because like, they don't know what they want. So, you, yeah. so you want to get married, mm-hmm. correct? Yeah. Kids? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, and you're, how, okay, how soon into the relationship are you bringing the, these things up? Because well, it's going to scare, yeah, probably scare yeah. guys away if you're, you start talking. I mean, maybe it shouldn't, but for most modern men, those sorts of long-term planning and conversations are probably going to scare a lot of guys away. Yeah, I, I don't feel like it, it really scared my previous relationships. They act like they want to go with it. And then when it comes time to actually talk about things or like what our next steps are to like get there, even if it's like far in the future, just like we both have to have like good careers. We both have to know where we want to live, like be stable. You both have to have good careers. What, what if you work might... in some type of way? You can't just be like, oh, I don't know what I want to do. But, and I'm not going to aspire to figure out what I want. But to what do. if you met a guy who he was making enough money to support you and you could just stay at home? I wouldn't want to do that. You I wouldn't like want working. to do that? Like, I don't like, like, retail working and stuff but, like that. But, like, I want to be independent. But what if he was building his thing and he, his earning potential was, I mean, I, I don't know what your earning potential is, but his earning potential uh, dwarfed yours and he said, hey, I'm going to support us, but I want you to support my mission. By me not working? Is that what you mean? Well, you would you would be basically helping him with his business, for example, or making yourself useful to him. I would help as much as I can, but I'd never give up a career ever because okay. um, even even if he paid everything, supported you. Yeah, everything. while I like appreciate the fact that he does want to take a step of leadership in that role, it makes me more comfortable. Just even me alone as a person to know that I can take care of myself. Um, because of my family history and because like I watched like divorce and things happen. And it's like nothing against stay at home moms. Like you can be a stay at home mom, but I've watched like they don't want to really leave the relationship because they can't take care of themselves or, you know, things like that. And I never want to be trapped in something like that. Just curious on the marriage thing. Why, why do you want to get married? I was actually engaged in my last relationship. So like it, it was, but I was, we were engaged for like a while and then I was the only one really bringing up like when, where, and how. And that was like a year after the fact. I just started bringing it up. Wow. Like I was like straight chilling the whole time with not bringing anything up and just enjoying the whole engagement thing. Mm-hmm. And then it became, oh, well this, oh, well that, or we'll think about that later. Or like, I'm like, well, why would you, why would you propose to me if you don't want to talk about it? And I waited a whole year yeah. before I even started bringing up like details. Mm-hmm. So it was things like that. I felt misled. And other things like derailed the relationship. It wasn't that, but that was like, I got that over and over again in different circumstances. Sure. I think we're on the same page or not. Just curious, who here wants to get married at some point? Show of hands, everyone. Not Brian. <laughs> Guys, don't get married. Don't get married. It's a bad move. 
let me let me ask you guys this what what does a woman bring to a marriage that sorry i'm fucking this up what can I, what does a guy get from a marriage that he doesn't get from a girlfriend a motive like i feel like it's a, just kids? a permanent commitment yeah permanent commitment but people even cheat though all the time 50, 50 yeah i just mean like you both are it's clear you're both agreeing on that doesn't mean you're both going to stick to what you say obviously because like there's divorce and infidelity infidelity and stuff mm-hmm. but it gives a basis of we both want the same thing and it's very clear about it because we both agreed to get married and we both know what the contracts are for marriage so then it's like if you step away from that like that's obviously wrong but i mean i feel like most but, but what is the incentive for for men to get married in today's day and age What's the incentive for men? I, I guess I would have to ask a man because it's anybody? like it could go the other way too. Is Davon Jackson still in the chat? Um, me and Davon were actually talking about this over Instagram DMs. <laughs> so for men really, besides their own, se- their own for spiritual reasons, for religious reasons, um, there's really no benefit to get married. There's really not. 50, okay, 50% of marriages end in divorce. 80% of divorces are initiated by women. 90% of child support, sorry, 90% of child support payments go from men to women. 97% of alimony payments go from men to women. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So for men, the way the marriage laws are now in the West, there's no reason for men to get married. And a lot of men are waking up to this and we just, we don't want to get married. But you would have like a kid with someone and be together with you, them for you, years with yeah, the paper. You, you, could ha- you could still have a life partner. You could no, still yeah, have definitely. children. Yeah. I, I mean, there's the other risks there too. But the, like what everybody what wants. What everyone wants. Yeah. The paper. Yeah. Why? I also well, know, like, I can't so, say why. Cause, but. Well, you want it because if he's the breadwinner, at when you inevitably, well, I shouldn't say inevitably, but if you get divorced and he's the breadwinner, free money. What yeah. if you? What if neither I mean, of you's just one breadwinner? What if you both work? Because like, I want to still work and I would still want to get married. I don't want to just take someone's money. I get a prenup. Prenups. If you're making money like that. Prenups get thrown out all the time by judges and courts. Even, even if you have a prenup, it just takes one person to say, "Oh, I was." You need to do like a lot of things to make sure to that the make prenup. Yourself, you're safe. Yeah, but even then, it can still be contested. Cause like I know I have a friend and not anymore, but her parents, her stepmom and dad, they got married, and as soon as it hit ten years, she left, and she got a lot of money out of him. That is crazy. Cause after ten years, then you're obligated to be financially responsible for your spouse. Yeah. Or something like that. It's true. I guess you just have to find someone who wants the same. Thing, yeah. it? But you can find this like you can find that and then like it doesn't like ugh, I have a perfect example but I can't find it. Perfect example. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just like look, so many divorces end in marriage. Sorry. So many divorces yep. end in marriage. <laughs> no, sorry. So many marriages end in divorce. Like think about the vows that you say till death do us part. How many people say that and then that's just not so it's just like people's words mean nothing. People are so non-committal in today's day and age. And also, why do you, you don't need the government involved in your relationship. Mm-hmm. Even if you both are equal earners, you still got to get lawyers involved. You're both going to lose money at that point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're going to go through. I, I mean, my advice to both men and women is for th- three days, go to the court, go to your local courthouse Go to the family court, go sit in. Oh, we got Davon Jackson here. Go sit in on divorce proceedings. Sit in on custody dispute proceedings. And then think again whether you want to have get married. Because it is fucking depressing. Oh, it is. I was a child of her, the result can, of those things. Yeah, it's like I, I think marriage outside of people who are religious it's an antiquated thing i don't i don't see the purpose of it so uh can you pull that or oh, here i got it i also just see people like being really quick with it and being like oh i'm so Impulsive, in love yeah. and like okay i want to prove that i'm so in love with you so like let's get married and then mm. 
And uh, you know what? Here's <laughs> I've heard this saying before. A lot of women, oh, fuck, I'm gonna butcher it. A lot of women want a wedding. They don't want to be wives. Mm. You want that special 100%. day, but but you don't want what comes with it. Yeah. Hold on, let me read Or this. even the guys too. They're willing to give you that wedding, but they're not. Does anyone know what the the saying is with that? I'm trying to, I kind of might have butchered it. Yo, Davon Jackson, thank you for the $20 super chat. I can promise to stay with you without having to bet half my worth that you feel the same. Um, anyways, I kind of, uh, yeah, well, that, that's the other thing is like a lot of guys get uh, absolutely just whipped, destroyed. <laughs> They get destroyed in court. Like it's just they half their shit, half their money. They're probably going to lose custody of the children. They're not going to have 50, 50. They're not going to have shared custody. Then they're, then they're going to start having to pay child support. And it's just like, as a guy, it's just like, we don't want to be fucking workhorses to pay for. So it's, it's not an appealing thing. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Word. Um, yeah. You can pull it up, Eric. A lot of women want to be want to be married, but yeah. don't want to be wives. So, yeah. mm -hmm. word. Make Honestly, sure. there's got there's gonna have to be a reworking of marriage laws. Yeah. Honestly, though, probably if like guys just start opting out, if men start really opting out of marriage, People won't they're, want it. <laughs> they're probably the yeah. governments are gonna fucking pass bullshit thing. Eric, can you try to find that article from Canada about the guy who is with his girlfriend? not even married and he had to pay her his girlfriend his ex-girlfriend uh like forty thousand dollars a year or some or for a month or some oh, bullshit Jesus. yeah fucking canada failed failed state um so okay um final thought or question something dating related that you want to get off your chest um i have no idea anything something that just frustrates you about dating Toxic relationships. Toxic relationships. What uh, about? Emotional abuse and okay. physical abuse. Oh, that's so okay. Like, well, I think we can all agree here. That's terrible. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Um, I just want to know why guys keep you around if they don't want anything. Period. For real. Keep you around if they like, don't. Just they don't want For sex. No, no. For sex. Just that. Yeah. Like, keep, okay. What do you mean keep you around? <laughs> like, they hit you up. Like, they First, um, blow they, up your phone. Like... Do you, is that happening to you? It was. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, for sex, but you said that's well, not they it. They don't live here. Huh? They don't live here, so I'm not giving him nothing. Guys are, hold on, guys are texting you just to text you? No, it was the toxic guy I told you about. He was just blowing, he's just blowing up my phone. You're what? The toxic guy what? I told you about last time. Do we, mutual, do I know him? No, no, not that one. Not that guy. <laughs> no, no, not that one. <laughs> okay. Um, a dude is just, what do you mean keeps you around though? He's just texting you? Yeah, like if you don't want anything. like. So he doesn't want to sleep with you, but he's just texting you? Oh, I'm sure he does. I mean, we already have, but he doesn't live here anymore and I don't live here anymore. So it's like. Oh, well then. Because he, he wants me. you back. Well, he probably wants more than if he's just. Yeah. He's trying to like keep in touch or whatever. He's down. He's fucking down bad, though. Yeah, um, down bad. <laughs> Eric, what? Can were you able to pull it up? Uh, yeah. Oh, perfect. Um, can you go F eleven? Uh, scroll up just a tad. Oh, this is like a thread that I'm. I, I mean, I know there was a news article on it, but man ordered to pay his ex girlfriend fifty thousand dollars per month in Canada. Toronto, wealthy businessman will have to pay more than $50,000 a month in spousal support for 10 years Jeez. to a woman with whom he had a long-term romantic relationship, even though they kept separate homes and had no children together. Fucking Canada, right? Failed society. Um, so an unmarried couple are considered common law spouses if they have cohabitated. But apparently it's saying that they didn't cohabitated. By the way, guys, that's another reminder. Um, in some states here in the U.S., there's this thing called a common law marriage. That's so even, yeah, even if you haven't done the ceremony or whatever, if you've been living with someone for long enough, if it, 
depends on the period of time. If you've been living with your girlfriend for long enough, they're going to treat that like a marriage and you could be on the hook for spousal support, even if you're not married. So guys, check that, check out the laws in your state. How about green card? Do I get a green card too? Green card? How long have you been in the U.S.? Only four years. So four I need years. green cards. <laughs> okay, guys, her DMs are open if you're she willing to be card. her sponsor. She needs a green card, guys. She needs a green card. Um, Lily, what, anything dating related you want to get off your chest? Any final thoughts? Any questions? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a stalker. There's got to be something that, that bothers you about dating when you were dating or dealing with guys. Anything. Uh... <laughs> no i don't have anything okay what about you something dating related you want to get off your not chest not really but i actually have a story to back up what you're saying about paying the child support this is a story happening in china in shanghai actually one of the richest guy called his english name is Qin. chinese name is Qing Fen. he made a girl got pregnant and that uh, that girl was trying to scan his money and he already paid that girl a couple millions usd already and that girl carried a baby and escaped to america give birth to the babies carry his son go back to him as like this is your son i didn't actually abortion it i give birth to him and the scam him again was, I believe, is like a hundred million USD. That was in the news in China. Wow. Wow. Jeez. I love that. God. <laughs> Damn. Gotta, gotta respect the, the hustle, right? <laughs> I'm joking. Do you, do you guys know that like the ten richest women in the world all came into their <laughs> all came into their wealth through divorce? Really? The richest women in the world not through starting their own business yeah. divorce yeah hmm. Hmm. They don't hmm. even get married. <laughs> so i mean <laughs> you know it's kind of <laughs> wait question um i want to go around the table on this what's your type and we'll start here do my type is terrible because i love funny dudes funny dudes is the worst because usually they can pull jokes and the, and the pussy <laughs> They pull the jokes and they pull the... You're I'm telling you, if jokes. you're funny enough, you don't even need to be cute. You don't need to be rich. Girl just went all over you. Mm -hmm. Girls nowadays, like, they're not, like, that submissive anymore. They go for the guys they like. The humor, like, the hilarious guys always the most popular. Mm -hmm. Why Pete Davidson pulls? Because he's funny. I'm so he's cute. <laughs> yeah. He's cute. But I love funny guys. <laughs> okay. But what what about some other traits, like... Because we had we had a, a Chinese girl on, uh, or was she? She was like, uh, no, she was Chinese, and she said that she only dates Asian guys. Like, do you have like any preferences there? I've dated mix like Asian and black. I've never dated white. I don't. I think Wait. white guys don't find me attractive, and what? nothing ever happened. <laughs> Wait, so you've okay? So you've dated Chinese. Uh, Asian Asian half Asian yeah half Asian too half white half Asian uh, Latino and Chinese okay you yeah. said you've dated black guys Ooh. yeah <laughs> you've ne have you ever dated a white guy no ever no something is like I don't know there's no chemistry <laughs> I don't know I, I need to try more yes. I guess <laughs> wait have you ever hooked up with a white guy rare is is Turkish con considered as white no right Middle um <laughs> Okay, then it's no. I pro I don't chat. Is if you're Turkish, is that? No, remember you we? had that one girl, and she said she was Middle Eastern. Yeah, she was from Turkey. Yeah, okay. I, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Turkey um, Middle Eastern. Wait, so you've never wait? So okay, but have you hooked up with a white guy? No. Just the Turkish. You were considering the Turkish guy, maybe. Yeah. Never hooked up with a white guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Question: What if he spoke fluent Mandarin? That's even Would that, be hot? that was a little turned off because usually <laughs> this kind of guys is yellow fevers. Yellow fever. Mm. They want to move to China just to get Asian girl. There's a yeah. lot of this kind okay, of guys in China. On. Cantonese. What if he spoke fluent Cantonese? Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, okay. Uh, Lily, what's your 
type. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, did you or did you want to add? Funny do and also working on he like he has his own thing going on. Either you know working or has his own business. Just something is going on. So okay. he's busy. Don't bother me. You you want a guy who's only available like once every two weeks, once every fortnight. Not like every two weeks, but. The maximum I can do is I can meet him twice or the maximum three times a week. Because some guys want to live together. They want to move in. I've never lived with together with a guy. I can't do it. Well, yeah, you told us earlier that you want them to just come over to your house. Never see him. <laughs> that leave. was the first category. <laughs> don't get it okay, twisted. Okay. Ooh, don't get, I like that. Don't get it twisted. Okay. Lily, what about you? What's um, your type? I definitely prefer Asian guys. Is your current boyfriend Asian? Yes. Vietnamese. He's Chinese and Cambodian. Okay. Ooh, what What are you? Um, I'm Vietnamese and Chinese. Okay. So um, have you ever dated a white guy? No. Only dated Asian guys, including your stalker ex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I haven't really dated Latina them guy. Any. Latina. Latina. No. Latino. Latino. <laughs> Latino guy. No. Black guy. No. White guy. No. Oh wow. Okay. I haven't really dated that many people. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I do find, like, other races attractive. I just haven't, like, dated them. Well, I haven't really You haven't dated, dated much. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah, you haven't dated much, so. Um, yeah, that's, yeah. Okay. Even What if he could speak Vietnamese? <laughs> A white guy speaking Vietnamese. That's rare. <laughs> Dear God, no. No. Sorry. You speak, so do you speak I, Vietnamese? I, I do speak Vietnamese. Are you Vietnamese? fluent? <laughs> I'm not fluent. Can, um, can you speak a little Vietnamese for the chat? I, I don't know what to say. Uh, say, uh, me love you long time. <laughs> that was questionable. That was questionable. That was questionable. Canceled. Yeah. Yeah. That was straight yeah. up. <laughs> What's After that movie, Full Metal Jacket? I don't know. Honestly, after that, I don't she doesn't want to be Vietnamese anymore. <laughs> no. After you asking me to say just, just say, hi, my name is Lily, and okay. I really like SpongeBob. <laughs> SquarePants, the, the animated show. Xin chào, ki tan ki name Lily. Gong tit kia, SpongeBob. Nice. Okay, cool. What about you? What's your type? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like black guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, you... The mixed guys, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I see you. I see you. Um, Brian already knows what's up. I, what's that? Well, I, I know a certain person. Um, <laughs> I just, I know somebody. Um, We're not going to talk about it. Yeah. What about you? What's Is that your, your only type? What's your type? Mixed in black. Okay. Mine is I like Latinos with, um, I don't really like white guys. Damn. Um, yeah, it's a no. Damn. I, I, <laughs> like, I mean, you could be mixed. R.I.P. Brian. I mean, some white guys are attractive, exactly. but like, I don't think I'd ever date a white guy. No, yeah. Like, I've seen attractive white guys, but I'm just like, mm. no. You just smash a white guy, but not date a white guy? I don't even know if I've smashed a white guy. <laughs> oh, you guy. wouldn't even sleep with a white guy. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe yeah. my but like features. I like muscly guys, but then I also am on the opposite side that like you can be like scrawny big. and oh. you can be scrawny and like I still think you're really hot. But I really like um, Mexican, Latino, or light skin. What about Native American? Yeah, the. Uh, I've never met an American. What? what? It's I'm very. How picky dare you? Because like Native Americans, you have to like okay. Some are cute, but you have to find the right ones because a lot of the guys in Native American culture, they like to have long hair, which isn't a bad thing. Like some guys are yeah. hot to have long hair, but other guys just can't it's no. can't pull it off. But yeah, you have to have to be Mexican, beefy, or I guess scrawny. <laughs> <Beefy. laughs> no, not, not beefy, scrawny, man. but like my sneaky link isn't beefy, but I think he's super fucking hot. So yeah. But he's Mexican. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? I really don't have a type because I can't correspond any similar things between any of my relationships or people that I've gone on dates with. They're all very different. So I don't. Mm -hmm. I, I really don't think I have one. Well, since the girls have brought up the, the race thing, do you have a preference there? No. White guys, black guys. I don't really have a preference. Blonde hair, brunettes. I don't know. I really don't. Your, your <laughs> last two exes, were they white guys? Mm -mm. Um, Black on, eyes? 
One was Latino and one was half black, half white. Okay. Perfect. All right. Yeah. There you have it. <laughs> there you have it. All right. Let's watch a, uh, a video here. Um, you said you don't like Andrew Tate, so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity for us oh to my watch gosh. Uh, an Andrew Tate video. Um, oh, gosh. All right. Let's do... Um, hold on. Just stay there for a sec. Let's do... Uh, mm, 18 versus 26. Well, the reason 18 and 19 year olds are more attractive than 25 year olds is because they've been through less dick. I'll say this right <laughs> here on the fucking internet. I don't give a shit. People will sit there and go, oh, you can't say that. Yes, I can. A 19 year old is more attractive than a 26 year old woman. And I'll tell you why. Because that 26 year old has talked to more guys, been to the club more times, been more places, been fucked and dumped more times, more arguments, more heartbreak, more bullshit, more mess for me to clean up. Whereas a 19 year old might have had one guy from high school just broke up, she's fresh, and I can fucking put my imprint on her and make her a good person, and without her having to go through all that detriment to learn about life. So what's your key age range? 19 to... It's not, it's not just about the age range. Just the it's example. A, no, I know, but what's your, what's, your, what's your preference? I mean, hot girls are hot girls, yeah. right? I don't know, hot girls are hot girls. But my point is that older women, the reason they're less attractive to men, even if men don't instinctually understand it, is because they've been through a whole bunch more shit. And, and we're not interested in dealing with someone else's problems. If you get with a girl who's 26, 27, she's going to be sitting there going, I know men like you. I've seen what men like you do. You ain't going out. Yeah, I, don't I, don't like, like, I don't like that. I ain't, yeah, I don't I ain't yeah, yeah. dealing. So you're telling me, wait, wait, you're telling me you were innocent and sweet for this dude. You were nice to him. He fucked you and messed you up. And now I deal with the attitude problem you've developed because he got your pussy? I didn't even want him to fuck you in the first place. You should have been a virgin when you met me. Now I'm dealing with your shit? Get fucked. Good goodbye. Okay. Wow. I'm fucking dead. The shit he says makes me laugh. Your guys' reaction to that clip. Your reaction. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like it feeds into the double standard thing, so that's why I'm laughing. It just sounds ridiculous, and that's like the, yeah. Do you think the, do you think the double standard is justified? No, because I could say the same thing about a guy. I'd be like, he slept with all these girls. Now I'm gonna think about how he slept with all those girls while he's fucking me. But I'm not gonna go right. there because like that's, he didn't know me. He didn't cheat on me. <laughs> I can't be mad. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know. I feel like that's not really fair. Your reaction? First off, his voice is very annoying. <laughs> Second off, like, what? What if the 19-year-olds ran through compared to the 26-year-old? That that is that a good is that is a good point like, because there could be a 26 year old that like has been it's like a virgin. Yeah, and then the 19-year-olds out here getting drunk, pumped and dumped or, or whatever y'all like, <laughs> call it. I mean that that is a good point, and I definitely think there is something to be said with. People Age, who are like, younger now, I feel like, are definitely racking up a much higher body count definitely. than back 10 years ago, back For 15 sure. years ago, back yeah. 20 years ago. Hookup culture is a much bigger thing. Dating apps, much bigger thing. So, yeah, I mean, it is a bit of a somewhat, to some degree, an antiquated concept that just because they're younger, they're going to have a lower body count. Yeah. But I think more so the point he's making is a girl at 19 her at 19 versus that same girl at 29 she's gonna have a lower body count at 19 than at 29 preferably yeah or pref well i mean it you can only go up in body count so i mean unless yeah. she so you're more it's more likely that someone who's younger has a low body That's count yeah. yeah so yeah but nowadays, so your does. your reaction i mean i get what he's coming from from the guy's perspective um, but I agree with Jasmine. Definitely, there's a lot of younger girls who are racking it up. Oh yeah, we, we know a few. Yeah, there's there's a few that twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, hundred plus body counts. Yikes. Yes, yikes. Lily, your thoughts? I'm not gonna lie. I was staring at his bald head the whole time. <laughs> time but like, I was what? I was listening to it and like. The whole idea of like nowadays, there's a really big idea of hookup culture compared to in the past. So a lot of girls that are younger definitely do have more like a higher body count. Like I know this girl, she's was like when I talked to her, she was like 20. She has a body count of over a thousand. Oh. Wait, what? A thousand? Yeah. What? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Run that back. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo. S 
Send the asteroid. Bro, <laughs> fucking what? send the asteroid. A, a thousand body count yeah. at twenty. Oh when you know was she girl? was she a sex worker? Porn? She honestly, or just I crazy? I didn't ask about that. I I didn't want to know. That's what you she. Asked. But she has a body count of over a thousand. She, she told with, you that. Yeah, well, she yes. she slept with her entire school and some teachers, but we're not going to talk about the that. Fuck? Wait, here. <laughs> <Not teachers. laughs> hey, you're you're local, right, Santa Barbara? Yeah, but oh, but my. not here. Oh, this was not in she, Santa Barbara. You met her. Okay, you met her somewhere else. Okay, like, hey, actually, yeah, question, I was like, who? question for you guys, and I'll I'll let you get, give your take on this. So, what is the highest body count that you've heard like a girl admit to you, like tell you, like she? Uh, a girl said, this is my body count. What's the highest a girl's a ever thousand. told you? My sophomore year of high school, a girl said she's already fucked 100 guys. You're, sorry, oh, repeat that. Oh, well, no, shit. Sophomore year of high school. S- sophomore year of high school. She had already fucked 100 guys. Because I was like, oh, I've already had sex with two people. Like, that makes me, like, really insecure. What? And she was like, "What's going on?" no, nah, like, mine's at 100. And I was like. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. I mean, look. Um, oh, it's fine. It's not big. In high um, school? Wait, hold on. How many... In her, <laughs> repeat it just one more time. My sophomore year of high school. How old are you? Sophomore year, like, like 15. 15, 16 max, a hundred guys. Send the asteroid. That is yeah. crazy. <laughs> okay, what about you? I I've never asked, so I've oh, never really had this conversation. You've never okay. You've never talked about it. Um, um, I think the highest I've heard was probably like seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. In high school. No, no, just any girl you know. Oh, yeah, 17. That's 17 still the highest? Yeah. Oh, that's, I mean, that's not that bad. What about you? <laughs> it's a little bad. <laughs> I'll say 20 something because I don't have a lot of like um, female friends. W- well, yeah, that's true too. <laughs> that's why I'm here on Thanksgiving. <laughs> but also, like, yeah, I don't have really very active girlfriends like mm-hmm. that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and did you? Oh, Lily, Both. go ahead. I wasn't gonna say anything. Oh, you kind of like. I was readjusting. Got up on the mic, so um, a thousand really? Can she come on the podcast? That's Can you like crazy. link it up? I don't know about that, Chief. What? Why not? Chief. <laughs> Why well, I don't not talk to her anymore? Why not, boss? That is well. Why not sport? Well, I don't work for you, so I can't call you boss. <laughs> you can call him sir. Um, wait, so okay. But Good sir. Does she live in Santa Barbara? No, she lives in LA. No, in LA. Can you ask her if she's down to come on I the podcast? I don't talk to her anymore. Just send her a little DM. Well, just me and her got in an in. argument, so we're on a bad like, terms. Here, t- t- what, what if, what if you just send just her send information IG, to him? Yeah, send me her IG and I'll send her the, the, in, the request. The I'll yeah. slide the DM. I won't mention your name. <laughs> But she won't yeah. even know. Well, she's probably gonna watch this. She's, she's not like, gonna, well, there, she's not there gonna watch is. a this four-hour at the podcast. End. Yeah, we're at the end. She's yeah. not gonna watch she's it unless she skips to the very last. And what, like, what's she gonna minutes. do? She gonna she gonna she try to like expose my body give count? you her herpes like, that she probably has? What's she gonna do? Uh, <laughs> what's she gonna do? God, I hope not. <laughs> what's she gonna do? <laughs> that. I, and you said you could like fuck her up, so it's all good. No, I can't fight. I have a taser, but that's it. Boom! You're gonna fucking electrify that bitch. <laughs> okay, well, um, <laughs> moving um, on. Do you want to give your reaction to the video, the tape video? I think besides body count, also girls of nine, like eighteen years old girls, are easier to manipulate by Andrew Tate. That's kind of also the point what he want to make. Trying to get at, yeah. yeah. Easier to manipulate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait, can I ask a question? Go ahead. How would she know that she has plus a thousand? Like, I, wouldn't you lose count? Maybe she, she might, has a booklet. Some of these people be having books and shit. Oh, no. Journals. <laughs> I smashed this person on this day. This Check. was the signs. <laughs> That's too much. Yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. Or, or, though, could his preference be that he prefers younger women for the, some of the reasons he outlined? Lower body count, more pleasant, less relationship baggage, more physically attractive, et cetera, et cetera. Yes. Well, yeah. When guys doing it is normal. When girls doing it is cougar. So that's double standard. Actually, I would say that men men who are interested or who want to date younger women are shamed much more for it than women who want to date younger younger men. 
like there's there's a term too. for it cougar like yeah. you said yeah I, still, I think that's weird yeah. cougars i don't think yeah. cougars are weird no, i think that's i think, weird. I think uh, why would a grown-ass woman want a little boy like they're not mentally, well i think like, i think you can art- there yet. i see what you're saying yeah. i think you can definitely articulate better reasons for why some uh, an, an older man would want to date a younger woman mm-hmm. you can articulate some very good reasons why it's a bit more of a, a stumper as to why an older, older woman, woman yeah. would want to date a younger guy because mm-hmm. typically women are attracted tend to be a bit more attracted to men who are a bit older than them just because they're a bit more mature mm-hmm. maybe they're a bit more secure financially mm-hmm. you know so more experienced so yeah. Yeah. yeah should okay last question should body count matter yes and no let's start here go ahead no, but if you have a crazy number like a thousand, then that's a red flag. That but is, generally, yeah, generally like there. normal people, yeah. I don't, I don't think so. Well, what would you? Consider let's not high? use an extreme, but like let's say it's plausible that a girl at twenty-one could have like a thirty or forty body count. That's not insanely high, but, but it's that's high. a lot of guys yeah, are going to say high. that's. But you high. also have to think about when did she start having sex? That's true. But if you're like, like fourteen, that's still kind of like that's young. Also, that's probably also a bit of a red flag, a little bit, yeah. but. On that note, when did you lose your virginity? When I was 15 with the boyfriend I had for a year. What about you? I was 16 when I was my boyfriend of four years. Actually, maybe I was 16. I was 18. 17. 20. Damn, that I was, was late accident. Late bloomer. A- Damn. Accident? Like you fell on his <laughs> finger? <laughs> no, because... You tripped? You know, <laughs> we could do something, but then I was like, okay, cannot anal? poke it through. No, I know. It's just like kind of, you know, do something like make out and stuff i was like please do not poke it through because my mom said i cannot break my virginities <laughs> before marriage but that was when i was 20 years old and poke a little bit too deep and so i saw that like, <laughs> <laughs> wait so you were like you could poke it in a little bit but not all the way yeah wait, yeah hold like, wait, if hold you hold whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> wait 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 yeah 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 well wait so you're you're saying just a tip just for a second <laughs> yes. Just the tip. Yes. That's so And counts. then it was that, way more than the tip. Yeah, that counts. It counts. Yeah, it counts. Well, so it doesn't matter like if 19. it's like this much or the whole the thing. The whole thing it counts. Yeah. Okay, that's like 19 then. <laughs> I didn't even go to cinema before college. It happens in the cinema, huh? No, no, no. <laughs> like just like no entertainment at all. I would just study because I was in China the entire oh, time. Oh, so you would, enter- so you didn't know anything you would entertain sex? yourself by just the tip just for a second just to see how it feels yes like sex (laughs) experiments sexual experiments can you tell us about your sexual experiments (laughs) no i'm curious did you have a lab coat (laughs) what did you wear a lab coat? No, it, no, no lab coat. But oh. it's just, you know, young boys and young girls make out in a hotel room so in a hotel room doing everything but not sexual intercourse not annual so it accidentally happened. Yes, I was sad for now, a bit. Now, here's the question, though. So you said just the tip, right? Yeah. Were you on top or was he on top? Or were you laying down? Well, I oh, think it's like missionary. A... Missionary. Yeah. Okay. So, so he, he on the accidentally... This is kind of almost he just fell in sounding like an assault or some shit. But okay. He <laughs> accidentally... But you were down for just the tip. Yeah. But you didn't want the strokes. <laughs> and then question though did how many like was it went all the way in right? not like all the way it was like halfway Half. but it still it was, was a little too Brian, deep no strokes and then like but did did you stop after that or did you you just like i guess we might as well continue no Wait, so did I he put it in and just it sat there or like did he move like, it, like a sexual like, intercourse but not all the way it's like halfway <laughs> are you guys like mormons like did you soak do you know what soaking Almost, is? Almost, because I'm put- Chinese. Chinese is very like... But do you know what soaking is? Okay, can you explain? No. He just puts it in there. So like it Mormons... Just there. <laughs> like, the, no movement, nothing. So, so the Mormon way to get around not having sex before marriage, which is like... What? The, the guy will... The girl will be on top. I guess you can do it in any position. The girl yeah. will be on top. The guy will put it in and... Just you just sit there. They, there's no thrusting allowed. Nope. But he can just... He can be inside you. I guess it's called they soaking, just, they right? Just chill. That sounds like a good it's time. Not even like sex. The only for other, what reason? 
Like, Wait, is that's it, it. Like a ceremony? No, that, no that's just. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ceremony. They wear little hats, and it's just. Um, no, I don't. Um, have you seen that YouTube video about the two girls saying the other way, like, because they can't have sex because they're Mormon? So they're like t- singing about putting it in their butt. No. They're like, use the <laughs> other <laughs> door. <laughs> we have Davon Jackson here with the $10 soup chat. This is in relation to the Tate thing. I hate when they talk about manipulation. What exactly is he manipulating her to do? Be a good girlfriend, potential mother to his children. Do you want to respond to that? I was like, what were we even talking about? about? Manipulate them to think he has multiple girlfriends at the same time is okay. Because he's giving them money and like, like something. (laughs) That that makes sense. Because Tate has so many girlfriends. Well, he did convert to Islam, which allows for four wives, I think, is it? They be having up to like 10. (laughs) They can? Uh, Yeah, I think think so. Uh Oh, wow. Oh, and also he manipulated all of his girlfriends to do OnlyFans. He and he take eighty percent of the money. Remember? I think it was a hundred percent. Oh yeah, something like that. Remember a hundred percent? That's, That's the manipulation right there. Does anyone here have OnlyFans? No. No. I am subscribed I to used a person. To have one. Is for it still up? No, it was for a month when I was eighteen, and there wasn't nudity on it. I just oh, it was like tasteful lingerie. <laughs> it was like, yeah, it was like lingerie stuff. It was like okay. no, like. Like a bathing suit, oh, like okay. basically. I'm subscribed to Anna Paul what? on OnlyFans. You, oh, you I'm she's subscri- fun. She's so fine. I Ooh. love her. All right, last question yeah. here. Related, well, it's it's the part two of the last, <laughs> yeah, last question. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone said body count should not matter. Did everyone get an opportunity? Yes and, no. yes and no. You got, what about body count? Finish? Should body count matter? Oh, no. Body count should not matter. Is it, here's, yeah, a, here's a different question. To an extent. <laughs> Is it wrong for a guy to care about a woman's body count? Um, no. 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 I feel like it creates a bunch of problems. Yeah. Then I feel like he shouldn't he should just leave and not be with her if he's gonna bring it up all the time. But Well, yeah, guys, we'd probably That's why they bring it up. We'd like so to know, know ahead of time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I feel like you also can't judge someone based just off of that. Okay, what about you? Yeah. So I always think I don't care about body count until recently. A guy actually I kind of like, and I was like, oh, what's your body count? I shouldn't ask. And he's like, 63. I was like, and then he asked, what's your body count? I was like, three. I tell everyone three because that's out of like almost respect for him to have the audacity to say to my face that actually accurate body count, I think is, is disrespect. For you wanted him to lie, though? He has 63, or he said you have 63? No, he said he has 63. Oh, shit. And yeah. wait, you said your body count is three? Yeah. <laughs> so always. Always? Yes. Ho- she's wait, hold on. She said higher. she's not going on any... You're not... Wait, she, you're no, not no, gonna... no, no, no. We have to decipher this. So your bo- you always say your body count is three, but your body but count actually, actually three. isn't three, correct? Of course, yeah. <laughs> That's how you tell guys three body counts. <laughs> Oh, so you're lying to them? Can you repeat it? Can you repeat it? This is how all the girls do. Just tell guys you have three body counts, and that's it. No more questions. Even though you don't have three. Yeah, I have a girlfriend that telling his boyfriend like uh, she's a virgin before her, and she's not a virgin. Yeah, and he's totally into her, and like boys. Lie about your height. Oh my gosh. Lie about everything. <laughs> lie about no your finances, man. No well, if your body lie. counts high, I get lie. But if it's low, why, why would you lie? Why, why does it matter? Okay. Wow. That's a I mean, kind lie. I mean, I appreciate so your <laughs> honesty. Three, Thank you for I your mean, honesty. How can you not know that? All the girls do that. No, we don't. No, oh, we don't. No, oh, we don't. I mean, no. a lot of them do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a lot of them do. Um, Wow. Okay. So, so what? So, what is? <laughs> so, here's the question: What's your body count? Three. <laughs> Stop the count. You just admitted that you Did lied, you, yeah. though. Um, what? What's yeah. your actual body count? I can. I can share. It's too personal. What? Come on. At, at least under fifty. At least under fifty. Yeah, it's under fifty. <clears throat> Didn't you bring up about how your mother? <laughs> 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 my mom can't so cannot understand word. English, so I'm good. <laughs> uh, Lily, you're Gosh. hilarious. Um, <laughs> That's Lily. Yeah, th- this Lily. Oh, you said Lily. Wait, no, what? Because yeah. she's like, didn't you bring no, up about yeah, my yeah, mom? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, she literally. <laughs> the mother thing. Yeah. That was funny. Um, yeah. 
So but would you say between 40 and 50? No. Go, okay, no more questions. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, that's all you get for today. Over 50. It's over 50. No, she hell said no. You said it's under 50. But you said it's up to 50. It could be 49. So then, but you said no, it's not between 40 and 50, so it's below 40. Or it's 50. I said three. That's it, that's it. Mm. Jesus I don't think you're going to break I th- it out I of her. I don't think you're going to break I thought, her. I thought you just said, though, that body count just shouldn't matter. <laughs> just, just leave it. What's your like, body count? It's five. Okay. What about you? What's your Mine's body? It's five. Come Come on, come on. I told you this last time I was here. Stop the cap. I told you this last time I was here. But what did you tell me after the show? <laughs> that, what's his face hit me up? No, no, no. Okay, so five, five. I'm not lying. Oh, what did you say, seven? What was it? No, I didn't say seven. No, okay, what's your body count? Five. Okay, what's your body count? My body count is 15. I feel like a lot right now. <laughs> 21, right? Yeah, I'm 21. Okay. What about you? I'm six. Six. Okay. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, first off, I appreciate your honesty. Uh, it could certainly be worse. I just hit 15, though. Too. Also, I just want to add this. Multiply it by three, and that's the real number. No. S- for all of you. But you know what no. I told you for last time? You. I said I don't want to pass seven. Okay. I didn't say I had seven. <sighs> Good luck. I, be- I believe mean? in you. You I got two you. more. If I keep having sex with the same person, true, it's not gonna go out. Okay. So you, all the girls admitted theirs. You don't wanna. Nah. <laughs> it's lower than fifty. It's ours guys. Are all <laughs> lower than fifty. You're Fifteen not gonna... or fifty. Five zero. Five zero. <laughs> Why would also, you I'm, say that? Well, that sounds she's terrible. On that celeb app. Imagine, <laughs> imagine if her body counts like nine. <laughs> and you said you're below it could, 50 it could be nine the yes. guys are gonna think you're like you're it's much better up. to say you're nine Th- than that's why they like 50. to hear three but then what if they find out but it's don't, not three they cannot find out you know what i hope a guy lies to you about everything well, i hope a guy so lies Ryan, to you. who heard you who heard you i, yeah. I hope a guy lies to you about his finances his <laughs> height all that shit wow you should be honest about with guys about that but will you guys imagine get upset? starting imagine starting a relationship on a lie but sometimes the truth hurts <laughs> because what if someone you tell your three body count to knows someone else that you also hooked up with and they're gonna be like oh well she's she i don't want ignorance too. i don't want to i don't want ignorance is bliss i want the opportunity to opt out of dating a woman if she has a body count that's too high mm-hmm <laughs> I, listen okay so look if you want to play the game right yes go ahead and lie to men i don't think we should make it a habit to lie to people but will it cut will it be a uh, self-serving will it benefit you to say that your body counts three even though it's not probably should you do it no because it's just you're lying and it's dishonest. It's That's really a, not that deep. First of all, people shouldn't ask each other's body count if you really, you know, like love that person or something. <laughs> I'm not, wait, right. Like, <sighs> don't you think it's hypocritical that you said you <laughs> hate when guys lie about their age or their height? I, I say I don't care about height. See, okay. yeah, I'm, still cu- I'm still caught up on the mom thing. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's wait. it's not processing <laughs> with the like the story and then the mom and then you're like oh yeah it's under fifty but I won't tell you like it could be yeah. three actually but I'm yeah. just gonna say it's under fifty yeah wild goose chase I guess but okay you're saying the guy should just not ask <laughs> yeah like it's better we both don't know each other after a guy tell me like sixty three it like my heart shake a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I was heartbroken for a five seconds. You're under 50. You're under 50. <laughs> no, but like, 63. that could be 49. That could be like 21, right? You never know. But also, you guys oh have to think God. she is 28, so it's like. Yeah. You're 28? You're 28? Okay, mute that. <laughs> That's privacy. Mute that. Well, didn't you say that at the beginning of the show? No, I purposely not say it. Oh, wait, did you lie about your age too? I just not wait. say it. I just did not say it. Oh, I didn't. Oh, fuck. Oh, I didn't catch that. So, okay, you're 28. <laughs> you. 
You're 20. Girl, you're just yeah. finessing your way through life. <laughs> like, no, I'm, hey. I'm you do not look 20. <laughs> What's that saying? I, I shouldn't say it, but Lily, what's the saying? You know. The Asian saying. Asian say it. Saying? Lily, say it. Say it. I'm Lily, confused what you it. want me say to it. say. I don't know what you want About, me to say. Okay. We love. Aging, certain... When it comes to aging. Can anybody help me here? Yeah, old? Aging uh. pussy something. <laughs> Okay, you know how I like those saying black don't crack? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, I knew that's where you're going with this. <laughs> Asian don't raisin. Okay, <laughs> yeah. well, you could have just said it. I'm not going to beat you up. For <laughs> you just I don't know. He just didn't like want to get canceled. Yeah, he didn't get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, you know what, Brian? You, you've been attacking me a little. Like, so first, <laughs> first, <laughs> first, it was a booster seat, and then, like, it's just um, downhill so from the there. So the Asian don't raisin? Is that talking about your skin or, like, down there? Your no, skin. No, like, okay. like when you Asian see people, older like, they're Asians, youthful. They, yeah, they don't really like. Yeah, they. I've they seen some really like my grandma. Really well. Yeah, yeah but like once I feel like once it hits a certain point, then yeah, they look older. But it takes a minute to get there. And us, like, they well, like are us old. white people, we got it. No, tough. y'all well, like, we don't like <laughs> <our life>. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? I guess I'll find out. We don't we wrinkle <laughs> until like a like oh a certain gosh. age. Like you like look really really young. Yeah. Up until like you're like what like sixty something. Yeah. And then and then it and then it just hits you and then it's just like you're in a dehydration shit like <laughs> See, not black people yeah we have uh dave on jackson here thank shooting. you man for the ten dollar super chat he didn't man- manipulate them he a man a business yeah. offer and then made them millionaires what are you talking we have dave on jackson with the, the only fan stuff by lying wouldn't you say you're manipulating the guys you talk to into not being exactly disgusted with you <laughs> <laughs> oh god that's exactly right um <laughs> But uh, can't. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't. You shouldn't lie. You shouldn't lie. It's a very like a lie from kindness. The intention of <laughs> kindness. <laughs> Straight finessing her way through life. Okay. I'm dead, uh, guys. I'm dead. We're we're gonna wrap up here. We've been going for like I think this is four, pl- wait, four wait, plus okay. hours. I have one more question. Sure. If yours is high, why did the guy's high body count make you like, bother you? Yeah. But sixty plus is too high. 60 <laughs> plus is like under 50 is <laughs> like 60 is too high i think yeah wait so if <laughs> if you're supposed to multiply by three should i start saying i'm f- i have my body counts five because then they'll multiply by three and it's really 15 are those prison tattoos on your fingers no they're stars <laughs> oh okay my bad Jesus. i don't know I'm, just, <laughs> I'm kidding i'm kidding i have a bunch of tattoos but no, you, you know what guys three. the the best <laughs> The great, the best way to s- start a relationship, the, the best foundation. Be <laughs> no, no, no. Well, the best foundation for a relationship is to lie. No. <laughs> right? Because then they're going to keep it. It's lying. a kind lie. Oh, Brian, it's how about you? Kind. Did you share your body count yet? What's no. Your, yeah, Brian what's never your body shares count? his, but it's, I'll, it's I'll not tell a kind you what. lie. No, actually, I won't share mine yeah. if you That's share That's going to cause lie. problems in the future. Yeah, I don't, I don't share my body count also, because... What's up, Lily? I would like to say, whoever in the comments, I'm Lily. Lily <laughs> like, I'm 21. sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But like this entire time we've been on stream, everyone's been mistaking her for Lily. I was like, that's me. <laughs> this God is damn. Lily, that's Lily. Lily. Yeah. Yeah, yeah guys, Lowy, get it right. Lily. Yeah, guys. Is it because two Asians are sitting next to you? Guys. Like, what is this? <laughs> Lillian. Low. I no, not, to not Lillian. Oh shit. Lily. Oops. Lily. You're always right, coming. Right, you know. Right, oops. Right. <laughs> you know, Brian. I. Oh, what? Uh, oh. What's up? Do you got something against Vietnamese people? What? What the oh, fuck? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> shit. Lily, let me actually <laughs> tell you. That's his type. What? Sorry, Brian, just I feel the chemistry oh, for the entire episode. I'm not gonna front. He likes the Vietnamese women. I'm not gonna front. Kind of. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I know. you're right. You're definitely right. I know. Thank you. Well, you know, With the you big know. Labias. I was here last Not time. Not me, though. What the fuck? Well, exactly. Yeah, not me. Oh, gosh. What do you mean, not you? Well, not me. She There's got a boyfriend. People don't like me like that. Like, Wait, what do you mean? Well, like... What do you mean, not you? What do you mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> your type is Vietnamese people, but not So, so you're me. saying you're not... You are not my type. No. Yes. She's saying that yeah. she doesn't live up to your Vietnamese standards. Yeah. I'm not going like, to front... I'm not gonna front. I'm dead. No, 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 no. 
I'm not gonna front if you didn't have can a boyfriend. I, can I pick up this mic and leave? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just saying. Why what? do you want to take the mic? I'm good. Hey, my I'm friend's good. being amazing. I mean, cause shot. it's a good mic. <laughs> <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> Exposed. My oh my, my ex girlfriend. The the five year the yeah five Can year relationship she's being amazing. Wow. She was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I mean, she's like, you're right. <laughs> I don't know if you've met Vietnamese parents, but they be cussing me out like, no tomorrow. It's bad. <laughs> have, you se- have, you se- have you seen those TikTok memes with, why, why is everyone talking about Kevin Wynn? The fact that she's the only one that knows about that. <laughs> okay, basically, she's it's like the only one that loves. you know what like I'm talking about. Sta- okay, yeah, but you know, like how the term of like saying like a Karen and stuff, like yeah. it's like it's a generalized so term. Like it's a generalized term for like an Asian guy that dresses the exact same. Like they go to raves, they wear the fucking red flannels and stuff, oh God. and like they like they vape and they're like, oh, oh, like what's yeah. up, girl? Like <laughs> it's like those like what? <laughs> like it's. It's like it's just a stereotype of like these Asian guys who are just so typical and they always like like white frat boy. Yeah, Asian basically boys, it's like a white frat Asian. guy, but like as an Asian, Asian person. <laughs> that's okay. a Kevin. That's a Kevin. Yeah, okay. But you don't, don't want to date a Kevin. Kevin. Don't be a no, Kevin. no, no. You don't want to date a Kevin. There. Also, no. I've been seeing this trend on TikTok. Um, a lot of Asian women, like they're ranking the different Asian the races. The toxic Asians? And they're like, for, why Why they, Why is all these like Asian women going for the Filipinos? What's because, going on there? Because <laughs> Asian, like, okay, Filipino guys are like the biggest fuck boys out of like all the Asians. Oh. I talk from what? experience. Dang. Don't Damn. date a Filipino. Well, no, I'm not saying, like, okay, like Filipinos. So you're basing on their on. Asian race. <laughs> Do you want to weigh in on this? Oh, Filipino? Wait, I, I wouldn't. The, uh, the best she, one she on the like, ranking. So the Chinese are not fuck boys, and the Filipinos well, no, are fuck boys. Well, I'm not saying boys. that. But Chinese I'm saying... are not fuck boys. Chinese men good. No, that's not what. That's not what we're saying. It's okay. like Korean men too. <laughs> what the? God damn! <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, Lily. Honestly, she's shit, I don't know. Boys. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. We're gonna we're gonna wrap there. Um, let me see. L- anyone last thoughts? Anybody? Okay. Um, guys, thank you for tuning in tonight. You could have been doing anything else. Hold on, wait, I gotta go back here. Whoops, I'm fucking this up. Guys, <laughs> thank you for tuning in tonight. You could have been doing anything else, but Michael's you were here with me. <laughs> what the, f- Michael, careful. Uh, There's some super chats. Oh, oh shit, sorry. Oh. He said, I think it's just this y'all. one, right? Uh, basic recaps, describe your last date. Skip me on that um, no. Yo, basic recaps, I will get this question for you on our next uh stream we just we we're already over way over the four hour mark so we gotta we gotta wrap here it's late um i will get the super chat though on the next stream if you can tune into our next stream do a little comment um i will be sure to uh get that super chat um but yeah you can been doing anything else guys you're here with me i appreciate that thanks to everyone who super chat and supports the show really appreciate it we're still in the red on this project but hopefully you know we can get up there Thanks to our chat mods. We got Zach in the chat. We have Candace in the chat. Thank you guys. Thanks to Eric, top producer. Thank you to the uh, panel. Thank you to you guys for staying for the whole show. This was definitely a long one. I think this is actually our longest stream ever. So really thank you guys. Appreciate it. Um, And uh, yeah, thank you to everyone in the chat for all the super chats. Uh, Really appreciate it. We will be live again Tuesday at 7 p.m. Pacific. And I'm trying to think if there's, oh, let me, let me, sorry, let me turn this off. yeah, we we will be live again Tuesday at 7 p.m. Pacific. We will see you next time, guys. Have a good night. Peace. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. Happy Bye. Good night.